Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, I'm just giving you a sneaky peek of what I've got coming up on Friday's show. I have just spent an hour threading on 800 beads and I'm going to be making the most beautiful Kumihimo necklace of which during Friday's show I'm going to be launching my first PDF where you can actually make this necklace along with me so that's this Friday the masterclass hour at 12 I can't wait to show you the outcome of this Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Good God, we're quite a way away, uh, aren't we, we today? Quite we're a long quite way away. Very titchy. Good morning. Good morning. Come closer. <laughs> Come on, we're all friends here. How are we? Good morning. Oh, it's the weekend. It is. And the sun is going to be shining. But there we go. Oh, there we are. There we That's are. Better. Don't That's venture better. anywhere, though, because this Friday is literally jam packed. I think that the producers who put these shows together, they tried to outdo each other. So the last show that you and I had, mm -hmm. we couldn't move for stock. But, nope. but, but Wayne's in the in the driving seat today. So there's oh, even he is. more. He is, he is. <laughs> yes, you have. Treat today. Well, yeah. it, the, the big dog. The big dog. Did he have any issues on his canal trip with the lads? I didn't did ask. Did, oh, should should did we ask him? In? Did anybody fall in? No one fell in this time. Wayne, no. oh, that's good. I saw right. the state of you the day you came back. How was your trip? Epic, Epic, he says. Nobody fell in. Close calls, but nobody actually fell in. That's good, isn't it? Wow. Whereabouts did you canal boat? From, from Bromsgrove wow. to Stourport. Through oh, Worcester and lovely. Droitwich. Well, that's pretty. Yeah, that sounds that's amazing. Pretty. Do you know where you should go on your, on your next canal boat adventure, Wayne? Because my uh, lovely father-in-law, um, they live, well, actually, weirdly, where I grew up. Oh, how funny. They're not from that area, but they moved down to that area. Anyway, um, and they, they ha they've got a really lovely house, which, um, in, the, in the Welsh rolling hills and whatnot. Oh. And if you go to the very back of their garden, open the gate, you're literally on the canal. We've walked along that canal. It's pretty, isn't mm, it? Yeah, really beautiful. pretty. So there we go. If ever, ever, ever you want a yes. holiday destination, comes highly recommended. Now, yeah, absolutely unbelievable show plan for you today. What I really want to see, first of all, 
Mm -hmm. I've just seen a little VT coming up for some diamond drops we've got coming up. Yes. Now I asked. I'm intrigued. I asked the question to Wayne, who of course is also your uh, your amazing gemstone buyer, and I'll say it again. Look, let's just just blow his trumpet as we start the show, shall we? <laughs> Come on, Wayne. <laughs> Come on, Wayne. You are the best gemstone buyer that I think jewellery maker has ever seen. I've said it many times before, and I hand on heart believe that. Absolutely. Hand on heart. Um, but, yeah, now I said, have we ever had drops before? Now, not just any drops, briolette drops in diamonds. And he said, once. We've had them oh. once, and they absolutely flew out the door. Um, so this is what Mark's itching to get his eyes oh, on. Word. I know. That, that, little, that, little, that little advert doesn't do these justice. Mm -mm. Just, oh, look at these. Canary yellow diamond <laughs> drops. Wow. They are coming up as part of today's show. I mean, just one of those on a beautiful precious metal chain it would be Absolutely. something else, Old wouldn't work. it? You've got the potential uh, to make a full canary diamond suite. How amazing. Move over, Tiffany yeah. and Co. Oh, Move over, Lady Gaga, because our jewelry maker viewers can create something equally as fabulous. So, yes, coming up as part of today's show. But not just that, Mark, wow. your deal of the day today um, is... Oh, return of an old friend. An old friend, but not as we yeah, know it. No, I haven't seen round. Not as we know it. Not as we know it. Ever. Um, yes. How often? as well. Yes. How often do we get oh, hands no. and eye of this carrot weight and in rounds? And I'm going to be talking some more about that during, uh, during the deal of the day. These are very limited. Coming up in the... Um, 10 o'clock hour. Those of you that have jadeite, and by the way, if you don't, don't worry, we do today, um, then this would be the perfect addition to some of your jadeite round strands, don't you think? I have got a kit in the 9 o'clock hour, which for me is the most beautiful piece of jadeite I have ever seen. Ooh. I'm going to show you the back of it. Yeah. So this is coming up. It's a tiger head carving. Now that is the back. Look at the colour. It's got a look of malachite about it. Are you ready? Oh. I'm going I'm to turn it round. The, no word. This is the most beautiful piece of jade I have ever seen. Look at this. Amazing. Absolutely incredible, isn't he? Look at the detail of that carving. Isn't that absolutely oh. beautiful? Oh, my goodness. Totally natural. And you've got imperial green, literally uh, sashes of imperial green oh, uh, running stunning. through. Absolutely beautiful. That's teamed with black jadeite as well, it isn't is. it? It is. We've got six black jadeite rounds. And then we've got, look at this. This is, again, this is just beautiful. Uh, this, is, this is tiger's eye we've got coming up in the nine o'clock hour as well. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And we're going to be talking about the significance of Tiger's Eye and the Tiger, of course, it being the year of the Tiger, uh, during, um, just briefly, if you like, during uh, during that kit. Likewise, we have more master carvings to bring you as well um, across. So if you love the ones that Mark's just shown you, we've got the opposite. So we've got them in Jade Eye and we've got them in, in ah, Tiger's Eye wonderful. as well. So that's amazing. Um, we've got some additional. I have to show you this one as oh, well. Yeah. So it's uh, your beautiful Pixu or the troops pendant, very much a symbol of uh, wealth and good fortune in, oops, in Chinese culture. Look at the quality. It's absolutely unbelievable. And here we are. Here's, here's your oh, coins no. just around the outside. There's only how many? 15 oh, of these oh. left in the building. Um, I also have to talk about, well, there's a few things. We've got last remaining stocks in the slider bracelets that come with the ruby, emerald, and also your sapphire, which we launched. Yes. Mad yes. deal. You can pre-order those, actually. You can shop ahead. They were a deal of the day. They went completely mental because the deal was mm, so exciting. Ridiculous. And we're in July's birth month as well now. So there we go. Even better. Sorted. Sorted. Yeah. Um, yeah, three birthstones um, in that. And it is one opportunity that you get mm. for that incredible price tag. We've got lots of lovely services silver deals as well to bring you including Larimar as well um, we do have I'm getting to that I'm getting to it I promise Wayne I promise but I want to talk to you about Herkimer quartz or Herkimer diamonds as it's sometimes referred to as well um, we rarely ever see it in fact you know what our sister channel I don't think I've ever had it Really? Um, I know that because when I went over to Tucson it was one of the gemstones that I spoke about trying to get hold of and they were a little bit blank they didn't know what, really? it, what it was. I said, ah, oh, you should see it. Um, but it's, it's huge oh. at the moment, being used by lots of the big designers. And yes, Wayne, we have a mystery box. So happening at some point throughout the course uh, of the show, I'm not, we might leave it until the 12 o'clock hour. This is 
I don't even know what's in there. Oh, oh I'm going to give you a <clears> sneaky peek now if I can reach it. Hang on. I think, I think you should leave me in suspense okay. until the viewers see okay, it as well. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Okay. Just imagine the most beautiful, mm -hmm. the most, one of the most historical, mm -hmm. the leading name, mm -hmm. and I'm going to leave it at that. You don't even tell me what the gemstone nope. is? Nope. Oh, gosh. Okay. No, because I think you'll be able to guess. Okay. Right. Yeah. Let's just, uh, and, and we are mystery box. We're going to take it to. A Wayne low, price. Yes. The a lowest price. price point. You've picked a really good day to watch today mile. because we've we've got the buyer running the show. Yes. So yes. He's very excited. That's, he hasn't got to justify any of no. his, his reductions. He can just do it himself. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do I do this? No, shouldn't do it. Way but I go do it anyway. So he does have to tell himself off. Yes, basically. Mm. Uh, yeah, Bashasaurus is back in the hot seat and we absolutely love that. Wayne, does that mean you're going to be bouncing in and out the studio as well? Yes, good, 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 good. <laughs> um, also, let's talk about the storage box that you've got coming up within um, within this hour. It's available on pre-order, so you can get hold of it. Now, you, there's 500 opportunities. I'm missing bits, aren't I? Yeah, basically, you're getting this lovely little container. And you got... Yeah, you, you, there's missing the contents inside, uh. um, which are, are anti-tarnish. Now... Prevention is better than cure. I always say mm -hmm. that about your, pre uh, your precious metals. You know, when you see, um, when you buy your sterling silver, if you can actually include it with anti-tarnish strips, that means that you're not going to have to dip, polish, and all that malarkey um, because it will prevent uh, that natural process. So, yes, um, it's been a long time since we've brought those to it. Absolutely. And they always go fly out the door, fly out the door. Um, okay, so without further ado, I think we need to get cracking, don't we? Seriously, look at all of this. Oh, Mark, absolutely beautiful. Okay, should we get cracking Let's with, uh, with the Hall nice of Fame? It's your fabulous bit. creations, up next. <laughs> Wayne, are you feeling a bit rusty? <laughs> so the reason that Wayne is in today is because <laughs> Ross has got the day off because he's going to a pop concert. Do they call them pop concerts? I, I, I don't a know. Pop concert. Who's he going to see? He's going to see the Killers. Uh, yes. The no, the the strokes. strokes. Stripe Strokes. Last night she said, oh baby don't be a sometime. That's about... I stopped there because that's a little bit saucy, <laughs> isn't it, that next sentence? Um, yes, he's, at the, he's yeah. going to see the Strokes. Yeah. I don't uh, know if we'd call them pop. No, I, I don't think I've heard of them. Indie rock, yet. there we go. Indie rock. Indie rock. Yes, yeah, so we've got lovely Wayne today and tomorrow and tomorrow. Uh, um, so that's exciting. Right then, do you want to start? Shall I start? You start today. Okay, so today's Wall of Fame, we start with number 480. And this is from Stephanie. And Stephanie says, Hi, everyone. I've just made this sterling silver and turquoise necklace and earring set for a special friend's birthday. Arizona and turquoise I recently purchased for JM, along with everything else except for the earring findings. Good luck to everyone in this week's draw. Now, that's an amazing present. Beautiful. Very beautiful. special friend. Number 481 is from Denise. Wow. Oh, look at this. I recognise this work. Hello at JM, this is my entry for this week. It's based on a Rachel Norris tutorial from some time ago. I've used fusted black agate and aqua quartzite. Good luck to everyone, and that's D in Doncaster. Lovely. Now, this afternoon on Hobby Maker, yeah. in the two and the four o'clock hour, we have Rachel Norris. Yes. Her first dalliance into Hobby Maker, so we'll all be tuning in for that this afternoon. Lovely. Number 482 is Hazel. Oh, oh wow, that's gorgeous. And Hazel says, this week's photo is a bubble style necklace using seed beads of different sizes and shapes bought over many years from JM. Hope you like it. Take care, everyone. And that's from Hazel. We love it, Hazel. Beautiful. Number 483 is from Lorraine. I love cubes. We don't see enough cubes, do we? This entry is a pair of earrings made with jadeite cubes. <gasps> do we? Oh, we might have some jadeite cubes later on in the show. And sterling silver faceted spacers on a sterling silver ear wire. Simple sophistication. Love these beautiful cubes. Hoping for a win, but as always, good luck to everyone in the draw. And that's from Lorraine. Amazing, Lorraine. Do you want to read a couple of those ones? I don't know how many we've got um, today. We got. I'll do one more then. Okay. Number 484 is from Isabel. 
And Isabel says, hello, lovely friends. I made this pair from a vintage jewelry maker pearl package that was lurking in my stash. And it's now my go-to suite. The iridescence of the black button pearls means it goes with nearly everything. And my sister gifted it to me the 925 sterling silver beads, which makes it really special. Have a lovely day, everyone. And that's from Isabel. You too, Isabel. Beautiful, well Isabel. Done. Love well that. Well, I have number 485 and it's Kim. Hello to you, lovely Kim Hopkins. Um, wow, that's gorgeous. And actually reminds me, Kim, a little bit of a piece that I'm going to be showing you a little bit later on in the show. I can't say too much because that would let, that let the cat out of the bag about the box. Um, uh, okay. But it, show, it reminds me of a piece that uh, is featured on the jewellery editor. Um, Hi, please find my entry to this week's WAF. It's a long line necklace made with silver plated base metal chain and shell pearls, all from Jewellery Maker. Good luck to everybody entering this week. Wow, the pearls we this week have been stunning. Thanks, JM. Stay safe, everyone. Everybody, and that's from lovely Kim. Uh, number 486 is Alan Hopkins. Alan, that's oh. beautiful as always. Uh, please find my entry to this week's WAF. It's a 925 sterling silver earring mount that I have turned into a pendant for a commission. It's set with an Ethiopian sapphire, all from JM. Wow. The client is over the moon and it's on its way to New Zealand. Good luck to everybody. Oh, wow. I'm buzzing with the ideas after all the inspiration from yourselves and the guest designers. Stay safe everybody and that's from alan alan amazing 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 on its way to uh, to new zealand i wish i was on my way to new zealand <laughs> uh number 487 is from lovely erica erica that's stunning so pretty uh, my entry this week is an ametrine and sterling sil is sorry ametrine and sterling silver all components are from jm good luck to everybody and that's erica it's gorgeous what a sweet jewelry last but by no means least is number 488 from jill good morning to you jill very elegant. Hi all, here is my entry to the WAF. Uh, just a simple pearl and sterling silver pendant. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. Not been making as we have recently got another car. Uh, making five, what, five cars? Um, and having to ensure uh, mass murder is not committed. Oh dear, is it? Uh, oh. oh dear, well let's, let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh, sending love to everybody and that's from Jill. Lots of love to you and good luck to everybody entering um, in the Wall of Fame to, uh, this week. It happens on Wednesday with me. Yes. Yay! I'm, I'm worrying Andrew about cars because I've told him that when I, when I finish work, I want to buy and renovate. God knows how I'm going to do it. I know nothing about cars, but I want to buy an old classic Ford Capri. Oh, yeah. My mum had a Capri. Yeah. My mum's was lime green. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I want a bright orange one. Yeah. Cool. Bright orange Capri. Cool. Yeah. They were one of the cars of the 80s. You don't see them on the road no. very often, do you? No. 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 But that's my, that's my ambition. Do it. Mm. Definitely do it. Right then, should we get cracking? Shall we get it's going you know what it's going to be and I'm going to say it oh. before he says it to me in my ear fast and pacey l fast and pacey <laughs> right oh wayne um i don't know what number <coughs> two is <laughs> no black obsidian carved leaves i don't have them here i don't have them here wow Bear with, chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> he's, he's a bit rusty he's as our well, Wayne. Yeah, he's a yeah, bit yeah. rusty. Wayne! He's a bit rusty today. It's been a while, isn't it? That's the thing. You're so busy buying your gemstones and managing us, rabble. I mean, yeah, he's a busy man. He is a busy man. Uh, rusty Del Pasco. <laughs> I still don't see obsidian, though. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, where do you want me to start then? The Buddha charm, oh. yes. I've okay, not seen this. this is lovely, isn't it? Oh look! Just nine, uh, a nine two five sterling silver. Literally, just feed it onto a chain, and away you go. Um, oh, it's a big beautiful. gram weight as well, because when I, I I'll turn around in a second, and you'll see uh, lots of nine two five on the reverse. One's already gone. We've only got two. I'm um, going to go straight down to it. Yeah, you have got sales so manager good. deals galore. Charmaine knows it. That's why she's pounced on this super fast. Guess what? It's sold out. Well done. Oh my word. Well done, well done. Um, oh, let's do this beautiful clasp. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. Now, this is the first time it's ever been on its own. Um, it's always been within a kit. It's a multi-strand 
clasp and you've got parve cubic zirconia oh isn't Look that beautiful that. if i tilt it towards you can see the multi-strand element so imagine this now on sort of a grace kelly style pearl multi-strand necklace how gorgeous that would be or alongside your deal of the day or alongside mark's amazing kits um all that the sea beads that you've got coming up in the yes. in, in one of your kit hours i would take i would take the middle bit out and use the other ends as earrings yeah that would be They're beautiful beautiful Hello, Margo. Wow. Say morning, Bashasaurus. Uh, <laughs> when you're there, we know we're in for some treats. Looking forward to Mark's demos. Absolutely. Absolutely. You've got, wow. literally, you've got the best of them today. You really have. Uh, hello to you, Mandy, saying, whoa, if Wayne is the button master today, we can expect some amazing deals. Yay. He's going to be adding that to the bottom of his CV now. You will. <laughs> <laughs> that jade is worth mm. hundreds uh, of anyone's money. Absolutely, mm. Joe. Totally agree. Totally, totally right. agree. You need to be quick on these ones, though. There's only five left, and I can see more than five names. We've completely, completely, I'm going to use Wayne's words, trashed that price point. Um, it should be selling for higher. It can take, um, good question, one, two, three, four, five strands. Five strands. Five yeah. strands. Yeah. Sorry, who was that that asked the question? Joe. There you go, yeah. Joe. But I guess you could do more than that because you could feed more than one, more than one in each yeah, hole. No, absolutely, you could feed probably two or three. I'd have that. I'd have to have that as a as a feature. I wouldn't want that on the back of the neck. No, definitely not. Definitely, definitely not. That's extraordinary. Uh, three left for, and ten of you with it in your baskets. Joe, Karen, Essex, Lindsay, Charmaine. I've got. Oh, I can't keep it up now. Charlene, you got yours. I'll leave it with you, Lindsay. Good luck. Good luck. Gosh. Let's do some pie, right? Shall we? Tubes. I love this shape. Me too. We don't see much pyrite on the show. I love pyrite. It's pyrite and hematite together. Yes. Yeah. Just, just the best. Well, we, the had, we had a Makes for Men show last week and oh, we didn't, yeah, have, we didn't have any pyrite. No, it's such Do a shame. Do you know why that is? Mm -hmm. Wayne's not buying it anymore. I'll be honest. Too expensive. I'm going to say no. No. No, he can buy it and he can no. get great deals, but no. it's not one of our biggest sellers, so he's not buying oh, it anymore. What a shame. There you go. I've outed you, Wayne. Oh, no. <clears throat> Haven't I, Wayne? What? About to do, he says it's not one of it does it, it, it yeah it it, it wow. doesn't sell that fast and I'm surprised as uh, yeah. surprised as the rest of them four pounds and ninety nine pence so when you see pyrite if you are a fan of it make sure you Snuffle jump on it, it yeah. because we're not going to be it's not something Wayne I ever hear Wayne say he's bought actually uh, four ninety nine only and you've got a staggering two hundred carats oh, of beautiful oh natural pyrite okay this is cost. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's below cost. We can't even buy it for what's on your screens right now. Yeah, I guess that's fairly obvious, isn't yeah. it? It's fascinating, this gemstone. It literally forms in a perfect cube. Mm. Literally Maybe. like a dice. Incredible. It's mental. No, no, even, even Wayne, who says, I'm not buying Pyrite anymore. I'm not buying it. it doesn't, it's not one of our biggest sellers here at Jewelry Maker, so quite simple, won't buy it anymore. Even he said it shouldn't yeah. be that price tag. Well done, stay where you are. Ooh. Oh, oh. my, stop the bus. Have you seen this, Wayne? Have you seen this, Mark? Look at this. Oh my goodness, the quality of this garnet is off the chart. Wayne. Oh, oh my. That. Now it looks far darker yeah. on that recording than it does in put, and it looks far darker on the back of my hand. L this is, this, they are like Morello cherries, but with the most amazing clarity and refraction. If you value my own personal recommendation, if, you, if you're looking for garnet, then look no further. It is this strand. Do you agree? Absolutely. That's just beautiful. Thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine oh. pence. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Close my eyes. Okay. Oh. So I've closed my eyes, and you've told me in my ear. <laughs> but is that fourteen pounds and something pence? <laughs> Perfect with Mark's jade eye. Um, Dan, can I be a little bit unconventional? Can I borrow oh. your mobile phone and the torch in particular? Um, just because I really want to show. How many do we have of these, Wayne? 28 of these available. 10? Oh, there we go. They're absolutely flying out the door already. Just because I want to show you 
The quality of this garnet. If you don't buy it, I'm quite. I, I will most definitely. Oh, he's got to wait. He's got to delete all his messages from the women that he has queuing up. That's the thing. Look at him there. Yeah, we know, Dan. I know what you're up to. You can't kid a kidder. He's just got to make sure. Yeah, just got to make sure all his uh, his messages of uh, request date requests. Um, here we go. Can you see that now? Oh my word! Look at that. <laughs> Look at the quality of that garnet. Oh my goodness me. That's, That's what it's going to look like in natural light. You know, when you actually take uh, take garnet home, it is a gemstone that loves to bask in oh sorry, bask in sunshine. How oh. gorgeous. Well done. Well done, well done. Thanks Dan. You can have your phone back now. Um let's do up. 30 of the storage trays have gone and here we go if I show you inside there's all your anti you get, all you get all of them. How many are in one of those little packets? Um um how many did you get all together? <clears throat> um, <laughs> lots. Ah, wow. I, I'll have a little look. I'll count yeah, them in the break. Yeah. <clears throat> but you get loads. And you can cut those down, by the way. You don't have Fours. to put... No, yeah. No, I do that. <clears throat> you don't have to put yeah. just one large piece in. It does depend on the amount of sterling silver. But yeah, cut them down. Um, they're available on pre-order and they do come within that little storage tray as well. So you can literally go straight to it. Right. It's got a designated spot as well within your uh, within your uh, stash. Amazing. Shop ahead on those. Fabulous. Congratulations. Don't forget you can pre-order on your lovely uh, slider bracelets as well. Sterling silver slider bracelets which feature ruby, emerald and sapphire. Speaking of ruby... Oh, there's oh, only yeah. four. Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? All the big designers are working with your, uh, you know, gemstones that you've been working with probably for many moons. If you're, you know, if you've been with us since day one, you know, your rounds, your rondelles, <coughs> your smooth rondelles. These are all shapes that are very much within the likes of Bulgari and uh, Van Cleef. Oh my goodness! But Bashasaurus <laughs> is in the hot seat today. Did you ever imagine that you would get Sri Lankan natural ruby for £20? Did you imagine that's how your, your, your Friday was going to kick start? I don't know. Uh, how many people can actually get the opportunity to go, eh, just, bought, just bought 25 carats of ruby today? <laughs> how many people get that chance? Hello, Mandy. Good morning, gorgeous ladies and gents. Working from home, uh, but got, uh, got to take oh. calls till 10. Hope I don't miss anything fab whilst uh, you're on mute. I tell you what, Mandy. I'll give you a signal if you like. We can, we can, t uh, we'll, we'll decipher a signal. Uh, hello, Angela. Saying good morning, El, Mark, Wayne, and the rest of the lovely team. Looking forward to those Tans Night rounds. Mm. Oh, this will be lovely with the Tans Night rounds. You're the rose amongst thorns again. Today. <laughs> I am. Yeah. It's a tough job. Tough job. <laughs> it's a tough job. Someone's got to do it. Yeah, I get to work with all the lovely jewelry maker gents. Got Paul as well, producing, uh, directing me today. Mm. Hello, Paul. That's a nice treat to have you this morning. Yay! Yeah, because basically Adam and uh, uh, and Roscoe having a lie in, aren't they? <laughs> uh, <coughs> they might be going to this concert together. I don't know. Um, shall we do some lovely dendritic tubes? For these, so I would use all of these as guru beads on your malas. Mm. They'd all work with the, either the tiger's eye or the jadeite, wouldn't they? And. Oh, Oh, Carriers. Yeah, yeah. To your little seed bead Yeah, that'd be a nice idea, wouldn't it? So this one here is the Guru with yeah. the jadeite. I just think yeah. it would be oh, incredible. Yeah, because they've got yeah. similar... Uh, that would be great, thank you. Right, Mandy, what can be our signal? Um, do you want a subtle signal? I think you need to do a couple of star jumps or something. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, what's, okay, that's our Mandy signal, okay? Mandy, when something epic's coming on, you'll see us do this. Yeah? It's not subtle. Uh, no. But it's going to get your attention, isn't it? <laughs> Everybody game for that, yeah? Um, that would be absolutely perfect alongside yeah. Mark's kids. I love that combination. Yeah. Any of those would work beautifully, wouldn't oh. they? Yeah. 
totally and utterly natural dendrite. You get these beautiful dendritic formations that occur within your agate. Um, often referred to, um, you know, look like, a, like an alpine scene, don't they? Wow, £12.99. Wow. Let me just for a second, you're getting, if I hold it out like this, you can see you've got one, two, three, four, five of them in total, and each and every single one will be slightly unique and individual. Um, wow, we don't get it very often. I can remember the days we used to have showcases of this. Don't have it uh, anymore. I don't know. There's none on order. I'm just hearing in my ear. That's another benefit that you do hear. So the latest stats on gemstones. Uh, that will definitely get my attention. Thank you all. There we are. <laughs> we can do that. Um, we can definitely do that. Can, Wayne, can we have a practice run, please? When you need to get Mandy's attention. Go on then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Just as the, I can, I can, I can just visualise the managing directors walking yeah. into the building. Which, by the way, we're on big screen in front of the main entrance, and then seeing seeing us do that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, okay. Ooh, what did you say? Pyrite puffy lovely. pears. Ooh, lovely. Oh, look at these. They'd be nice on the ends of tassels. I'm there is a. They're beautiful. Love it. I love this sort of vintage look. It is quite Some vintage. pyrite is quite bright and vivid, but I like I like the um, the vintage look. Yeah, I get that vibe. Wow. It's we, I'm going to say it. One of our favourite programmes. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit uh, antiques roadshow, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, how about eleven ninety nine? No. How about seven ninety nine? Wow. How about a Bashasaurus price tag? We can't buy the pyrite at the prices that you are seeing, and there is none on order. So if you are a big fan of this gemstone, then grab it whilst you get the chance. These are, frankly, giveaway deals. £5.99 only. You've got a natural weight to pyrite. It's a very dense gemstone. Um, it's not a metal. It was, it was once referred to as a fool's gold because of the similarity to, of course, uh, precious gold. Um, it's not pre gold. It's precious gemstone instead. Very rare, very heavy. So great if you want to sort of uh, uh, manage, if you like, the drape of your pieces of jewellery. Five ninety nine. Good morning, Essex. Maria, Gabrielle, Karen. Hello to you, Nora. Nice to see you there. Uh, keep on dialing through. Fast and pacey this morning. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Let's do. I love this strand. Wayne, do you remember? Yeah, yeah. This was a, this was an, a strand that Wayne bought many moons back when he was originally when he was originally producing me. Um, Two hundred and sixty-five. Wow. Sold at this price, by the way. Um, it may well still be on the system, but I showed uh, lots of Hollywood A-listers who wear, who choose black spinel above black diamonds. Um, and yeah, Michelle Obama had a really beautiful sort of tussled long line drape necklace oh, that she mixed with pearls. Um, yeah, this is a big, big, big seller. I've even worked with this strand and that, yeah, that speaks volumes, doesn't it? Six ninety nine. it's a what? genuine gemstone. Um, what? Uh, well, all I did was re-strand this and put a few of your pearls in there, literally dotted in between, very Chanel. £4.99. Wow. Look at the carrot weight, 600 mad isn't it it's not 38 centimeter strand that's one and a half kylie's one and a half kylie's mm. yeah she's only dirty isn't she that's amazing yeah she's only dot 250 centimeters that's working out at what yeah. two pounds a meter of, of yeah. genuine black spinel Spinal. A ma it's madness, absolute madness. So can I can I jump on my soapbox for one second, <laughs> and just say, anybody that thinks our prices have gone up, really, <laughs> really? I mean, yeah, the right wow. way is just saying I'm making my own life difficult here. Four ninety nine. How many do we have of these left? We had thirty nine. Oh. We've got seven of them left. Lots of you stocking up your stashes. That's what we. That's like an to see. amazing price for Agate, but it the is. fact that. It's a fiver for spinel. Spinel. It would be a great price for a 38 centimetre strand of spinel. Oh, no um, on the verge of selling out, well done. Okay, ooh, aquamarine. Did you There's been a bit of a drought with aquamarine recently. Is it just me? Wayne? I've, not, I've, not, I've hardly seen aquamarine. Yeah. 
It's hard to get, is it? He says right. it's hard, hard to get, to get. Right. but there is some uh, ultra, ultra high end. Right. As a possibility. Oh my goodness, look at, at that. Bars. Do you know, <laughs> of all the gemstones uh, that I, I, I nearly bought over in Tucson, and I say nearly purely because Jake said to me, L, you're better off buying it from us than you are actually at the trade show because they buy parcels, don't course, they? So yes, you get, yeah. um, anyway, so the, of all the gemstones I nearly bought myself on it whilst over in Tucson, it was aquamarine. Um, and it is this beautiful glacial clarity teamed alongside those wonderful, delicate azure blues. No, it definitely was not 9 99 I didn't buy it anyway, Wayne, um, because, yeah, uh, uh, because uh, Jake was saying, you're absolutely better off buying from Gemporia than you are actually uh, buying direct at trade. Um, this launched where? Oh, double the price tag that's on your screens. Um, and that is already an absolutely amazing deal. It's totally and utterly natural. I know we won't have many of these available. Imagine this again with pearls. Imagine mm -hmm. this with your jade eye. The garnet we had Ooh. in the first in the first half an hour. That with your amazing. tanzanite. Yes. It'd be lovely with the tanzanite too, wouldn't it? Make sure you check out, yeah. though. It is super duper duper busy this Friday morning, and we're loving having your company. Uh, don't be shy. Come and say hello to us all. Ah, oh, say ooh. Hang on a minute, yeah. hang on a minute, Mandy. So no, I just, no, no, I no, just she, think it. She's watching till 10. Oh, you're watching till yeah. 10? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought she was taking calls till 10. No, 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 she's taking calls at 10. Oh. Yeah, so she's going to be watching. That's yes. all right. Yes. That's fine. Yeah. Totally just made a fool of myself, didn't I? Never mind. Uh, hello to you, Nikki. Hi, L, Mark, and Fab JM team. Uh, when is the mystery box on, please? P.S. 92 days until oh, I go to Arkansas. To oh, bless you, yeah. Nikki. Oh, and and can I just say, and also your lovely granddaughter too, aren't yeah, you, Nikki? How yeah. amazing is that? Um, we're counting down the days for you. Check out your baskets. Let's bring you. Oh, I found, and I actually screenshotted it. Um, I was going to speak to you about this after the show, Wayne. Um, a Cleopatra hour. I know that lovely uh, Monica did that. Mm, yes. Egyptian necklace. Because I didn't realise just how prolific and amazing Cleopatra was as a person. Mm. Super, super educated. In a very short life. She, she only lived till 35. Yeah, and, and mm. uh, took yeah. the, is it throne? Do they call it the yeah, throne yeah. at 17? 17, that's right. 17. Yeah. But yeah. spoke spoke about nine different languages, studied medicine. She was, a, she was brilliant. Did you see a Facebook post with Liz Taylor? That's it. That's it. Yeah. How amazing is she? Yeah, incredible. Anyway, we're talking about Cleopatra because she was a firm yeah. favourite of this gemstone. Uh, she absolutely loved her lapis lazuli. This is from the original location of source. We we'll go beautifully wow. with the pyrite that you had a few moments ago. They are big pieces of lapis. Of course, that lovely electric blue. This would look amazing on your macrame slider bracelets. Oh, yeah. Or, um, as you said, your guru beads, your tassel toppers. They're amazing. I love them. <clears throat> uh, you, know, you know Wayne's in the hot seat, don't you, when you see prices like mm, this? Yeah. Wayne... Seven ninety nine. This is this is this is missing a digit at the front. Okay, well that speaks volumes. The warehouse is bursting. Have you had Carl on the phone every week? Again? I think I think the first day of every month, the first hour should be a pound for everything. Like it? Yep. Ah, mm. uh, okay. Yes, mm. that. That's about the same. I was thinking about it the other day, actually. On the way <clears> home. You know, things things pop into your head. So the first day of a month, a pound hour. Love it. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Uh, thank you. Yes, very excited. Uh, <laughs> you didn't say when the mix. Oh no, I didn't, Nikki. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, lovely. So sorry, I got carried away there. Uh, Probably in the twelve o'clock hour. Probably in the 12 o'clock hour. Um, at the moment, we're not entirely sure, but probably going to be at 12 o'clock. Just stay with us, Nikki. Right. That's the best thing. Uh, so you don't miss out. Oh, look at those. They're very cute. Oh, oh. wow. Um, but first. Oh, look. look at the size on these. I like big gemstones like this. We Me need a big, too. We need a big gem hour, don't we? Oh, yeah. Look at these. Love rhyolite. Look at that, totally and utterly natural. A gemstone, again, we don't, we don't see very often anymore. A little bit like Unakite, in a sense, you have that uh, very much sort of Monet patterns, mm. Monet colours, uh, wonderful little earthy tones. 9 99 for oh, 520 wow. carats. Um, I, I love it when you hear Wayne say, oops, oops. 
shouldn't have been 9.99 how many do we have only oh, eight of them left so you've got to be quite quick on this one don't forget folks you can pre-order on your sterling silver ruby emerald and sapphire slider bracelets uh, that are coming up within this hour also you can pre-order on your storage box with um, big quantity of these have gone already uh, with your anti-tarnish strips. So it literally comes complete like so. You can shop ahead and, uh, and pre-order on those as can well. I take one of those and count them. Yeah, yeah. We go. There's only two of the Rhylite left. I can't remember the last time I saw Rhylite let alone in, in a size of these. Slabs is the perfect description, isn't it? Uh, stay where you are on those phone lines. Uh, let's bring you some beautiful obsidian. Love the carvings on these. Oh, is it oh, sold no. out? Oh, my God, these. Wow. Oh, should have been $13.99. Oh, we're still going to absolutely uh, crash that price point for you, though. $8.99. Well done. Hand carved. Absolutely beautiful. Well done to those of you that managed to get those sold out. Aquamarine faceted rounds. This is stunning, this strand. It caught my attention when I actually stepped into the studio. And perfect alongside, again, Mark's kit. It's amazing with the sterling silver components that we've got coming up today. And, of course, your Tanzanite deal of the day. Uh, two and a half to three millimetres in their size. Look at that. That's idyllic quality of aquamarine. Would we all agree? £14.99. £14.99 £14 only. Oh, how many? 58 that's not wow. many it's not many they're perfect additions to things like your uh, your slider bracelets they'd be lovely for things like beady beads and your micro kiss cross mm. um <clears throat> those of you that love to create mark's designs 8.99 oh it's busy on the phone lines um stay where you are don't abandon your calls just because uh, just because we've moved on doesn't mean that you have to of course i will always shout out if it's sold out um i love that i love it i will call you ross today by the way wayne it's a, it's almost a certainty um wayne says oh, i've missed this i've missed this I, I did lifestyle the other day oh with nick uh, with i i have done one with oh nick, this was yeah. another one um oh, nice. and i kept saying good morning <laughs> oh no it's in the night okay. and i kept calling them jewelry makers and of course it's not jewelry maker so it's because whenever you come in this environment that's what i imagine it to yes, be morning yes. so it's completely out of my comfort zone um yeah so i will be calling wayne ross i'm sure i'm sure oh someone's bought five like i wonder what they're going to be making with them oh message in essex oh, we'd love yes. to know what you're making yes. um let's do i love oh. this strand i thought it was turquoise oh Oh, look at this. Wayne, can you buy some more of these? They're it's amazing. gorgeous. Oh, look at this. Oh, look how beautiful they are. I would literally just restrand that. Maybe put, put a couple of... That's beautiful. I don't know, separation, some kind of spacers or... Those round pyrites we had earlier. Oh, I like love the, um, the barrels. Maybe do a group of five and then a barrel, group of five. Oh, barrel. lovely. It would be lovely. I'm Rosary just... link, this would be beautiful. Wouldn't it? 4 99 mm. And if you love this strand, then tune in on Monday morning because apparently there's some more of these in the, in the oh. Monday, uh, Monday live show. In Monday Madness. Oh, my goodness me. 3 99 How many have we got, Wayne? 22. I'm visualising these on stretchies, on an elastic, which you could get your smaller 0.5 millimetre through the drill hole just there. Imagine that as a little anklet. How nice would that be? So pretty. So, so pretty. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Make sure you do check out your baskets. Are you ready for your early bird? I do hope so. Because, listen, we can all be swept up in the, go in the beauty of your genuine gemstones and, of course, the talent mm. and inspiration from our fabulous designers. But making sure you look after your components and ultimately your finished piece of jewellery hereafter is equally as important. And your, your early bird is, we are doing the, the, the anti-tarnish first, yeah? Is exactly that. A necessity, a necessity to us all. Um, 
50 have already gone on pre-order um, and every time we do bring anti-tarnish strips they fly they absolutely fly because think of all the sterling silver that you will have within your stash then think of all the sterling silver that you will have in your jewelry collection think of all the sterling silver that you gift think of all the sterling silver that you sell um, and you get the general idea now you spend however long hours possibly even making these fabulous creations and we saw some of them this morning on the wall of fame making sure that beauty is maintained is as important i truly believe in actually uh, in actually the creation itself because i've always said this about uh, about your tarnish strips prevention is better than cure because as soon as you start have you ever noticed this that as soon as you start dipping your sterling silver or polishing your sterling silver you're always going to have to do it um so if you prevent it then chances are you may well never even have to do it um and how you prevent it is little anti-tarnish strips now these are large sizes so really you can absolutely cut these down um, you don't need to put uh, that size um, into one uh, into one of your storage bags um, you could absolutely uh, you could absolutely uh, maybe cut it down into four do you think Mark? Oh, I always do that anyway so you always do that so these bags you get one tag in each bag but the bag is sealed so what you're gonna have to do is just slice off a little slither along the top and then you've got a grip seal Oh. Which, which, so you can put, you can use it to pop a pair of earrings or a ring. Or, oh, that's a great so, idea. So it's a little storage bag as well as your tarnish tag. So Brilliant. yeah, and then they seal back up yeah, again. Brilliant. How amazing is that? So yeah, you literally take yeah. your anti tarnish out, yeah. put it in whatever you wish, and then close it back up again and seal it. So yeah. that's a great that's idea. Amazing. Not only Never that. Never seen that before. No. Well, no. they used to come in the sort of like a that's right. a, a mass bag, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Um, plus you're getting the little storage container as well, so you you, you can literally just go to. Shall we start the other way? <coughs> Remind me, Wayne, how many did we have of these? Oh, we've got oh, big God. quantity, but I don't think people are just going to be getting ones or twos um, because it is an absolute must. You know, uh, um, I actually gave some anti tarnish strips to one of my uh, to my family members for that reason. She was I noticed that where she'd been polishing it, the tarnish then mm. rubs off. Yes. It rubs off on on her finger, and I was like, you just pop one of these in your jewelry box, and that should prevent yeah, it. Uh, and fingers crossed, that seems to have worked thus far. Prevention is better than cure, and also it's an indication, certainly for our retailers. Um, it shows it shows professionalism, I believe. Now, a hundred of these have already gone. We've got 500 of these. Are you ready for your early bird price tag? Are you ready? So you're getting 20 of your large anti-tarnish packs and the tray for £12.99 only. They are absolutely skyrocketing. If you've got uh, access to the web or the app, I would, I'd, I'd encourage you to use that um, purely because there's never any queues there. But our call centre are on it. They're up and at it this Friday morning um, and they're keeping up with the volumes of your calls. Catherine, Susan, Michael, Dawn, Lynn, Dorothy, Barbara, Louise, Paulie, Merthyr Tidfil, Linda, Lynn, Teresa, Cheryl, Carol, Catherine, another Catherine, Manchester, Jacqueline, Angela. Uh, hello to you, Mandy. I adore these tarnish tabs. All my jewellery is in bags with these and they are fab. Highly recommend them as they really do a great I job. Do. Thank Absolutely. you, Mandy. We've got, um, I was left in, in, um, in a will, a canteen of sterling silver cutlery, mm. um, an antique. Oh, set. they're lovely, they are. So what we've done is we, we've put each of the items in a bag with, a, with an antique tarnish tag because you can imagine when we do, do set the table if it's not it's not sealed and, and anti-tarnished they go it, yellow they go yellow and it's a big chore it to polish is up, yeah it you know is. A, whole, a whole canteen of cutlery my know? mum and dad uh, somewhere yeah. that my mum and dad have actually got those as well and that's mm. a really good idea mm. uh hello to you Alison. i cut these into four and place them in empty cb tubes that's a good idea great yeah <clears throat> massive cues oh. and wayne He's got his clock out he has got his clock out Goodness me, Wayne. You're going to take these under £10? <laughs> He's still not done. And ooh, oh, it doesn't even oh. mean by a penny. Wayne, Wayne, that is low. We're already lower than what you've put on the star by sheet. Mm. This is how I how roll. roll. Plays his cards mm. very close to his chest, as our Wayne, clearly. If Monday is Monday Madness, I think today should be Friday Frolics. Everybody likes a frolic on a Friday. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Friday, Friday frolics. frolics. Friday frenzy. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that. It is a frenzy, frenzy, isn't it? It's a frenzy yeah, on the phone frenzy. lines. Frolics is a good word, though, isn't yeah. it? Wayne well, likes frolics, he says. <laughs> so he's going we under had, ten pounds. Yeah, not just buy a penny. Not either. nine ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Oh. You thinking oh. nine ninety nine? No, it's not nine ninety nine. No, <laughs> seven ninety nine. You'd pay that for the container. It's mad, isn't it? Goodness me! And literally, they're just there, there, aren't they? That you can cut down. You've got your lovely seal pack, so that they, you know, they've got longevity. They're going to last you, and they will double up as Mark's wonderful mm. suggestion. Then as storage for your makes. Yep. Um, I've seen so many people all of a sudden jump their quantity up to twos and threes. I don't blame you for it. We don't get them very often. When they land, they sell out usually within one auction and I don't think today's going to be any different we had 500 all around the world getting involved this morning hello to you all good morning hello to you Gary Gillian hello to you Ayrshire uh, Cheryl Elizabeth Dawn Belinda Shirley Irene Debbie Lisa Donna hello to you Denise getting four Nora June uh, Maker Jacqueline Wiltshire Angela Carla Carol I can't keep up uh, Christine Catherine Joyce hello to you Staffordshire Susan Michael Wendy hello to you uh, hi Liz You'd pay twice that much yeah. for anti tarnish strips. You would, yeah. That's why, that, that's why Liz, mm. you shop with us, isn't it, my lovely? That's why there are four rows of names. Wow. And people are getting fives and fours and threes and twos. Half the stock's gone. Remember, I had just, I had just over 500 of these at the beginning of the auction. Um, we already are um, approaching 200 remaining uh, within, uh, within stock levels. So, Janet, make sure you check out Andrea, Lynette, Julie, Margaret, Gillian, Susan, Christine, Jane, new customer, new customer, Alison, Anna, Adri. I can see there is a queue on the phone lines. Um, our call centre are pretty wicked, so they will get you as soon as they possibly can. In fact, they're not pretty. They're very 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 wicked our call center they team um they work incredibly hard um and we love them for it don't we jean's just got three beatrice neil and linda hello to you, christine kim you've got yours hello venetia hello jane in cumbria look at the call screens they've gone nuts absolutely nuts why is that because like i said we can get we love the romance of gemstones we all do don't we um and i think most of us would class ourselves as collectors we love the inspiration from the likes of mark we absolutely love creating jewelry you know to be to, sorry to add the the non-romantic but certainly practical aspect mm, of this absolutely. you need to look after those yeah, components yeah. not you know your end results but also the pieces that you haven't yet created with so you know your findings that you might have within your stash my invention that, but who was it was it michael i know you're watching today michael because i saw your name michael um guess what i downloaded a patent pack yes I'm going to Have pack. you invented something, have you? Yes, that's what I meant to tell you. You know, I said it before yeah. the show, I was like, oh, I've got something to tell you, and then it went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to patent something. Well, we've got a dragon on board now. We have got a dragon on yeah, board. Yeah, if you need some investment. Yes, I do oh. need investment, because yeah. I don't have any money. No. <laughs> <laughs> The but travel agents have got your money, haven't they? The travel agents have yeah. got my money, yeah, unfortunately. Still haven't our yeah. money back from Bali. There we go. No. No. Um, wow. So yeah, I might have to speak, Sir Sarah. Got an invention. It's a good idea. Mm. That is good yeah. idea. Uh, sorry, whilst the queues, we allow the queues to subside, and there is a big volume of you on the phone lines. Um, let me just show you. Let me. Okay. Now we're not saying what's in the mystery box. So we're just going to look at the box. We're just going to look at the box. But uh, mm. every so every time I mention it, I'm going to give you maybe a. Not a hint. I wouldn't say a hint. Okay. A seed, if you right. like. A seed of okay. intrigue. Of all varieties, within this box is considered the best. So I wouldn't say that a gemstone was a variety. Really? Mm. So uh -huh. I think I know what's in your box. Oh, you might be wrong. I might be wrong. Okay. <clears throat> it's the best of its kind. The best of its kind. Okay. You have to be with us for this deal because we are offering you legacy opportunities that today is going to 
the most unbelievable price tag. Frankly, and I don't think I've ever said this sentence before on air, and take it as I, I hope you, uh, that you know I intend, I think we'd be fools not to. I want to buy this. I desperately want to buy this. And I don't just buy it for myself. I buy it for my children and my children's children. It's a pretty woman box, it is. Yes. Um, yeah, it is. It's not the box, it's what's in the box. That's a gorgeous box, L. Thank you, Kathy. It is. It's not the box, it's what's in the box, though. But yeah, it is worthy of that pretty woman box as well. I'm going to do my Richard Gere earlier, uh, later on in the show. Did you know that was not actually uh, scripted? Yeah. That moment. That was ad lib, wasn't it? Ad lib. Yeah, yeah. Is, it, is Jay Dyke in the mystery box? No? Okay. Not Jay Dyke. Right. No. Not Jay Dyke. Coming up later on at some point during the show. Still massive cues. We can see you there. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, Ruth, Anne, Carol, Jane, Agnes, new customer Joan, I can see you there. Stay where you are on this phone. I also need to show you these. Um, it's coming up literally next. You can pre order. We sold how many on? 20 are on pre order, wow. and I only have 80 of them left. You do get all three of them. I don't know how you did this, Wayne, because, uh, Wayne, you might not remember, um, but, oh, okay, Wayne said it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't meant to be that price tag. Oh, hang on a minute. Have you ever seen this? Wayne. Um, awkward turtle, yeah, right now. Awkward turtle, yeah, Ross and I did that price tag. Anyway, um, yeah, last remaining stock that we will honour. Oh. Uh, a couple of people have guessed. Have they been specific? No. Uh, okay. Okay. You can get hold of those, you can shop ahead. Um, also, your deal of the day, the most amazing Tanzanite showcase. We seldom ever get Tanzanite in rounds and certainly seldom ever get that carrot weight on one no, strand. No. Um, so these are coming up at 10 o'clock today. Mark's got the most breathtaking kits, um, including master carvings um, across your jade eye and your tiger's eye. I mean, look at the pieces wow. of jewelry that you've created, Mark. These are absolutely oh, unbelievable. It's, it's incredible to know that, you know, firstly, oh. that should, they, they belong in museums, mm. these pieces of jewellery. Yeah. Is it what, Spinel? <coughs> no. Good guess, though. Okay. Re we've had some really good guesses coming through. Right. We've had some really good guesses, but not specific to what it is. We, um, yeah, well mm. done, well done, well done. Mm. Um, make sure, make sure you check out your baskets and make sure you stay on the phone lines for this one. Your early bird, right now for last remaining stock. Now, um, I, I I launched the first slider bracelet uh, that um, jewelry ma maker ever had, and it was back in 2017. You might be thinking, oh, that's odd that you can remember exactly what uh, exactly. Well, it was what. rather special, wasn't it? It was. So yeah. I'd just come back. It was my first show back uh, from um, having Willow, uh, my eldest daughter. So I remember it vividly, and I remember having a, a conversation with Scott, our managing director, and also Colin. Um, who's mm. obviously the partnership uh, managing director um, about this product and how excited they were the fact that we were now sort of stepping into this level of luxury now with such an occasion I'm going to remember the price they were £24.95 just for a sterling for one silver, silver for sterling one. silver slider bracelet how, f how far we've come because this star buy you get all three and you get three of the big five So, 2017, it was, our, it was our first ever slider bracelet. It was the popcorn. Do you remember that? Do you remember it? You might even oh, remember yes. the show. Yes. Um, and they were £24.95 each. And they absolutely flew. Now, we have developed. We're going to hold off on that price tag for a time being. But thank you for those of you that have already shopped ahead and checked out. Oh, no. Maybe you saw the auction. Maybe you didn't get involved for whatever reason. Don't let that chance slip through your fingers again because I've never seen a deal like this. Now, not only are you not just getting one slider bracelet in sterling silver, you're getting all three, 
but also you are getting natural ruby, natural sapphire, natural emerald. Amazing. That's Three really of the big cool. five. Do you remember what these went to? A lot, lot, lot has happened since then. Yes, true. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, 220 went on that deal oh, wow. today. I have quantity left. Not much, but we have got some quantity. 70. And we're going to do it in one big price crash. They are 925 sterling silver. So not the one popcorn, which was 24.95 back in 2017. You get all three. And now you're getting the gemstones in those beautiful tasselite drops. Thank you so much. I love it. Can you hear Wayne grumbling under yeah, his voice? Yeah. Muttering. He's like doing a motley. This is ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. I bought these and they shouldn't have been under that price tag. Mumble, mumble, mumble. All right, Muttley. <laughs> yeah. He's not wrong, though, is he? Mm -hmm. We launched the first slider bracelet at £24.95. Now you're getting all three with the rarity of the gemstones. Yeah, yeah to be honest, you're buying one and you're getting the other two for £5, pounds, which is yeah. nuts. Or let's look at it this way, Wayne, because I'm a sim simple maths girl. That's £10 each. <laughs> That's ten pounds. Have we ever done slider bracelets for ten pounds? No. Imagine no. if you gave that as a gift to somebody within a really nice little gift box and a little ribbon or in a gift tag. They wouldn't think you spent ten quid on it. Of they? course not. No. You know? And and they'd be quite right. With, you yeah, know, yeah, quite right to think it. that, wouldn't they? Yeah. Um, but yeah, wow. I mean that's absolutely crazy, isn't it? Ten pounds per slider bracelet. Yes, it is nine two five. You're not talking base metals here. And yes, they are genuine ruby, emerald and sapphire in your lovely five millimetre beads that tessellate. Do you notice that? They're actually faceted yeah. um, with the drill. You pointed this out, mm. didn't you? Where the drill hole is, is sizable enough so that the slider bracelet will literally glide. It will glide up and down the slider bracelet. It's just amazing craftsmanship. Um, back in, I think it was 2019, maybe, um, just, be uh, just before the pandemic. Um, and it was uh, Le'Veon. Eddie Levion actually announced the feature of jewellery uh, to the world. What was it? It was it, it was versatility. So actually having this adjustability within your designs. That's why so many big jewellery houses actually used uh, your slider bracelets. You, now you think, now I've said it, you're probably thinking, oh yeah, this one, this one, this one. They all actually did it. And that's because because Eddie Levion announced to the world that it was all about adjustability within your jewellery designs. They still maintain that amazing popularity. Uh, these are 925 sterling silver. You're getting them for £10 each. That's madness. Absolute madness. There's just 50 of these left within the vault. So, uh, again, don't leave them too long if they're sat in your basket. Uh, Gabrielle, Jane, Jacqueline, Kim, Richard, Jane, Roz, Janice, hello to you, Jodie, Denise, Sheila, Joe, Jocelyn, Gary. Susan, you've done it. Well done to you. I've got Alison, Sylvia, Sharon, Jane, Karen. Good luck. Sharon in Wilshire, you've got yours. Olwyn, Lynn, Cambridgeshire. Louise and Valerie and Ray and Lynette and Buckinghamshire um, and London. Uh, make sure you do check out those baskets. We've got a question coming through. Hi, Jacqueline. Oh, uh, oh sorry, not question, a message. Uh, morning, Alan Mark. Well, thank you, JM. That's three prezzies sorted. And what amazing presents they are. Amazing. Mm. Probably birthstones yes. as well. Yeah. You know, because you could go, oh, I know somebody is a May baby. I know somebody that's a September and a July baby. Yeah. Perfect. Right. The final few, we are over allocated, so I'm going to leave those with you to check out your baskets. Well done. Still so much to bring you today. The most unbelievable kits, the most amazing jewellery with this gorgeous man, lovely Mark Smith. So make sure you stay with us. Um, we are talking about legacy and heirloom opportunities, uh, creations that you will want to stay within your family's history. Up next in your kits. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. 
catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, I'm just giving you a sneaky peek of what I've got coming up on Friday's show. I have just spent an hour threading on 800 beads and I'm going to be making the most beautiful Kumihimo necklace of which during Friday's show I'm going to be launching my first PDF where you can actually make this necklace along with me so that's this Friday the masterclass hour at 12 I can't wait to show you the outcome of this Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay.
I'm Debbie Kershaw and I'm joining you on Jewelry Maker on Sunday the 10th of July with this incredible tool. It's the launch of the Hydraulic Press. Now you know I like to name my tools, this is Henry. I can't wait to show you what this tool can do. You can use your embossing plates with it, you can use dies to make three-dimensional shapes, you can even use your disc cutters. So I really hope that you can join me for the launch of this incredible tool on Sunday. See you there. Dramatic intro for a dramatic very, hour. Very, very Miami Vice, I always think, that little Jeez. intro there. Do you feel like we need to be yeah. sort of like uh, sliding across the fronts of cars? <laughs> in, in espadrilles. It doesn't wear espadrilles. One of them does. Don Johnson wears espadrilles. I can totally yeah. see him rocking espadrilles. In pastel suits. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you don't know what an espadrille <laughs> is? <laughs> the most, the, the other oh. least practical pair of shoes well, you'll ever, you'll ever, they're basically straw. Yeah. Soul, the, stro the soles are straw. Very unpractical. Um, anyway, Mark, as far as kits go, would you say this is up there with some of they're your favourites? They're amazing. They're, they're just so beautiful. The, the, the gemstone strands are incredible. You get so much for your money. The carvings are second to none. And as, as I mentioned in the first two minutes of the show, this, this tiger pendant is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. But also we are oh, going to do some yeah. of the best deals. Now, let me just explain... Mm why we are as excited as we are. Firstly, the gemstones, which is obvious, and I'll talk about that. But secondly, these are master carvings. Now, what that basically means is we don't carve our jadeite. We don't do it. Listen, it'd be like taking, I don't know, some, some rubies, sapphires, emeralds, spinels out of Edar Oberstein and saying, uh, saying, yes, Wayne, yes. <laughs> yes, Wayne. Sorry, we've just been looking for something. Um, yeah, I like taking those gemstones out of Edar Oberstein and saying, no, you're all right, we can cut them ourselves. You just wouldn't do it no. because, you know, that's what Edar Oberstein's known for, cutting of gemstones. China is known for master carving. Um, and it is, uh, it's been discussed at length, really, on our, on our channels, the fact that it's part of their heritage, you know, this is very much something that um, the artists, and that's the only way to describe mm, them, um, will learn even, uh, or start to learn, if you like, from their, from their childhood. But it's often referred to that the jadeite chooses the carving and not vice versa. So, for example, when Wayne wants to buy, um, wants to buy tigers, he can't just say, I want some jadeite tigers, um, it'll be... Okay, well, does the jadeite want to be a tiger, if that makes sense? Mm. Now, we are in the year of the tiger, so um, uh, we are talk look talking about, not just now, but historically, one of the most significant beings, species, on our planet, uh, and certainly, I personally think the most beautiful. Absolutely. I mean, take a little look at him. Mm. Um, there is nothing more majestic than a tiger. Absolutely. They are absolutely <laughs> incredible, aren't they? To, how can something so ferocious be that beautiful? This lovely. Amazing, lovely. amazing. Well, let's read about this. So, uh, as I said, tigers are, are, are very poignant in Chinese culture. So more than just prized for its beauty and majesty, the tiger bears a greater symbolism in Chinese culture. In China, the tiger is considered the king of all beasts as it symbolizes power and a great deal of nerve. It is also known as the king of the mountain. In traditional Chinese culture, the tiger is also a symbol of luck, considered to be an embodiment of yang or positive energy. The tiger is a solar animal in yin and yang philosophy and associated with the sun, summer and fire. Uh, they symbolize power, energy, royalty, protection, generosity, illumination and unpredictability. Throughout Chinese history, the tiger has incited a sense of both awe and admiration, its prowess, its ferocity, its beauty, and the harmony of opposites. The tiger is full of life and embodies the spirit and drive to achieve and make progress. Now, if some of this is sounding familiar, it's because also tiger's eye has those same yeah, different uh, beliefs. Yeah. In Chinese folklore beliefs, the tiger is, uh, is uh, protecting the good, guarding it from evil. Being a guardian spirit, tiger's eye has often been carved into amulets, yeah. 
Mm. There we go. And warn, and warn to ward off bad spirits, protecting its wow. wearer. That is exactly what you are about to see in Mark's kits today. Um, literally, tigers carved into either tiger's eye or jadeite. Now, I, I love this fact. So if ever you've looked at a tiger, a photograph of a tiger, um, literally the markings, and we spoke about this, didn't the we? The markings on top of a tiger, is it, it translates literally, that's uh, in Chinese writing, king. So that's how they would write king in Chinese. And Mark, do you want to? Yes, so if you, I've, I've got a tabby cat at home. And um, if anyone's got tabbies at home, they all notice that above the eyes, there are two inverted triangles and it, and, it, and it shows the letter M. And legend has it that the prophet Muhammad had cats as his protectors as a, as a way of thanking them for their, 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 um, their help and looking after him in their protection. He put the letter M, which, for the, which is a symbol for a good luck for a cat. So if you have a tabby cat with the letters M, with the letter M above, every single tabby cat in the whole world has an Dave's M. Dave's got an M. I he's looked at it after, yeah, yeah, he's got an yeah, M. Yeah. So here we go. So the king, it literally is, in Chinese mm. writing, the markings that you find on the top of your tiger's head. So here is a, 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 a carving with massive, massive history in the year of the tiger, teamed alongside two of their biggest gemstones. Yeah, incredible. Tiger's eye, of course, and jadeite. Now... Which of these kits would you like us to start with, Wayne? Ooh. The type A jade out. So take the tiger in the year of the tiger, hand carved, you know, a, a symbol of courage, of protection, of strength, and carve it into the gemstone, which is classed as the most valuable mm. commodity on our planet. <laughs> what did we say earlier on in that article? The king of the mountain. There we go, that was it. King of all beasts, as it symbolizes power and a great deal of nerve, it is also known as the king of the mountain. So what do you have in your beautiful carving? Uh, you oh, have yes. that beautiful ti uh, tiger, the symbol of majesty, of, uh, of strength, of power, of nerve, courage, literally stood in all of its prowess within the mountain range. That is hand carved. Now, obviously, every single one of your jadeite carvings will be t slightly, slightly unique in the fact that they are all hand carved. They are all completely natural type A jadeite. I know it doesn't say it on your graphics. These are type A. We don't bring you type B or C. Um, basically, that means uh, B and C is poly polymer impregnated or dyed. Natural jadeite. And they're all very, very, very cleverly carved. Dan, can I borrow your mobile phone again? Oh, he's making a cup of tea. Priority. So can I, has anybody else got a mobile yeah. phone handy? <clears throat> I don't know how to put the torch on. Here we are. Oh, bear with. There's a reason why I'm doing this. Was that all you do? Yeah. That's the torch symbol. <laughs> I never knew that. <clears throat> look at that. Oh, wow, look. Look at that for translucency, honestly. With jadeite, it's not the four C's like your diamonds. It's all down to colour. And this is that lovely apple blossom green. It is taught all down to texture and translucency, which is why I shine the light behind. Even if we were to stop here at £1,499, you would absolutely be getting an amazing deal because this is the future auction. So, you know, the likes of Sotheby's. This is the, the likes of Christie's. How about we remove some of those numbers and we're not just offering you this carving 700 and thank you mark just hold it yeah uh, 730 carats of natural type a jadeite you're also getting a, a wonderful one meter length of jadeite in your classic rounds and mm -hmm. three look at these so of these your are, 10 so mils these, so these would be your markers and then your pendant would be your, your tassel and your guru Oh my goodness me. Mm -hmm. This is the type of piece that you absolutely should be earmarking as a, 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 
This is something for your portfolio, but certainly uh, something that I would want to keep within my family's heritage. Because we all know that this window of opportunity is closing. We're not going to be able to offer you jade I, inevitably forever. And if we do, well, I'm never say, don't never say never, but for type A grade and for the prices that we're offering you at the moment, that is not sustainable. In eight seconds, we are taking this awesome kit even lower. But I already know, Wayne, these are limited, right? 50 of these are left within the vault and we're going to promise you some of the best deals that you will ever see on type a natural jade eye in the year of the tiger oh my goodness well that's the price of the pendant or the strand honestly that's what we launched this strand at right wayne we launched the strand at this price tag oh my word and the and the tiger was 149 and we haven't even added these in. Yeah. So that should be over £350 for this kit. And that's a jewellery maker saving. You can get hold of it on your 0% interest split pay. In terms of techniques, I'm going to bring your lovely design over, Mark. So uh, is this something that anybody can have a go at? So all I've done is I've used red... Um, let me put my specs on. It's black, is it? Is it? Oh, is it so red and black. Yeah, so I've used a couple of red beads at the top just to accent the back, and mm -hmm. then I've knotted with, with black eslon all the way through every single bead. That's it's absolutely lovely. So gorgeous. So there's some really good drill holes as well. Really good drill So even holes. your thicker cords will go yeah, through? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mark? Oh, no, what's he doing? This kit. I launched this kit. Oh, bless you. Oh, he wants everyone to have one. Oh. Wayne says, yeah, I want, them, I want everyone to be able to get good hold of these. Good day to tune in, as we said at the beginning of the show. He says, I, OK, he will take every single pound off, but there's not enough people that are currently on the phone line. So if you've wanted this uh, this kit and yet not uh, not actually maybe uh, sort of purchased it, never, ever, ever made that pur uh, purchase because maybe it's been slightly out of your budget, um, oh. we're going to do our absolute best, or rather I should say Wayne is going to do his absolute best to make it as affordable as physically possible. We are talking about an heirloom gemstone here, and there's not enough people though, says Wayne. No, 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 another <laughs> 30 seconds onto your screen. Um, he says, if there's not enough people, we will close the auction uh, right here. Uh, that's already an incredible deal. You know, I haven't shown you sort of PowerPoints really showing Sotheby's and Christie's and the thousands of pounds that they sell jadeite for of exactly the same colorings, by the way. Um, that's, it's purely because never underestimate the value of what you are purchasing from here at Jewelry Maker. Just because we have £199 on your screen, that doesn't mean that's what it's valued for. We know it's not valued at that. We know it's valued at way more. Okay, you've got 30 seconds longer. There is more of you there. But he wants a few more. Okay, fair enough. You, we've never done this before. We've never taken this kit any lower than it is. And it absolutely shouldn't. The strands, the meter long length strand should be 199. The carving should be 149. Look, Wayne, have, have I ever shared this story with you? When I worked in the jewellers, way back when, there was one piece of jade eye in the, in the whole shop that sold Cartier, Rolex, all of those kind of brands. Yeah, and it was two and a half thousand pounds. And it was nowhere near as beautiful as this. Nowhere near. And that's going back 23 years. What do you think this will be valued at? You're doing it, are you? Oh, my word. Oh, I don't know oh, what he's no. done. What has he done? <coughs> Wayne, what have you done? So no one else can do this, just Wayne. He's... Oh. oh. 37 pounds and 25 pence only. Gosh. He's just taken off 50 pounds, which was half a tank of petrol for me this morning. Oh. I've been told off from keep mentioning petrol, but I keep mentioning petrol. I mean, someone's got to change, isn't it? <laughs> someone's got to give. But you know what? Wow. This is, that's, that's ludicrously low for type 
A grade. How many times have I shown you price points, carvings, master carvings, mm, which yeah. is exactly what you're purchasing right now, for thousands of pounds? You have the symbol or one of the most poignant symbols within Chinese heritage carved into their most valued gemstones. There's that ancient Chinese proverb that says, gold has a value. Jadeite is priceless and you can get it home today for 37 pounds and 25 pence as long as you realize that that 730 wow. carat opportunity is no way near that value it is worth significantly more heather allison tamina maker sharon hello to you richard allen irene london you've all done it i've got helen i've got isle of Wight there on the phone lines london maureen and tony sussex lynette new customer chrissy <coughs> susan elizabeth devon ruth uh heather susan another susan Marie you've got to check out those baskets if you want to guarantee we only had 50 I think there's uh, across the calls and the and the website it looks like it's over allocated we're oh oh yes says, said says Wayne I almost called you Ross then oh yeah uh, hi Kim hi all I purchased this kit at the higher price knotted with jade wow. um, green silk and I love it thank you wow. Kim and by the way the higher price was amazing too wasn't it still absolutely incredible um it, this is not a gemstone really that we should ever be reducing however that's exactly what's just happened purely because we've got sales manager wayne in the hot seat and nobody's going to tell him off wayne is it is there anybody that will tell you off <laughs> no <laughs> no but you don't you so, so literally you don't uh, Okay, no, he says, quite simply. I can't imagine Scott ever telling you off. Can't imagine. So, mind you, to be fair, Ross, uh, Wayne doesn't tell us off either. No, no. He'll just have a grumble to himself. <laughs> Leave that with you, the final few. Well done. 25 of you still have it in your baskets for the final few. I can see you on the phone lines. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are. Um, what an opportunity. Right, we shall go. we do the other tack? This is yeah, your favourite, isn't he? This, as, as I've... I'm mentioned. I'm going to mention it again. I've mentioned it three times already. <clears throat> the carving is absolutely beautiful, but the, the coloration of this stone mm. is just beautiful. And I've looked at a couple more other samples, and they're just breathtaking. Absolutely beautiful. Well, he's borderline. You've oh. got black jade eye in yeah. here because black I jade. The, I love the back first of all. Oh. I mean, the back is incredible. Look at him. It's the snot. It's the creases yeah. in his nose. You know when you see. I think I've got a photograph. You know. You know when you see a, t a tiger snarl. Mm. They literally screw really up their cool. nose, yeah. don't they? Have we got a photograph of that, Wayne? Is in in, in my PowerPoint. Is there a photograph of uh, of a, a tiger snarling? No. But they do, don't they? They have that wrinkles on the nose and it's perfectly captured. Let me show you all the way around. Oh, he's beautiful. Hand carved. I'll show you the reverse as well. I love that. Absolutely love that. Oh, my goodness. I'd love a, a work top. Oh, piece. my goodness. <laughs> if we win the Euro millions. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. That's the kind of thing that we could do, Mark. Yeah. Look at how beautiful he is. Now we're not just stopping. I'm just going to pop him down for a second there because I also have the perfect oh, yeah. black jadeite rounds. Now, when it comes to jade, uh, black jadeite, it's actually the oldest color. Uh, this formed millions of years, took millions of years longer than any other color jadeite. It's actually, uh, you know, progressed through, you know, your lavenders, through your reds, through your greens, through your Im imperial greens. Mm. So it's actually older. Um, oh, they go beautifully together, don't they? He's absolutely beautiful. We've got a big quantity of these. And Wayne fancies being naughty. Oh. I tell you what, let's match that price tag of the previous kit. Okay. You might separate. If you got the previous kit, by the way, you don't have to use that no, no, full no. meter in one, one no, piece. Absolutely not. No. You could split it, couldn't you? Hang on, we're starting here. We're starting at 149, but. Go for it. How many do we have? Oh, okay, right. I think we should. Say what you just said. <laughs> he, he says, shall we make this the fastest selling jadeite ever? Yes. And I said, go on then. No. 
Mark, why is this going to be the fastest selling? Do you trust Wayne? He says. Oh, Have man. you always yeah. loved this master carving? <laughs> In the year of the tiger, the ferocity perfectly captured, we're going to make this the fastest selling kit ever. Oh, my word. But he says they've all got to go at that price tag. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine in... I, you know, I, I'm saying Antiques Roadshow. It's happening now. We know Jadeite is being auctioned at astonishing, astonishing prices. And by the way, often Jadeite is no, def, no different to what you see on our screens. It's just we buy differently. We, we buy direct. You know, remember the Hong Kong Fair uh, trade show wasn't, hasn't run for two years. And it's already been announced that September's isn't going to run either. So we have the means and we have those contacts. They do 90% of their business at the Hong Kong Trade Fair. And it's been cancelled again. And it's been cancelled again. So those people, those, those Jadeite suppliers who said to us, what, a year ago, I think it was, you're not having any more because we're going to, the, we're going to the, we're taking it all to the Hong Kong Fair. Guess what? They've had to come back and eat a slice of humble yeah, pie and say, OK, it's cancelled. Would you like to buy some more? Of course we're going to take it. Was eighty nine ninety nine? Oh, pounds and fifty pence. When I spent more than that at the local, at, at, at literally my my little shop this morning on the way to work, I spent more than that. You can get hold of natural type A jadeite today for twenty two pounds fifty on split pay, and it's going even lower. No, 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 there's not enough people, though, surely. We want these to sell out today. I tell you what, if you don't, I'm all over it because what an amazing gift this would be. It's that symbol of protection. It's that symbol of courage. And I think many, we all have those moments, really, when we need that little bit of confidence. We all have those moments when we feel like we need looking after. That's what um, sort of embodies, if you like, the symbol of the tiger. Maybe you know someone that's born this year. No, not enough people. No way near, says Wayne. Wayne, I think you need to come out and tell everybody what you what you intend to do. Come on, Wayne. Because I know what you've got up your sleeve. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're planning. And I think you need to announce it to everybody. Are you coming in? Because you heard what he said, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm actually going to tell them the five. Tell them. Yeah. Tell our lovely viewers. What are you going to do, right. Wayne? Here he is! If we can sell them all. Yeah. 49.99. And you shouldn't be able to even get that for that price. That no. Bonkers. That's a Give hand... me another 30 seconds, please, Paul. That's Thank a hand-carved type A jade. 99.99. With Dave, that would be fair day, if not one point. On its own? On its own. Oh, my word. All day. Oh, well done. Come on. There's not enough people here. You know what, Wayne? You know what, though? There's got to be repercussions of this. It's got to be. There has to be. I suppose if, if we sell them all, then that's uh, it's like the perfect crime, isn't it? All the evidence is gone. It's out of here. I'm already happy at 89.99. Look, you've heard Wayne say it. He's doing it, he says. What an opportunity. You can basically get three for the price of one in type A jadeite. Do you ever hear, do you ever hear Chris, uh, Christie's going, oh, yeah, type A jadeite, the, one of the world's rarest gemstones. Buy it for three for the price of one. Hello to you, Ava. I'm saying that tiger is just stunning. Best I've ever seen. He's gorgeous, isn't he? It's a bottle of Prosecco, isn't it? 12 49 yeah. ish I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Nice bottle of red. Mm. Not, not one of the world's most valuable gemstones. Out of the 4,000 different minerals that exist on this planet, you're looking at one of the top 10 rarest. Half the stock has gone. I'm not surprised. Can we see he, the back again? Yeah, let's show you the back. There's the drill mm. hole as well, cut, uh, actually cut into the stone. Show you all the way around, all completely and utterly natural. Look at his little nose, his snarly nose. I love it. 
absolutely love it in there those gorgeous natural markings these are it's not dyed it's not polymer impregnated it is type a um have we melted the phone lines love I it i would love a strand of rounds in oh, that dark mottled color i just think that's absolutely it's very beautiful. rare yeah very rare and very expensive and yet here we are at fifty pounds, there are queues on the phone lines. If I can encourage you to use your uh, your uh, your web or the app, that would be fabulous. Susan, well done to you getting two. Essex, Tessa's got three. Well done, Kathleen in my home county of Monmouthshire. Hello to you, Elaine, Janice. Hello to you, Mary in Monmouthshire. Richard, Devon, new customer, Heather, Lynette in Worcestershire. Hello to you, Staffordshire, Libby. We've got forty of these left. I should mention you get the cord alongside it, and you're also getting um, natural type A black jadeite as well so it's not just the carving you are getting one two three four five six mm. natural black and i jadeites. use them you see the knotted necklace directly to your right oh. that's i use them with the rondelles in the knotted necklace a little bit yeah. of a sneaky peek as well aren't we, mm. with this? yeah there are 25 of this kit left 87 of you have it in your baskets you do the maths oh here yeah. so you've used the oh yes, yes. Literally, there's little punctuations within. Mm. Oh, that's gorgeous. Little sneaky peek of some of the kits that are coming up um, also within this hour. And of course, we've got your demonstration as well. Make sure you check out. We've got quantities threes, fours, sixes. I'm even seeing being bought in this opportunity. Loads of you with double quantities in your baskets. You do need to check them out. There was only, a, well, there was a big quantity, but there's 15 now. 15. We've taken, wait, Wayne, you've taken 100 pounds. Off that price tag. Pete. Only he could get away oh, with that, so couldn't beautiful. he? Isn't he? Isn't he stunning? Can we go back to, whilst you're all, uh, uh, whilst you're making your confirmations, can we just talk about the symbolism of the tiger? What a handsome chap he is. Look at him. Yeah, back to the beginning. There you go. There he is in all of his ferocity. <laughs> Handsome chap, isn't he? Does anybody else feel the need to go boop on his nose? <laughs> Got the cutest little boop nose. Rawr. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it, clearly. But look at how handsome he is. And then, of course, the oh, there's nine of these left. Nine of these left. Check out, check out, check out your baskets. Wayne, you <coughs> are king. Rawr, says Lynette in Worcestershire. Wow. Hang on. <laughs> Lynette, you didn't hear the sound effect then. Do you know what he did? It was, I have to say, it was the most pitiful. <laughs> row. <laughs> More like a meow. <laughs> but yes, I agree. He's the king of our prices. There are how many? Seven of these left with 84 of you still in baskets. Oh, my goodness me. We do have this handsome chap in another gemstone, um, which we'll do in a few moments' time, but not until this one actually sells out. West Sussex, Vicky, David, Maria, Kevin, hello to you, Sally, M Michelle, Anthony, Susan, Robert, Ruth. I, can't, I mean, literally, there are lit four rows uh, on our core screen, um, and there are only five of them left, so good luck. Well done, each and every single one of you. We did say, Mark, didn't we, at the beginning mm, of the show that yeah, it was going to be mega? Absolutely. It's, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. This oh, is... Inspiring. It's, it's just gorgeous. Wrinkly nose. <laughs> Do you love this? Oh, Mark. You'll have oh, to be God. quick on this one. He is much more limited. Now... You have backed there yourself you into have, a yes. corner there. Oh, my goodness. And you don't need to add anything to this, do you? You've got everything. You've got the thread. You've got the rondelles. Um, you've got the master carving. What? Oh, oh, stop it. No, you're not doing that price. Are you really? Yeah. Gosh. Oh, I've, oh my goodness. Look at the chatoyancy. He's amazing, isn't he? Oh, my. Oh, he's amazing. Literally capturing the perfect colours, the perfect colours of the tiger within the gemstone. Hi, Richard Wayne. I bought both the tigers. Um, excellent price. Uh, get me red jadeite. Ooh. Wayne? 
Red Jadeite Tigers, I think I he's talking about. <clears throat> oh, I want to talk to Wayne about Jadeite. I'll wait for this and then I'll ask him. Ah, is that possible? Do you think you could do that, Wayne? He says he'll give it a go, Richard. It, it's very oh. rare, Red Jadeite. Honestly, that's so silly. Honestly. That strand of rondelles is beautiful as well. I've never seen tigers own rondelles. This is the first time I've had them. Oh Amazing. my goodness, Mark. That's beautiful. <laughs> Wayne says, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure I should sit in this seat. No, because you, you do realise you're giving us ammunition here to just go, well, Wayne, you can't tell us off because you did this on such and such a date at such and such a time. Look at him. Oh, he's, he's magnificent, isn't he? Is he? What's the back like? Let's have a little look. Uh, when is the troops pendant going to be on, please, says Nikki. We'll try and squeeze it in this hour. If not, it might roll into the next hour. But it is available on pre-order. And I know Wayne is going to do something extra special for you as well, Nikki. Yeah, look at that. Full of chatoyancy, totally and utterly natural. Um, if you uh, go back to the PowerPoint whilst you're making that, uh, making that your confirmations, because uh, this PowerPoint, yes, it's about the tiger, the symbol of the tiger, of course, the being itself, but it also talks about the gemstone. So um, if we uh, keep flicking through... Here we go. Um, big, big jewelers working with Tiger's Eye, of course. Tiffany's and Co. Are they working wow. with Master Carvings, though? No, it's a little slice. It's a slice of Tiger's Eye. You've got the likes of Van Cleef and Arpels, of course, quite an iconic piece. You've got Thomas Sabo. Got the tiger, but it's not a carving. There we go. Classic beads, £239. There we go. Uh, what's that? North Skull, £120. Oh, my word. For centuries, jade has been a, a cultural touchstone of China. Uh, China. Oh, no, sorry, this is a different one. Um, talking about, actually, so, uh, jade out there. Uh, but, yeah, absolutely, absolutely poignant within Chinese culture. There's only five of these remaining. Look at him. This is just beautiful. It is the tiger's eye in a gemstone, yeah, isn't it? Incredible, yeah. No. That's your toyancy. On the verge of selling out, so we'll leave it with you. Well done. So, Wayne, on the last show I had, we, I think it was with Carol. It might, it might have been with Al, actually. We had a Mickey Mouse jadeite. Yes. And we had... No, um, Magic Mouse. Magic Mouse. And we had Kitty... What was the Kitty one? Hello, uh, Kitty. Goodbye, called. Kitty. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm desperate for you to try and source... Darth Vader and Stormtrooper heads in Jadeite. We'd have to give them another name, but <coughs> I want a Stormtrooper Jadeite pendant. Just the helmet, just the helmet. Of Walt amazing. isn't watching right now, is he? No, Walt doesn't. No, 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 no. Yeah. Or a descendant, I should say. Yeah, I think it'd be amazing. They would be amazing. Yeah. Oh, my goodness me, there's another kit. This is huge. Oh, my. It's bizarre because the tiger, I mean, our tiger site is incredible. I mean, ever since I remember, our tiger's eye has been amazing. But the tiger's eye that we've had with these pendants, the level of, of beautifulness of the tiger's eye is just second to none. I I've agree. never seen such tiger's eye like this. Is the, this is the difference. You know, when you actually mm. place a, a gemstone in the hands of, not just a cutter, no disrespect to gemstone cutters, but somebody that is an actual mm. artist, they know, uh, you know, how much to cut away to amplify the chatoyancy. Absolutely, they know yeah. how much, how little, you know, effectively. Um, I, I agree with you. And yeah. it's, it's little things oh, like, no. look, look at this. It, how the mountain range almost lights up within the natural fibres. This isn't painted, that's hand carved. There are only 30 of these available. <laughs> uh, just, we're, we've not, it's, it's huge. It's absolutely yeah, it's huge. Amazing. This alone should be more than 49.99, yeah. but you don't just get your tiger's eye master carving. You also get, it's, it's so beautiful, this tiger's eye. It's perfection. I agree. The quality of our tiger's eyes are off the yeah. chart. I, w I, I looked at some Thomas Sabo jewellery the other day. Their tiger's eye is nowhere near as good as ours. No, no, no. No, no way near. 
Sorry to any uh, Thomas Sabo buyers that might be watching right now, but it's true. The quality that we offer our viewers, but the, uh, let me explain why that is. They have to make thousands of one design. Mm. So that quantity, uh, that quality isn't available for uh, for those thousands. We can bring you, and we are bringing you literally 50 today, full of chatoyancy. That's black tiger's eye that you're getting here in your 10 mil rounds. And of course you get that uh, amazing master carving. Um, Mark, in terms of threading, you get generous drill holes with these, don't you? Yeah, so. Yeah. What cords? Well, I've I nutted work? again, haven't I? I think in the in the yes. this, yeah. And I think I've used. Let me have a look. Um, yeah, so that's that's your point five Eslon, which I doubled to knot. So um, so you could do massive. the easy. You can do the mm. easy knot. Yeah, yeah, easy knot through there. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Forty nine ninety nine. Shouldn't the meter long length strand shouldn't be 49.99 and the master carving most definitely shouldn't any questions that you have for fabulous mark then please do message in we are live here in the studio um and he can uh, he he can answer any questions for you mark absolute works of art these are absolute works of They're art beautiful, aren't they? they really are um what are you going to demo i'm going to demo because i love the rondelles i'm going to demo that bracelet <laughs> oh, yeah. there we go it, it, it's like it's like me so I love making the goddess bracelet and the only thing better than using rounds in a goddess bracelet are using rondelles. It's, it just works. Which you got with the, with the tiger's head. Absolutely. So I had all of the kits and I've had a, I've had sort of had a mix and, mix and match play around. So I thought I would use as my lazy strand the remnants after I did my knotted necklace of the silk because it's, it's a really nice thick silk with the needle attached. So I thought I would use that as my lazy Mm -hmm. And then I found some 0.9 Eslon in my stash that I thought goes really well. It really highlights the, gem, the gemstones. Okay, so the first thing I needed to decide, because obviously it's a thread with a needle, it's a silk thread, and I wanted to do what's called a loop lock. If I bring this over and lay it down, you can see. So we're going to do, we're going to do this. So I needed to make sure that I could get two lots of thread through the tiger's eye and also the loop at the other end. Now the only way I could get the silk through the beads was using it on the needle. Okay, so I thought, how am I going to be able to do it? So this is this is work in progress. I thought I'll have a go. So this is the remnants of my silk. I take one end and I place it at the bottom of my macrame board in the slot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our tigers eye and we're going to thread thread it on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pop on our beads one side, we're going to pop in a T-pin, come down the other side with beads, and then when we come right to the end, we're going to take the needle back through the tiger side. Now you can only do that because you've got the needle on the, on the silk, and then we'll finish it off. So on my bracelet, I put 23 beads on each side, so I'll, I'm de depending on um, wrist size, so you might need less or more. You have more than enough to do a seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half inch bracelet if you want to. And because we're macrameing, if you want to, you can have more macrame, less beads. As long as you've got the, the goddess beaded section on the top of the wrist, it doesn't matter how much you've got underneath. So I'm just going to pop on, let's pop it on, I'll put five on each side. So whichever amount you put on one side, you replicate on the other. So again, you wouldn't be able to use this silk without the needle, so it's fantastic that it comes part of the kit. So that's four and then five. I'm going to slide those down. And then using our T-pin, we're going to place it in the top of the board. We're going to bring it down and we're going to do the five on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five. So however many you have on one side, you have exactly the same on the other. Like so. So we'll just bring those down. And what I'm going to do is pull nice and tight and place the second piece of cord in the adjacent slot and just give it a few ups and downs just to hold it in position. So that's our two lazies. That's our button for our finishing off section all ready to go. So next, we're going to take a piece of our Eslon. <coughs> and because you're not doing full square knots, you don't actually need as much. You probably need about two, two and a half feet, so you don't need a lot of thread. So I'll cut a piece of this off. 
and then we're going to place our cord. Now this is square knot macrame, so we're just going to go underneath. And on mine, I did three full square knots to begin with. So just going to bring that up to the top. So make sure that's in position. All you need to make sure is that you leave enough room at the top to place one of your beads of choice in the top. So it's, so it's, it's just under a centimetre. So we're going to do our first square knot. So this is sort of a macrame technique, but it's, it's so easy, but I think it's one of the most elegant designs. And as I said, you can do it with rounds, you can do it with cubes, but I think rondelles for me is the most elegant of all the shapes. Okay, so we've got our three square knots. Like so. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on one piece of cord first. So I'm going to work on the right hand piece of cord. So the left hand piece, I'm just going to put out of the way for now. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to take my right hand cord and I'm going to go underneath the cords. So we've got the two cords on one side. So for the first move, we're going to take up one bead from the right hand side and we're going to slide it up. And all we're going to do is we're going to bring this cord which was on the right hand side, I've gone underneath. I'm going to go across and bring it underneath the bead. That's all we're going to do. Hold that in position with your thumb and then take the cord back underneath the two cords. The first couple might loosen, so just make sure that you're pushing the bead up all the time. So from now on, you're going to be pushing two up at a time. So we're going to take the left one up first and then the right one and we're going to bring this cord all the way around so it's sitting underneath the two. Just keep pushing up all the time. Push up with your thumb, take the cord underneath, swap hands, pulling nice and tight. And then we do the same. So we're going to take two beads up, making sure that they're going left to right all the way down. Slide those up, push them nice and tight, bring the cord underneath the two, squish up with your thumb, Take your cord underneath and swap hands and pulling up. So all the time you're just making sure that you can see that cord. Then we'll take the next two, bring them up, bring it across and push up. So inevitably as you're doing this, that some of the cords might loosen ever so slightly. So all you're going to do is just to make sure that you just give it a bit of a, a push. So we cut those in position. So that slightly came loose. So I'm just going to push those back up. There we go. Push them up. Go underneath the two beads. So we're going to continue with this all the way along. And as we mentioned, so the, first, the first move is one bead. Then it's two beads at a time. And then obviously you're going to be left with one bead on the left-hand side. So we're going to bring that up so it sits underneath. And then we're going to take that cord over the top. And all we're going to do is just feed it onto the right-hand side of the board. So that locks it in position. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start on the other side. And this is where the whole goddess bracelet comes about. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pick up my cord. And I'm going to go underneath. Because you can see there's a little gap. You can just see but, uh, uh, but just below the knotting at the top. So we're going to go in. We're going to go uh -huh. under again. Uh -huh. See, <laughs> See, anyway, Light bulb any, moment. Anyone can do this. It's so easy. And then we push the underneath. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to fill in the gaps. So make sure that's sitting underneath. And you can start to see the zigzag forming. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our cord across to make the, the Z, the sort of the zigzag pattern. We're going to take our cords underneath. Bring that up. So we get that nice zigzag pattern. And all the time, just make sure that you're pushing your beads up so it sits nice and tight. You can see, again, you can see the zigzag. Hold it nice and tight underneath. This is what's really handy with the Macromo board because you need tension. So because you've got your other cords in the slots, it works perfectly. So again, we just make sure that's sitting nice and tight. And then what we're going to do is, with our last cord, we're going to bring that underneath. So that finishes off our last 
zigzag section to making sure that's nice and tight. And then what I do then is, is holding that in position, I'm going to take one chord from the right and go underneath. And then with the other chord, I'm going to take it and go underneath. And now both of your chords are now underneath your lazy strand. Just feed that underneath, making sure that sits nice and tight. And there we go. It's in position. And now, because your two chords are underneath your last bead, you can then do your square knots. So however many you do at the top, you repeat at the bottom. So pulling that nice and tight. So that's one. Just give it a bit of a, a little push up if you think it's slightly loose. That's one. So do the first one. And then as I said, you do your however many knots you do at the beginning, you do at the end. And then what I would do then is I would then take my needle. Now I didn't use all of my rondelles, so I'm going to sew through the rondelle as well. So I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to take my needle. Now you wouldn't be able to do this unless you didn't unless you didn't have that needle. Is we're just going to take our needle back through the rondelle. Back through the rondelle. Pull that through nice and tight. Right, ignore that rondelle. That shouldn't be there. you being naughty. Yeah, the rondelle. Oh, the, the rondelle won't take won't take two, but it was the bead that does. So ignore that rondelle. I should have I should have incorporated it in the design. Take your needle through the bead. That will work. That will work. So you can get both cords through the rondelle there. Yeah, because they've got dr uh, large drill holes, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. No, amazing. And then you, what you would do then is you would then tie a knot, glue it with a little piece of glue. So if we bring the completed piece across. So when I did all my beads, I, I wanted to make extra length. I wanted this for a chap. So I've done an extra long piece of macrame, taken both the needle, so I've <coughs> excuse me. So I've taken the needle up, done my macrame, I've done my zigzag pattern, I've come down the other side, hidden inside the macrame, and then I've taken the needle through the bead, tied it all off, and then cut my lazy strands. But as you can see, it just, with that, with that patination of the tiger's eye, it's gorgeous, the Mark. The rondelles just really. How does it fit on? How does it look on the wrist? Let's. Don't have a look on. That. Yeah. It just feels. It feels lovely, oh, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't it? Just look how beautiful that is. Again, so one for, for, for ladies wear. or gents. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, because yeah, you said yeah. for chaps, I definitely yeah. wear this. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous, Mark. And there is the goddess the bracelet, bracelet. Yeah. it's been a Love long it. time Love since it. I've yeah, seen yeah. that demonstrated no, it's as i said it, it works really well with rounds but rondelles it's the perfect technique yeah, yeah. i um i think i prefer it with rondelles yeah. Yeah. especially Lovely. these smooth rondelles yeah. Yeah. mark thank you so Pleasure. much Pleasure. so much and something that would go perfectly alongside all of these really lovely yes. uh, yeah. knotted necklaces well done everyone um now i've got a few items that we can squeeze in just before uh, the break including uh, uh, don't forget mystery box coming up at some point within the course of the show including what sorry wayne uh, uh, the leaf oh. class. This is gorgeous. I have to say, I've got, I, I've got it um, in my head at the moment that we need to. I, I personally think we should be selling not just your silver, all of your precious metals. Um, but again, a class can be so much more than just functional. It can be beautiful, as this absolutely demonstrates. Look, you've got parve set with cubic zirconia. If I turn it on its side for one second, you can see how it's almost going to wrap around. It's quite a statement clasp. Mark, could I actually use this maybe to sort of gather together maybe a bit lower down in the neck That'd first? That would be amazing, wouldn't it? No, not, not just, just not beautiful. just at the back of the neck. No, no, no. You've got, oh, you know, you definitely want to make a feature of it, wouldn't you? Without yeah. £14.99 for all that sterling silver. Three grams of 925 sterling silver. It's going to make it actually adjustable if you, uh, a little bit like yes. if you wanted to wear, yeah. 
You know, we spoke about the uh, the pearl scarves as opposed to spill neck oh, uh, yes. pearl necklaces. That's How nice lovely idea. this would be! Yeah, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? So literally, where you have almost a, yeah. a, a, an unattached uh, pearl scarf, and then occasionally you could just sort of clip that price. I think I'd buy two. They'd make the most amazing earrings. Oh, wouldn't they? Little black dress night out. Nice date night. Yeah. We're massively over allocated, so make sure you do check out your baskets. Busy today, this Friday morning. Are we surprised? No, no. Not even remotely, not even remotely, because we've had some absolutely amazing deals and we've still got so much more. Stay holding because we have, hang on, silver oval jump rings. Drop the, my chair down, I realise I've gone too far. Oh. Um, now, why do we get, which one, what size, Wayne? <coughs> I've got two sizes, the large ones or the small ones? That, these ones, that's yeah. it. Perfect. Why an oval jump ring? Are these open jump rings or are they closed? Closed. I think they are. Are they closed? Let's yes. Closed jump rings. Okay, so in the 12 o'clock hour, I'm going to be showing you how to fit bull, um, bell caps yeah. onto your Kumihimo. Now, for the bell caps, you have to use oval jump rings. Let me just get my specs okay. on. Okay. Because of the, of the shape of the bell cap, you have to use oval jump rings. If I show you here, so you see we've got oval jump rings. Yes. That's the only way that you can get the bell caps on. So when you, when you um, in the past, we've, we've sold units of bell caps with oval jump rings and clasps, which I'm, this is what I've used on one of my designs coming up. So these would be absolute, and we're we bringing some bell caps to air in the 12 o'clock hour. So I would snaffle these up ready for the bell caps and you're not getting no. oh my goodness no. i've just heard what the price say? 925 sterling silver three grams over three grams oh no they're open look i they can just open. see it there perfect Pre and, and really clever yeah. i learned this a while ago but why they actually cut it on the long length as opposed to the curve it's stronger isn't it stronger strength yeah yes. and obviously if yeah. you're if you're using these to attach a clasp to them mm. your thread or your silk is likely to work its way That's out right. if it was there whereas yeah. it's not there very clever really clever really yeah. really clever nine pounds and 99 pence For only 20. 20. 20. we're over allocated last in stock deals uh, we're squeezing these in ahead of your deal of the day, which is just the most amazingly beautiful showcase of Tanzanite. Sally, Mary, Maria, Mirtha Tidville, Linda, Heather, new customer, Margaret, Charmaine, Beverly, Norma, Hello to you, Midlothian, Vivian, Manchester, new customer wants three. Check out your baskets, we're over allocated. Oh, there, there we go. go. There we go again. So these, these, are, these are silver. Would I've you choose it over a round? You wouldn't be able to use a round because, can you see the bell cap here? If I just showed so there's the bell cap oh i see what you mean because the the, the little um circle at the top where you put the jump ring through is so deep yeah there's not enough purchase in there to put a round jump ring it you would need a sharper would, bend. you need a sharper bend which is why you need the ovals yeah. oh. so, so all of my kumahimo pieces i use ovals especially with the bolt ring in the center just works perfectly there's three of these yeah. left Three of them left. Uh, so if you want your bell caps, there we go. Yeah. They're coming up a little bit later on in the show. Um, okay, let's do the larger size. And again, it's all, I guess, scale. I would just buy three packs of the large and just attach them to each other and make the most amazing well, bracelets, nice. wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes, that would be lovely. Literally just... Well, you wouldn't need... You only need one pack, would you? One or two, maybe? Um, They're 10 bytes, so 12 long. That's 12, that's 120, that's 12 centimetres, 24 centimetres is 10 inches. Yes, you've got more than enough, more than enough for, for a bracelet. For a bracelet. Are these closed? 12.99. Are they open? They're open as well, look. Oh, yeah, really discreet. That's 4.7 oh, grams at 12.99. Oh, Wayne. I would get two packets and do a bracelet, two in one. Chain yeah, nice. That oh, that would be beautiful. Amazing. And think of the gram weight. Yeah. If you do soldering, you could always solder these oh, together. Yes, that's true. Yep. You could easily solder them together, make them complete and closed. Um, and because they're actually larger, it's probably going to be easier to do. Twelve mm. ninety nine. No, the gram weight, uh, you know, the price of gold or, and silver and platinum has not gone down. In fact, it is still at that all time high. How many left? Nine. Yeah. Hello, Maria. Hi, Mark. Looking forward to today's masterclass. I've been busy doing Kumihimo nugget braids. So oh, addictive. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Chippahimo. We must do a Chippahimo show. That would be nice. Yeah, we haven't done one forever. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, stay where you are on those phone lines, Jewelry Makers. Still so much to bring. You've got your mystery box. Oh, I'm so excited to show you this. 
um, that we will spontaneously adding to your show at the most unfathomable price point, ultimate luxury in that box. Um, we've also got Mark's incredible masterclass. I mean, take a little look at um, Mark's beautiful creations here coming up with, um, with Kumahimo. We've also got the second time ever having Briolette drop diamonds. Those canary diamonds are coming up in today's show. Herkimer Courts, how can I not mention that? Plus so much more. Um, yeah, it's gonna be massive, but up after the break, it's brand new, it's premiering, and it's a cut that we rarely ever see in this gemstone, Tanzanite after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, I'm just giving you a sneaky peek of what I've got coming up on Friday's show. I have just spent an hour threading on 800 beads and I'm going to be making the most beautiful Kumihimo necklace of which during Friday's show, I'm going to be launching my first PDF where you can actually make this necklace along with me. So that's this Friday, the masterclass hour at 12. I can't wait to show you the outcome of this. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker.
Welcome back, jewellery makers. Now, a few things to talk about here. Of course, Tans and I, I'm going to assume, and yes, I know you shouldn't assume, but I'm going to assume that everybody that's watching right now knows just how desirable globally Tans and I is. But I want to mention the fact that we never, we, well, not, don't never say never. We rarely ever see Tans and I in rounds. And I know that's something that Wayne will have experienced firsthand. Wayne is our gemstone buyer extraordinaire, our sales manager, and he just so happens to be in the hot seat today as well. Um, and we can thank him for this amazing purchase. But you rarely ever see Tans Night in rounds. And that's because, for permission to be just a little bit gemmy for a second, to put my gemstone geek hat on, as my husband would say it. Because... Of all your gemstones, uh, most, not all, most will actually have be part of seven crystal structures. Now, tanzanite is what we call our thrombic, and it's one of the most more diverse of crystal structures. Um, and when you have an orthrhombic gemstone uh, like tanzanite, it becomes triachroic, which means that you see different colours from different angles, not just blue. When you look at it, say, from 45 degrees, you'll see flashes of pinks and violet tones coming through. Now, um, wh wh why does that bear significance to what we're looking at right now? Well, firstly... Um, because it's orthrhombic, it tends to like one longer axis. So what we call like a C axis in a gemstone. So that equates to you having things like your, uh, your trillions, um, your uh, oval cuts, your baguette cuts. That's why tanzanite tends to have those elongations because it works, it works alongside um, the crystal structure, but it also benefits or can help the triacroism. Now, I want to mention the fact that when you see tanzanite in round, brilliant cuts or in rounds, that doesn't mean that you're not going to see triacroism. It actually means that the gemstone is that good that wow. you didn't need those facets and those wow. elongations <clears throat> to get that quality. Now... Let's talk about tanzanite quickly, and I'm going to race through this PowerPoint because it is quite wordy, but it's important because we actually rarely ever see tanzanite now, especially in strands like this. Uh, now, firstly, this is a statistic most of us are quite familiar with. Tanzanite is, is said to be 1,000 times rarer than diamonds. The unique geology, pressures and intense temperatures of Mount Kilimanjaro offer you this once-in-a-lifetime deposit of intense blue-purple gems rich in history. Experts range in the uh, chances of finding it anywhere else in the world at wow. one in a million. I was asked that question some years ago. I was like, okay, well, what's the likelihood of it actually being found somewhere else as a one-look? Occasional gemstone. Um, yeah, one in a million. Tanzanite is one of the rarest and most intriguing gemstones known to man. Experts have predicted Tanzanite mines will have uh, given their last gem quality oh. stone in 10 to 20 years. And, you know, it's funny because much like Jade, actually, we it's like history repeating. We were once upon a time having lots of conversations with lots of customers saying, uh, talking Tanzanite. Oh, well, you've got loads of Tanzanite. What do you mean it's running out? It's becoming rare. Do we get it now? No, we, Very... did, we, did meant, we did not warn them, didn't we? Yeah, we, we said, listen, ears, yeah. and we are in that position <laughs> right now. Um, let's move forward. Good luck and prosperity. Tanzanite is known to hold attributes of good luck and prosperity. The deep blue stone is thought to be a transformation stone, which helps dissolve old negative patterns and habits, allowing the bearer to move on in life with a renewed sense of direction, purpose, optimism, and confidence. All the key ingredients for prosperity. The gem is also believed to attract energies of good luck, wealth, and success, propelling you into your best life. Again, this is uh, Tanzanite one actually taking a very clever, uh, strategy on marketing, um, much like De Beers did with diamonds. Yes, yes, Sorry, I've just yes. been, I've just caught sight of this one here. Let's look at the quality. Of, oh, that's like a quad A blue right there. A quad A blue. 
Literally, I'm sold on that one strand. Amazing. Uh, it is also the gemstone for new beginnings. Many people will gift Tanzanite for a uh, new birth, of course, new marriages, new lives. Uh, beyond its unprecedented beauty, intense ranges of blues and rarity, Tanzanite has often been associated with new life and new beginnings. The stone can be gifted for births and milestones in life as a token of fortune and hope. So again, love that. Fresh starts, rejuvenated health and pro uh, protection, stepping into a new world again very very clever uh, strategy from tanzanite one in terms of its marketing moving on an heirloom now this is undeniable i think all of us should absolutely like your jadeite consider tanzanite an heirloom heirlooms are keepers of time and memories. Passing on a piece of jewelry to another generation is a sign of love, pride, and family, symbolizing the passing down of a lifelong heritage. The rarity and beauty of Tanzanite complements this tradition as a perfect heirloom stone to carry through the future. I buy, buy Tanzanite not just because I love it and I think it's so beautiful. I buy it because I know that my girls will probably never be able to purchase the stone at the prices that no, we are seeing no. right now. But add to all of those amazing, amazing factors, and I'm just going to say one word, Pantone. Mm. Every year, the Pantone announces the colour of the year. And here it is. Very Perry is a symbol of global... I like this write-up. I can't even say that. What's that? A global what? Zeet... Zeitgeist. Zeitgeist. Never even heard that word before. Uh, of the moment of the transitions we are going through, we're talking about pa the pandemic. As we emerge from the intense periods of isolation, our nations and sta uh, I'm gonna, sorry, I can't read it from there. Uh, our notions and standards are changing, and our physical and digital lives have merged into new ways. Digital designs help us to search the limits of reality, opening the doors to dynamic virtual worlds where we can explore and create new color props possibilities. With trends in gaming, the expanding popularity of the uh, metaverse and rising artistic community in the digital space, Pantone and number, Very Perry illustrates the fusion of modern life and how colour trends in the digital world are being manifested. Gosh. Would you like to see <coughs> what Very Perry looks like? <laughs> it is literally Tanzanite. It is. Yeah, completely. It is, and that's the colour of 2022. So you add any gemstone, if you have any gemstone which is reminiscent of the Pantone colour of the year, the price per carat absolutely skyrockets. And yet he's done it again. Wonderful Wayne has secured a deal which seems to almost eliminate all of those facts that we've just discussed. Now, these are, add to the equation, the biggest carat weight strands I've ever seen in Tanzanite. Bar none in my 10 years. Wayne, I've never done carat weights like this in Tanzanite. And they are long strands. But they're limited. Now, how many do I have of this one? 16. That's all we could purchase. So do you remember way back when when we used to do Tanzanite days? Yeah, we can't do that anymore. Can you remember when we used to do Tanzanite hours? can't do it anymore. I can do four opportunities. A reminder not to be complacent. Our opportunities of Jade are there at the moment. Do you remember when Tanzanite was there? It's not anymore. Are you ready? Let's get the clock rocking because in 30 seconds we are bringing you one of the, no, the biggest carrot weight that I've ever done in must Tanzanite. Be, no, it must be, mustn't it? Ever. 25. 10 oh, years. Uh... I'm not, I'm not calling, I'm not, I'm not including your chips and nuggets. I'm talking about you know, literally cut tanzanite. I've never done a carrot weight the size of this strand. It's not a titchy 20 centimetre strand either. 33 centimetres. Imagine this, Mark, with your jadeite. It's perfect, isn't it? It's that same sort of um, hue and oh. texture, isn't it? It's just perfect. And, and I haven't done it today, but if you have a little look at first dibs, I recommend you do that. It's literally number one, S-T-D-I-B-S, dibs. Have a little look on there. Search 
tanzanite um, rounds or cabochons, you will see that they are absolutely auctioning this level of quality and they are uh, they are actually selling it for thousands of pounds. It's quite expensive site, actually. Very expensive. I, I was quite surprised because uh, your recommendation, I had a look at it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was good. Have we got tight. photos yeah. of that, Wayne? Well. On this power, uh, first tips, <laughs> is it on the back of this PowerPoint? No, okay. Um, beg your pardon. I thought I wondered maybe oh, no. if I'd actually put that on there. But yeah, first, if you put first dibs, tanzanite rounds or something like that, they do you cut stones. But yeah, they yeah. do capuchons and they yes, do yes. spheres like this. Oh, it'd be perfect with your kit, Mark. It's gorgeous, doesn't it? Absolutely perfect. Sixteen of you will be successful on this deal of the day opportunity. We've got it in the different sizes for those of you wanting to create the graduation. Oh my goodness That's me! That's the first price. That's the first price. This is the biggest really? carrot weight we've ever done in a tanzanite strand. <laughs> My Ever. Head. Oh, look at that. It's just lovely, isn't it? <sighs> no. We have had 16. The moment I say the next few, uh, next few words, that's 16. That's quad A blues. I, I, that's beautiful. Would we all agree? And we're going to remove a digit. 30 seconds. Let's get it rocking. Susan and Brian not leaving anything to chance. Well done to you. And also anonymous maker on the web. London, Veronica, Janice and Joan. You're there. We, you need to be quick off the mark with this one because there are literally 16. That's all. Wayne, if you could have bought 100 of these, would you have bought 100? Absolutely, he says. Um, if you could have bought, I don't know, 50 of these, would you have bought 50? 100% of course he would because they're massive carrot weights in tanzanite we just don't see it uh, we are and this is not me uh, sort of uh, blowing Gemporia's trumpet although I do think they deserve that credit we are one of the most um, significant buying forces in the gemstone world how do I how do I come to that conclusion we'll buy big quality uh, big carrot weights of amazing quality so traders will come immediately to us we've got six opportunities left it's the biggest carrot carrot weight we've ever done in Tanzanite, uh, in Tanzanite rounds. Um, oh my goodness, and it's a race to the finish line. Hello Nikki, my first purchase on Jewelry Maker was a Tanzanite strand. I'd never heard of it, but was just instantly drawn to it. That's the thing, Nikki, it's, mm. we, yes, it happens, right. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. the same for me for Labrador. I'd never heard of Labrador. No, I, I hadn't. seen it until, until Jewelry Maker, and uh, no, it's incredible. We all love Wayne and his <laughs> deals. Eyes all right in me, Wayne. He's all right. We've got him tomorrow as well, Sarah. Woohoo! Mute is off. Oh. Um, what have I missed? See? It was up until 10 o'clock. We should have been giving Mandy the signal. <laughs> nothing, Mandy, nothing. No, I'm sure she had a call at 10 o'clock. And she's finished the call now. Oh. <laughs> Phew, there's four of these left. Richard, well, well done to you. Linda, well done mm -hmm. to you. London's bought two. You could literally just knot this in the same way that you do your jadeite. What colour, though? Oh, pink. Pink. Because of because of the trichrosum. Wow. Okay. I think pink thread would be beautiful. Yeah. Or pale green. Oh, lovely. Sort of apple green. That might be quite nice as well. Mark. No right. other reason other than the fact that Wayne doesn't oh, yeah. want this to be a second auction. He oh. wants to sell all sixteen today, and for whatever reason, then uh, we could uh, we could close the auction here. We are going lower. 16 is also not a viable quantity for us, us to have sat in our warehouse. No, it doesn't make sense. And by the way, can you imagine that in a Marla? Wayne? Hands and I Marla. Yeah, can you imagine? Oh, my word. We get excited when we talk about jadeite marlas and pearl marlas, but a tanzanite marla. I don't we... think I've ever said the words tanzanite marla. Nor me. London, is that what you're doing? Are you going to make a beautiful graduated tanzanite marla or necklace? I don't know, whichever. There's two left. 69.99. We are going to be bringing you these sizes in a few moments, literally back to back. We're going to do in uh, ascending order of size. 
That's the biggest carrot weight of tanzanite round strand I've ever seen. And it's also one of the longest that I've ever seen. I'm definitely seeing triple and quad A grade. It's not. Yes, tanzanite, this has got the odd inclusion inside. You know what? You go on first dibs, you will find m many of their tanzanites actually have inclusions. It's all down to the colour. Remember that? Colour is king. One of these left, £69.99 for the largest wow. that we have. Beautiful graduation from six to eight millimeters wow got mine thank you says marie i can see you there my lovely well done carolyn devon you've joined the collectors as well uh i've got marie and uh, maria sorry and sorry i've got veronica you there with it in your baskets janice has got three in her basket as well and i have got people on the phone lines for that final one good luck good luck good luck That's amazing. Oh. Can you imagine, Mark? Can I borrow your board a you second? Can. Which one would you like? The one underneath, yeah. I think. Yeah. Can you imagine this? Do you know what I mean? Like a graduated yeah. necklace. Can you imagine that? With a beautiful clasp. I'll be mixing this with my red jadeite to make an amazing... Oh, yeah. oh, my goodness. Yes, California. That sounds absolutely amazing. Wow. It will be amazing. That class we had in the first hour with the five. Oh, yes. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? Hello to you, Mandy. Oh, my word, what a beautiful tanzanite. I haven't seen such beautiful rounds for so long. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? I know. The quality is unbelievable. Now, how many do we have of the five to six mil? 29. Oh, small numbers, aren't they? Um, yeah. Lucky to get those, I would assume. Well, we really are, because, you yeah. know, they could each be individual pendants, couldn't they? Individual pendants, individual solitaires, individual... Well, actually, one round is two cabochons. Look at it that yeah, way. that's true. So yeah. that's why strands, you know, much like we've been yeah. talking about pearls, much like uh, so strands are no longer financially viable to put together in certain pearls, in natural colour pearls. It's probably not financially viable to put tanzanite strands together because we could sell them, or rather a gem yeah. trader could sell yeah. them yeah. for more money, literally by chopping them in half. In half. Oh, I never thought of that. Yeah, yeah, true, it's true. Again, that lovely quality. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a teaser. These would look amazing with the mystery box, by the way. I meant to have a little look in the break and I didn't. Don't <laughs> let the cat out of the bag. OK. They would look amazing with the mystery box. Ah. Right. Amazing with the mystery box. Uh, oh my goodness me. There were 29 of these available, jewelry makers. We're talking about what, five to six millimeters in their size. Uh, very versatile, very wearable. You could rosary link them. You could I'm just pop... imagine a kiss cross, a oh, tanzanite my... kiss cross station necklace. Have we ever said that before? No. With the mystery box components as oh, a Oh my goodness. <gasps> I can, I well, can let me just say, you need to get that insured. Mm. If, you, if you make that piece of jewellery, it needs to be insured. I know you will want to know what's in the mystery box. You just have to wait. It's a surprise. Uh -huh. promise you it's worth it. £49.99 pence only to get hold of beautiful, genuine Tanzanite in the long, one of the longest strands I think we've ever actually commissioned. Um, Mandy, you, I, we were discussing this at the beginning of the deal of the day, the fact that you, know, you don't get rounds very often. You don't get rounds because it's all thrombic. It's a gemstone that likes to have one longer axis. Um, so very rarely do we actually get Tanzanite in rounds or even round brilliant cuts. Again, collectors immediately jumping on this. I don't blame you at all. I would be doing exactly the same. Um, oh, Wayne, this is way lower already than what you said on my star by sheet. I haven't got two more strands to come yet. Yeah, it's got a knock on effect, is not it? Look at that. That blue, look at that. I think, yeah, that one on its own is worth probably the price that's on the screen. You know, you'll know which one we're talking about. <laughs> you'll know. The one going, ooh, look at me. <laughs> look how beautiful my colour is. Uh, absolutely incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. 
Oh, my word. Really? Once upon a time, I used to bring you Tanzanite strands like that length. Well, I launched Tanzanite back in the day with Carol. It was a Christmas Day show, and it was a 80 centimetre chip strand, mm -hmm. and it was £25. Chips? Little chips, yeah. And they absolutely, well, we'd never seen Tanzanite on the show before. It was incredible. And now we're doing, for £15 more, a strand of beautiful rounds. I'm just imagining a sterling silver chain, two inches long, with just one suspended at the bottom, just swinging. Oh, just, just amazing. So elegant. And Mark, we know, people know Tans Night. It's mm. incredibly commercial, yes, yes. Uh, very much on trend. Look, look, one million, chance, one in a million likelihood of that occurrence mm. actually ever being found anywhere else on this planet. So not only is it a thousand times rarer than the diamond, it's one in a million chance of, it, of, of that mm. phenomenon actually being discovered elsewhere. Why? It was the specific, the movement of tectonic plates that created Mount Kilimanjaro that also created the this amazing gemstone some 585 million years ago and yet we've only been enjoying this gemstone what since the late 1960s the final 39 opportunities the days of tanzanite uh, you know being 24 hours on our uh, across the partnership are well and truly behind us you know i can bring you four strands today and that is it that is all we have jean janice helen marie jenny carol richard joan london janice keep on dialing through everybody um, um, again, lots of you with any baskets. I only had just over 20. Now, here we go. <laughs> how quick do you think this are gonna, these are going to ah. sell out? Our two because... favourite sizes graduated beautifully on one strand. That's yeah. we're going straight down to it. Look at this. Two tanzanite bracelets. Yeah, amazing. We're not going to chip away at it. We haven't got the quantities. We've got loads to bring you today, so we want to make sure that we do uh, we do absolutely everything. Um, yeah, we're not going to dilly dally. Let's just go straight down to it. Thank you for your trust, Sally, Janice, Susan, and Brian. It does tend to have a bit of a knock on effect when uh, when we have sort of the, the ascending size. It tends to make sense that we go in ascending price point, but that shouldn't always be the case. Uh, hi, Richard. Been buying tans and I um, almost. Uh, size you first bought to air um okay uh, from the first time you came to air must have over a thousand oh, carats and still not used it. it well what a collection and do you know what richard we're ne you're never going to look back on those purchases with regret are you i can't use the i word i can't i have to be very careful about that on on air but you're not going to regret those purchases are you moving forward especially when the news breaks that this gemstone's all but yeah, mined out imagine. £34.99 pence only. Um, we're talking about real versatility now with your four to six mil, it's, aren't it's we? It's my perfect go-to size. I know you like four and six mil, don't yeah. you? It's your favourite size. It's just, it's just so versatile. You can do anything with this particular size. And we, we've definitely noticed over the past few months that when if we bring a strand selection... As soon as we get down to the four and six millimetre, the, oh, the they popularity go, just skyrockets. The smaller the size is, I mean, it used to be 10 and 8 mils, it did, didn't it? It, did, it used to be 10 and 8, yes. but now, yeah. I, I, I agree with you, Mark, uh, totally. It is four to six millimetres, the sizes that people want. They're very wearable. Um, grab them whilst you can, though. Very limited. I can see you on those phone lines. Natural tan tonight. Stay where you are, only because I want to bring you the final strand out of this amazing showcase. Now... Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, How many? Man. Wait, and what are you going to take it to? Oh, no. Right. I'm going to ask, who loves Tanzanite? If you love Tanzanite, next question. Who wants one of the best deals of Tanzanite ever? What is he doing? I know. What is Thankfully, we've got quantity of this, so keep your hands up. Who's buying Tanzanite, much like Richard? No, 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 no. Um, much like Richard with the future of mind. I'm going to ask, who, who trusts us here at Jewelry Maker in terms of the best possible deal that we can offer you on a beautiful, rare, genuine gemstone? If your hand is still up, all I'm going to say is... Dial. That's less than um, we mentioned earlier. Yes, the chips. Oh no. A nugget strand. Yeah. 
but there's not enough people there. Now, we have got quantity of this strand, and I want them all to sell out. Because this, for 52 carrots, not enough people. You're making friends. Can we even... This is the thing, Wayne. You go, you go over to... You must know this in your buying. How often do you get offered tanzanite? Not a lot. Is that why we've only got four strands today? It's hard to get hold of, fairly obvious. And, and when you do get those offerings, is it expensive? That corn flower blue. blue. Not enough people, not enough people. I want, if you're looking for one of the best deals of Tanzanite, this with the jade eye, oh my goodness, Mark. Be perfect sized. Yeah, because you've got the four, the four and five mil in the 10 mil. Ah. Oh. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, love. Look at how beautiful it is. You don't have to not, do you? You could literally put your Tanzanite in between. Pantone color of the year. In nine seconds, we're going to shock you. It's whether you're at the front of the crew. Right, literally, can we put that side by side? Pantone colour of the year, very peri. Your strand is exactly that colour. Literally what we're looking at right now. There it is. Are you ready? Yeah. What did you say we launched Tans Night for back in the day? £24.95. £24.95 for chips and nuggets, and not rounds. Yeah. <laughs> £20 today. Wayne, Honestly. we used to get strands half that length. It, that is bonkers. That is bonkers. Um, and again, we've got, we have got some Tans Night on order, by the way. It's much more expensive than what's on your screens right now. We are not exempt. We're not superhuman. And unfortunately, they're four centimetre strands. Do you want to come out and tell them that it's this? Go on. Come on, Wayne. Because this is first-hand information, isn't it? Yeah. So you know you're at the forefront. Literally, you're on that front line talking and, and battling to negotiate such deals like this. So to be able to, to, be able to offer Tans Night Right, and it is this man that's been making these opportunities uh, possible to us all. So what's going on with Tans Night? I don't want to give too much away because it's obviously going to be a big Okay. Launch, but... When we was over there, we saw some Where, of India? the... India? India. We saw some of the finest tanzanite you will ever see. Okay. They are really expensive, and they're only four centimetre strands, but they are next level. Okay. So they are, and there's not just tanzanite, there's other gemstones. I'm not going to give it away, but it's going to be... October wow. is going to be insane. So did you manage to buy any tanzanite at £20? No. No. <laughs> No. no, there we go. First hand, literally first hand. What, a couple of weeks ago you came back from India, didn't you? He wants to go back. He wants to go back. Didn't manage to pick up any Tanzanite. And we, by the way, also over in Tucson, there was no Tanzanite board. No really? Tanzanite at all. No, no Tanzanite board at all. There was Tanzanite there, but like you said, we were priced out. Uh, Maker, well done, stopping up too. Kathy, Christina, hello to Gail, Virginia, Maria, hello to Northamptonshire, uh, Northumberland, Angela, uh, Candy, hello to you, Tracy, Janice, Marie, Shirley, Irene, Lynette, Helen, Susan, and Brian. Uh, loads of you with it still in your baskets. You won't get a better deal of Tanzanite this level of quality than what's on your screens right now. I truly, truly, truly believe because that's a Massive strand. Again, when we first launched it, it was chips and nuggets. Yeah. £24.95. Then we, we started bringing you different cuts, but they were like 20 odd centimetres, That's weren't right. they? Yeah, little tussle strands, wasn't it? Gems of distinction. It was yeah. Right there, Which yeah. is exactly what, what this is. Yeah. Exactly what this is. They were not at £20. In fact, a strand like this would have been about probably 120 Go under the uh, immediate umbrella. When we were under immediate, this would have 100% been three figures. 100%. Oh, we had an exciting quantity of these, and that is why they are the only reason why they are under £20. 60 of these still remain. Pauline, Cleopatra, hello to you, Brenda, London, Debbie, hello to you, Gail, Christina, Judith, Liam, Jackie, hello to you, Middlesex, Christina, good luck to you. Those of you that's still in your baskets, you have to check them out, or they are going to sell out, that's for sure. Imagine, for the first time maybe, a Tanzanite Marla. Amazing. That would Ooh. just be phenomenal, wouldn't it? That would be I've never said Tanzanite Marla before, and I've said it five times now. 
Which would you go for? Something like, bear with. Imagine minus the tassels. No, yeah. Imagine that. Knotted. Amazing. I think Shanghai Red again, you know. Yeah, that would That'd be, be really beautiful. dramatic, wouldn't it? It would be absolutely mm. beautiful. Literally over the top of the head, knotted Tanzanite necklace. Unreal. Well done. Well done, everybody. Well okay. Done. Well done. From the deal of the day, what are we doing? Oh, now you've requested this. Nikki, you requested yeah. this earlier on. It is time for a type A natural, one of my favourite carvings we've ever done. Coming up next in Star Buy. I absolutely adore this carving. I think it's amazing. It's it's a work of art, as all of our master carvings are, but this is an absolute work of art. And also, again, very poignant, very historical. Now, it shouldn't be of any surprise that a lot of your type A jadeite will have, of course, the, the Chinese and sort of the Eastern influence. Um, your brave troops, if you've heard about Pixu as well, it's very much a symbol of uh, prosperity and wealth. Um, so very much good luck fortune. Um, you'll recognize emblems in here, like the coins on the outside, they're often actually placed in money toads uh, oh, as yes. uh, symbols yes. of fortunes. You see that uh, circling, and there's your Pixu um, on the front. Now, totally and utterly natural. We've had requests for this carving throughout the course of the show. It only launched last week, and we have only 17 of them left. Uh, again, the, the level of detail on this carving, I think, is different level. You know, this is a gemstone, by the way. In Chinese culture, um, this is a gemstone that is a symbol of moral integrity. Uh, so you have that wonderful connection straight away. But also, uh, it is... Let me just put my torch on here. Here we are. Oh, look. Moral integrity. It's also a gemstone which is believed to protect the wearer. Add that with the history of these carvings, and it goes to another level. You have the money toad coins in the circle, and then you have your beautiful Pixu, which is often actually referred to as your brave troops as well. Oh. All carved by hand. 17 of these remain, and they are gonna sell out today. Just this mark, knotted, 15 now remain. This knotted um, on uh, maybe using some of the jade out that you had from yes, the kits, yeah, I think yeah. that would work absolutely stunningly well. What about the, your Tanzanite Marla with oh. this as your, as your guru and Shall your Shall we tassel? do it? I think that look amazing. Shall we imagine that piece of jewellery? In is fact, perfect, let's use your board it? again, yeah, shall we? Yeah. So imagine this. Try and blank out the tassels for a second. But that just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Just that, yeah. Hang on. Again, try and blank out the tassels. Imagine that in Sotheby's. Sorry, Mark. Yeah. And imagine the price tag that that would be. That piece of jewellery is absolutely achievable, is absolutely doable. We launched it last week. We have the final 15. It is your wonderful, brave troops pendant 14 straight away being snapped up. What? Oh. You launched this? I, I, I didn't... Under £100. The intricacy of this carbon, you've got to remember that is one solid piece, one solid piece of natural, genuine jadeite. Natural. Not type B, not type C. And then to carve that level of detail, one false move, and you've basically ruined the, yeah, uh, the entire piece of, uh, the piece of art with the added rarity of the gemstone itself. You know, if you, if you maybe uh, sort of clip his tail, if you like, just that little bit. Can you see the dragon's head there at the front? Like the Chinese dragon, that's why you see them in all the uh, uh, sort of all the wonderful ceremonies and things. So there's the dra Chinese dragon's head. Can you see him? Tilt it that way. Yeah. There we go. There he is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And he swirls round and you've got the Chinese dragon's tail as well. He's absolutely stunning, isn't he? I'm actually holding wow. him upside down right now. There you go. There you go. 
I don't think it really matters, does it? He's almost swimming around. That's a symbol of, of, of good fortune, of luck. You've got the added elements of your, uh, your, your money coins as well, which are positioned usually within the mouth of a, um, a money toad. The final nine of these that exists, if there's any left come the end of the show, then I'm going to be grabbing hold of these as well to go alongside the Tanzanite and definitely the mystery box. Just saying that would be the most beautiful piece of jewellery, wouldn't it's it? It's mesmerising. Every time you look at it, you see something different, don't you? It's you a talking that. point, yeah. isn't it? So are they birds at the top, the three? Could be birds. Could be birds. Could be yeah. birds. There could be yeah. flowers. Yeah. You often see uh, birds, butterflies, flowers um, yeah. alongside alongside such, uh, such pieces. So again, much meaning behind that. Hello to you, Nikki. Got it. Thank you. Um, it's for my uncle Jerry for his 80th birthday present. Oh. What an amazing present that is, Nikki. Wow, he'll love this. Lucky uncle Jerry. Ah, oh, beautiful. The final few. Well done. Now... The, the, oh, we're about to do the high goo. So historically, it is a star buy, but we're going to go straight into it because time, time is ticking away. Um, if you've got the Gems and Crystals book, which we launched some years ago, I, I must get it back, actually. Dave's got mine. Dave's got, Trust got mine. Um, he doesn't need it, of all people. But, yeah, there's a fantastic write-up within that booklet talking about the, um, the it's spelled B-I, but it's pronounced Pi, also known as the high goo. Um, now, this is one of the most, again, historic carvings that you will see with Taipei Jadeite. So in ancient Chinese culture, the Pi disc is sometimes, and um, that's one fifth, by the way, the measurement of the center to the circumference of the stone. Uh, but the Pi disc um, was very much a symbol of uh, continued life. So we used, uh, in Chinese culture, they used to place this on the chest or the waist of deceased loved ones. And they believed that it would continue that, give them immortal life hereafter, and also keep them connected. Um, because Jadeite in Chinese culture translates to, uh, to heaven, of course. But this, uh, this gemstone being placed on the chest um, of deceased loved ones keeps them connected. Oh. So immensely symbolic. Mm. Um, again, very, very, very much, uh, you know, I think the sentiment behind it, that connection uh, with, uh, with, with life hereafter. I just love all of that. If you're not really into all of that history, then it's a beautiful carving. It's a wonderful floral carving um, of, if you want to call it a donut, you can do that. Now, incredibly poignant though. And again, can you see the lovely floral motifs, that detail? What did you say? Shouldn't be under a hundred pounds. Should not be under a hundred pounds. <laughs> How many do we have? 54 of these within the vault. Literally just Lark said that, not That's that. That's all you a... need to do. Yeah, absolutely. I would actually treat it like a cabochon and, and put it on backing foundation and then do the most amazing bead embroidery around it and make an oh. amazing feature of it. Like an incredible brooch, wouldn't it, with tassels and be lovely. That would be amazing. In Pillar and Stone over in Tucson, they had donuts like this. They had the high goo, mm. and they had, they dropped one single round brilliant cut stone in the centre. And by the way, the high goo of this size was about twelve thousand dollars. Oh my word! It was twelve thousand dollars? Yeah, and they popped a little lovely Zambian amethyst in the centre. Can you imagine? Well, we're giving you the saving on the Type A jade. Yeah. Hello, Hazel. I have this. Oh. I'm working on it now. I love it. Isn't it beautiful, Hazel? What are you doing with it, Hazel? Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Drop a diamond in the centre. Drop a perfect round brilliant cut that you have maybe within your stash. Literally, you only have to glue it on the girdle. And then, oh, do what Mark said. Oh, you're joking. Now, listen, I get it. It's mid-morning. If you're thinking, oh. oh, I'm just going to have myself a little snooze this morning. It's been pretty full on so far. You can't do that. There's so many deals going on this Friday morning at $49.99 for the detail and the intrigue of beautiful master carving, those floral motifs. Do you see how it cleverly goes up the left-hand yeah. side as well? Yeah. Again, good luck. The positioning, the whole positioning of um, your carvings is thought out meticulously by the master carvers. This 
This is, uh, this is an art form which is passed on from generation to generation. We don't carve um, our jadei. Our jadei is absolutely carved in China by the artists themselves. You've got to remember, again, uh, this is how I always word it. That's like us um, going along to Edar Oberstein and saying, can we facet some of your gemstones, please, because we'll do it better. It just... You just don't have that conversation, do you? Um, Ida Oberstein are known for carving gemstone in the same way China um, is known for carving high quality jadeite. Look at this level of translucency. And then if I just draw it away, you can see the detailing of those floral carvings. There was only a handful of these remaining. Well done, collectors. Well done to those of you making the most of these Bashasaurus Wayne prices. Richard, you've done it. Congratulations. You can get this home for £16.66. Never in a million no. years, Mark, did I think no. that would be possible. Amazing, isn't it? There was one single piece. Hello to you, Hazel. Well, uh, I thought about uh, a blue moonstone in a flower. Yeah, beautiful. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. I can't wait to see. send that picture into the Wall of Fame, won't you, Hazel? Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, let's do... Oh, we talked about cubes earlier. We did. In 10 years, we've had three strands of jadeite cubes. I'm going to bring it to the back of the hand if I can. What's the carrot weight? Why, why do we only get cubes once in a blue moon? Hard to cut, maybe? Mm. Maybe wasteful? Very contemporary, but yeah, Wayne, who, who buys, uh, buys a lot of our gemstones, but you know, you know, Wayne, you don't get cubes very often and definitely not in your jadeite. Type A natural. You've got those beautiful mottled, um, mottled effects across the surface of this amazing gemstone. I love that, the mottling. Yeah, me too. Well, it's one of the features yeah. that, um, that we should... Uh, compelled to. So three most important factors of your jade eye, it's colour, it's transparency, which I showed you with the phone, and it's also the texture. And yes, it, it, they're like little works of art. You don't want pristine clarity, of course, level of translucency, which you're getting, but it is that mottling, which you should feel physically drawn to. Revered in Chinese culture for some 4,000 years, the most valuable jade eye in the world, once upon a time, was considered to be your imperial uh, jade eye. And it still is, there's no denying it, it's incredibly expensive. However, there are other colours and patterns which are overtaking that. Three strands that we've had in the history of 10 years of type A jade. Shall we do a closeout deal? How many? Really? Oh, ridiculous. On um, Sunday's show, we had um, a bundle of Stardust beads, and one of the shapes was this beautiful saucer disc. Oh, I and I'm remember, just, yeah. I'm just imagining a, a little saucer placed in between all these on a necklace. Incredible. They're absolutely yeah. gorgeous, and that's natural. Yeah. Totally and utterly natural. Look at that. You've got wonderful pools of it. No, there's not enough people on the phone lines. I'm going to put my foot down now. What? <laughs> no way. Three years. Uh, sorry, three strands in ten years. Oh, well, okay. Okay, we're going to shock you on this one then. I don't think you expect... I don't think you expect that, you know... No, you wouldn't predict what we're about to do. Oh, Wayne's throwing his dollies out of his pram now. Oh. Not busy enough, he says, on the phone lines. No. Nope. Nowhere near think, busy um, enough. Cubes look beautifully rosary linked. Me too. Because the coil sits on the on the hole perfectly. It's just it's just gorgeous. And it's a contemporary twist, isn't mm. it? Mm. It's an amazing twist. On something, yeah, we're used to rounds, aren't we? And I love rounds, absolutely. If you look at Christie's, you look at Sotheby's, if you've ever seen jadeite in a necklace, chances are 99% of the time it's going to be rounds. We have 420 carats of not B or C, not type B or C grade, type A, which basically means completely natural and, of course, it's rarer and more valuable. I don't think you expect Wayne. Let's just do it. Let's just let's just shock everybody. <laughs> we discovered, didn't we, the other day that it's seven on the most scale, so it's really hard wearing. Yeah, and it's very difficult to scale. cut and carve. Yes. Oh no! 
Okay. <laughs> now, now, we, when, when, what have we ever brought you, Taipei, Burmese jadeite at twenty-five pounds for four hundred and twenty carats? We've brought you, we've brought you nugget strands for that kind of price yeah, tag. Absolutely. Not type A in a cube. It, I guess it's wasteful. I guess that makes sense to me, Wayne. The fact that we've only had three strands in ten years because it must be wasteful. The natural formation, remember, it forms in these wonderful vast boulders. So I suppose you're going to get more rounds um, and more carvings out of that boulder than you would do your cubes. I don't know. I'm no, I, I'm no expert. But very, very, very tricky to get hold of. Hello, Michael, saying I got these last time uh, and sent in uh, my WAF entry last oh. night. I need more, so buying now. I can see you there, my lovely. I can see you, Michael. London, Janice, June, Lincolnshire, Maria, Paula, Tessa, Lena, hello to you, Richard. Uh, Karen T. H. from Yvette, there's Michael. Lavinia, you've got yours as well. Twenty-four ninety-nine for eight mils. Amazing. Wow. Well. Genuinely confused. <laughs> Wayne's gone really quiet. It's quite unnerving, isn't it, when he mm, goes quiet? Yeah. Are you okay, Wayne? Oh, dear. He's sulking a little bit. Why are you sulking? Because they haven't sold out yet. Yeah. Do you ever get the opportunity to buy Jadeite, regardless of the shape, Wayne, at $24.99? It is a giveaway deal. This, you could very easily take these over to next door to our, our shopping channel next door, take them to Gems, and they could single them out, and they could put one on a, pen, a, a head pin, on a pendant, and sell it for more than what's on yeah. your screens. One cube. One oh, individual look. cube. Uh, Here you go, yeah, some J cubes are. from Lorraine earlier on. Lorraine, look how, look how gorgeous they are. Beautiful. And what, I'm curious to know what she would sell those for. But it wouldn't be twenty four ninety nine. I'd hope it? not. <laughs> I would hope not. Wait a second. Wait, 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 Wayne. Who's who's next door? Lindsay's about to come off in a second, isn't she? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four. 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 47. If I said to Lindsay, who's presenting on our sister channel, Gems, Lindsay, we could make 47 cube pendants. And literally just doing much like Lorraine did there, just popping on a head pin, maybe a pearl or a, or, or, or a spacer bead. And you can sell them all at £25. She'd be like, oh my gosh, yes, please. Yes, please. That's what you can do. That's exactly what you can do. They're lovely, aren't they? You can make cufflinks. I would have the, the large cubes on the outside of the cuff and then maybe the five mil tanzanite nice. on the inside. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. Because this is not a, you know, this is a, yeah. a gemstone that appeals to absolutely everybody because it's wonderful neutral colours. Okay. All right, then. Listen, got a lot to bring you. Still got your mystery box to bring you. Still got the Herkimer Courts to bring you. Oh, <laughs> come on now, Wayne. Don't you sulk. Oh. He is sulking, you know. He is. He's livid. They make amazing individual charms. Absolutely. Exactly. Yes, yeah, yeah. Just one on a memory wire talk necklace. Beautiful. Just nothing else. Just one. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, if you get Lindsay, when, when she finishes, get just get to step in the gallery and we'll tell her what we've just done. You you see your reaction. <laughs> okay, Wayne's not volunteering that yet. One, just literally on a head pin, or look, we've got some little sterling silver bales coming up a little bit later on. Just because it's a through drill gemstone doesn't mean that you have no, to use. Not. Um, so these lovely little sterling silver bales are coming up at some point throughout the course of the show. The faster we work together, the more deals we can squeeze in. Um, that's fact. We want to see you there, though. We will go lower. Look, it might even be a by, by a penny right now. If there's not enough of you on the phone lines, Wayne might take just 50p off. Says he might crash <laughs> up. No, he wouldn't, do that. he wouldn't do that. I've never seen a crash up. No, I don't think we can do that. <laughs> We're running out of time. 
Sally, Caroline, Brenda, Miss Pauline, Debbie, Lorraine. Hello to you, customer Wendy, Susan, Wiltshire, Linda. Hello to you, Persis, Cynthia. I can see you there as well. Oh, madness. That with your tans tonight. That's a nice bouquet of flowers, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah, that lasts a week. Yeah. It's not, it's, it, it's not a gemstone which is considered to be one of the world's most valuable gemstone, not just here, a jewellery maker, across the entire globe. And yet we've just brought it to you at £19.99. Look how amazing it is with the tanzanite. Ah, oh, it'd be beautiful with your mystery box, it really would. <laughs> it would be, I'm swooning over the mystery box. Honestly, it is incredible. Um, stop talking now, because otherwise I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. Paula, Belinda, hello to Wiltshire, Sally, you've got yours. Uh, Janice, well done. Uh, Tyne and Ware, Linda, I, there's a bit of a queue on the phone lines now. People wanting twos and threes, I can see them in your baskets. Do make sure you check them out. Good luck, Josephine. Good luck to you, Suze, uh, South Yorkshire. Uh, anonymous customer, Olivia, Lanarkshire, Lynn in Cheshire. I've got 30 opportunities left. They look amazing. Dreamy with your Tanzanite. They look amazing with Mark's kits in the nine o'clock hour. They look incredible alongside your mystery box. Imagine a cubes marla. Oh. That'd just be amazing, wouldn't it? Three, Again, three head turner. Rounds. Yeah. <coughs> you could have one at the top of a tassel, couldn't you? Amazing. They're so, they're so versatile. And it's, you know, take, take jadeite, which is obviously a gemstone of mm. immense history and tradition. Uh, take jadeite, but put a modern twist on it. You, you asked Wayne earlier on, you wanted your Stormtroopers and yeah. Oh, yes. What did you want? Stormtrooper? Stormtrooper and Darth Vader. Can we add, um, which was the little machine? R2-D2. Yeah, can we have an oh, R2-D2? Yes. He'd That'd be, be amazing, quite cute, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that's modern, isn't it? So take a gemstone yeah. now and bring an even more modern twist with a classic cube. Uh, good luck, good luck, good luck. Hi guys, Caroline. Uh, hi guys, thanks for such a bargain. Jade is sensational and expensive, precisely. Yes. I think we all know that, and you do have to be really careful where you're sourcing jade out from. Um, I've had a conversation, well, quite a couple of conversations actually, where someone's messaged me saying, I can buy jade out from Wish. I mean, okay. Wish. But personally, hmm. I would be dubious because it is unlikely to be natural, unlikely to possibly even be that gemstone. Um, yeah, ours is fully certified, laboratory tested as well, and you can get that certificate of authenticity. So be mindful. Hello, Richard. I have, bought, I have some diamond rough oh, wow. um, bought from Jewelry Maker. That will be perfect uh, with these these cubes. Yeah, absolutely amazing. In fact, we've got diamonds coming up, uh, Richard, um, in today's show as well. So um, the the second time ever that we've actually brought you diamonds in briolette drops they're coming up still so much to bring you lots of sterling silver deals more amazing um at jadeite we've got your your incredible masterclass yeah, and works. don't go anywhere we'll return after this want to know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, 
I'm just giving you a sneaky peek of what I've got coming up on Friday's show. I have just spent an hour threading on 800 beads and I'm going to be making the most beautiful Kumihimo necklace of which during Friday's show I'm going to be launching my first PDF where you can actually make this necklace along with me. So that's this Friday, the masterclass hour at 12. I can't wait to show you the outcome of this. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Now, twice we've ever managed to bring to air uh, your diamonds in a briolette cut. I get, I, a briolette is incredibly complex. You know, we, we kind of know that. It's, it's, there's a lot of facets within those beautiful droplet shapes. I don't want to lean too much into that, but that's why when we'd have been offered them, but they'd have been very expensive. So maybe that would have slammed the brakes on, if you like, in our purchase. And I want you to bear with me in this next opportunity, but I'm going to show you an article that was written um, in two, back in 2015. And yes, it talks about pink diamonds, but if we can talk sort of generically really uh, and think of that as fancy diamonds, because the same applies whether it's pink, yeah. blue, green, Absolutely. whichever, yeah. yellow. So this is an article from uh, the jewellery editor, and it talks about how rare and expensive fancy diamonds are. Their elusive nature and stratospheric prices make pink diamonds the most portable form of wealth on our planet. Find Gosh. out why. And look oh, how beautiful oh. that necklace is. Um, on the next, rare and awe-inspiring. So let's just, every time you see pink, put fancy. Yeah. Okay. The fancy diamond is one of the most valuable colored diamonds in the world, worth anywhere between 10 to 100 times more than the equivalent white. Again, just take that in for a second, because that's really important. Fancy diamonds, in this instance, they're talking about pink specifically, is one of the most valuable colored diamonds in the world, worth anywhere between 10 and 100 times more than an equivalent white. Um, they represent, here we go, 0 0.03, obviously this is specific to pink, but you can see tiny percentages of the global annual production of diamonds. Coloured diamonds, whether blue, yellow, orange or green, 
are more valuable than an equivalent white. But when it comes to pinks, they are so exceptional that you could fit um, the, into the palm of your hand an entire yield, year's yield of premium quality pink diamonds. And that makes them the most portable form of wealth on our planet. So incredibly, incredibly rare. This one really talks about celebrities with their pink diamonds. So I'll skip this one over um, if I can for a second. Skip. There we go. The increasing rarity um, of fancy diamonds only add to their allure. So much so that only about 50 or 60 top quality stones come on the market every year. But don't expect to see conker size. Pinks most are no bigger than a pea. If that does sound disappointingly small, when a single, fat, uh, a single carrot can fetch almost a million pounds, it is clear anything over one carrot is exceptional. Of course, smaller, lesser quality pinks in lighter tones exist in greater numbers, but they are still many times more valuable than your average white. Again, the reason why I'm reading this article to you, yes, it's talking about pinks, but you notice every fancy colour diamonds is rarer and more valuable than white diamonds out there. Um, the reason uh, there are few uh, large top quality pink diamonds is likely due to the force of the subterranean volcanic explosions. That's talking about the actual formations and how rare it is to get your pinks, your blues, your greens um, and your yellows. We'll move on. Although pink diamonds appear sporadically in mines in Brazil, Russia and India, the occurrence of them is nowhere on the scale of colour saturation for those found in the Argyle mine. Now, I think that applies across all your fancy diamonds. Do you see my point now? We're always starting to work together. This one mine supplies 90% of the world's pink diamonds and Argyle's, uh, and Argyle's special stones get the royal treatment. Now, why am I talking, why am I talking about firstly about pink diamonds? Well, it was really something that applies across all fancy diamonds. But secondly, because the Argyle mine is now closed. Yes, yes. So when you had 90% of the world's pinks, chances are that would mean a vast, a high percentage of your yellows, your blues, mm. your greens as well. That mine is closed. So what do you think is going to happen to the world's supply of coloured diamonds? Obviously, it's going to go down quite dramatically. Yeah, yeah. And what do you think is going to happen? It already has, yes. And what do you think is going to happen to the price per carat of your fancy diamonds? It's already happened, yeah. The price... Got Remember, this article was written in 2015. The Argyle mine is closed now. Moving on. Uh, this, I, I'm showing you this one here because I thought this is this is something quite I can get my brain around. Um, mining pink diamonds is an expensive business. For every million carats of rough diamonds produced at the Argyle mine, less than one carat will make it to tender. Or to put that more visually, it takes seven pickup trucks of diamonds produce two to, to produce one ashtray oh, of wow. pinks. Seven pickup trucks to one ashtray. One ashtray speaks volumes doesn't it it speaks volumes unlike stocks and shares they are tangible and you can also enjoy wearing them and once the argyle mine dries up well guess what it has 90 percent of the world's supply of pinks diamonds will disappear same applies i think with uh, it might be diff slightly different statistics but to your other uh, fancy gemstones as well um, it is inevitable that they will increase in value but by how much no one can say in the meantime everyone who is lucky enough to own a quality i'm going to say fancy diamond can enjoy its ex exponentially pretty color uh, and know that one uh, that on their finger sits a very rare and precious creation that originated from the very center of the yeah. earth. The same applies. Whether, I know this article's about pink, but the same applies to your canary yellows, to your blues, to your greens, to your black diamonds. Anything that's anything other than um, a colorless diamond is called a fancy diamond. That's what we are going to show right now. That mine's closed. The Argyle mine, mine closed. We are, we've, had, we've got literally a couple of pieces left across our sister channel. And this is one of the few ever strands um, that we've had in this lovely drop. Now they are sizable and they are a beautiful, they are, yeah. pure, um, pure pink. Uh, is it just me thinking about uh, thinking about Lady Gaga right now and the Tiffany uh, Tiffany diamond? Yes, that was a, a breathtaking, wasn't it? Wasn't it? it? 
the Tiffany's and Co piece of jewelry that they said literally is priceless because they will never, ever, ever never sell, sell it. it. No, no. I have 50 of these. Oh, no. Are you ready? Is that all? That's all. Oh, no, what a shame. Remember, seven pickup trucks yeah. to one ashtray. How romantic. I know. Could have come up with a different one, couldn't they, to an ashtray, but yeah. Look at the quality of these colours. Are you ready? The Argyle mine is closed. It's going to affect massively not only the supply of fancy diamonds, but also the price. Wayne has said, oh, it's happened. The price of fancy diamonds has gone through the roof. And yet this is the second time in our jewellery maker history that we have brought you ever drops, briolette drops. You have a parcel on one strand. I hate the word strand. I really do. I've had this conversation years yeah, ago and I was yeah. like, if I could delete the word strand of our graphics, I would do it because this isn't a strand. It's a parcel. It's a parcel of stones that you could absolutely, yes, okay, you, you, you could use the drill hole and yes, okay, you can actually, uh, uh, um, obviously your featherweights and all of those things. Yes, it is stranded, but I think stranded almost devalues and, uh, uh, and removes the scale of what we're yeah. actually getting, the quality no, of what we're actually yeah, getting. That's true, actually. What's the total carat weight of these, Wayne? Oh, my word. Just shy of two carats. So 1.8 divided by 5. You've got 36 points. in. E oh, that's way over gosh. the... The UK di uh, average diamond ring size is, is 30 points. You've got over that times five in this opportunity. And they are stunning. Now, Wayne had an email recently about diamond prices. About a month ago, and he's literally just, here we go. Hi, Wayne. Diamond prices have increased by 30 to 40%. The supplier is offering diamond beads at old prices. I don't know about you, but that one looks pink to me. I thought that as well. Peach. Peachy colour. Are you ready? Sorry? One on a, on, on a, on a gold chain. Again, I'm going to get on my soapbox. This is why we should be selling 18 karat gold. And this is why we should be yes, selling the, yes. your platinums, your 14, your 18 karat golds. Because the quality of the stones that we offer our viewers, there are 50 of these in existence. One for the collectors and connoisseurs. Everybody knows the value of diamonds, right? But imagine saying to one of your customers or one of your family and friends, these are rarer than white diamonds, significantly rarer than white diamonds. They make up, what, less than a percent per colour um, in, in, the, in the diamond market. We're at £299.99. pence. Is that on split pay, Wayne? It is on split pay, although it won't show on the graphics. Speak to our call centre. Oh, remember, diamond prices have increased by 30 to 40%. The supplier is offering diamond beads at old... I love how they call them beads. Yeah. At old prices. That would be probably where we should be here today. That's, is that right, Wayne? That's where we should be today. If we were, prepared, if we were to pay any attention to other uh, diamond suppliers out there. But old prices, purely because, again, maybe they weren't able to go across to, uh, to, uh, to Hong Kong. Maybe they weren't able to go to Tucson. And they want to literally sell big quantities. When I say big quantities, 50 is a big quantity because each of these are individual parcels. Start dialing through. Old prices on top quality diamonds. Oh, can you imagine literally a cluster of these That'd in each amazing, year? That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Eat your heart out, Lady Gaga. I do like that top, the top one. That's Pretty, isn't it's it? It's quite pinky, peachy, yellow. It's beautiful. Love this one too. <laughs> yellow diamonds. Canary yellow diamonds. 
So that means the split pay is on. How many ways? Four ways. You can get just shy of two carats of canary diamonds for £25 today. How many wow. high-end jewellers will do that, by the way? Because I know they didn't do it in the jewellers that I used to work at. You know, where you go, oh, yeah, 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 split it. You could do it. You could you could pay by instalments, but you couldn't take the piece of jewellery away. That's you couldn't right. take the we've, gemstones. We've got, a, we've got a family run jewellers in Whitney that you can do that. We call it layaways. Layaways, that's it, yeah. yes. But you'd yeah. have to, they wouldn't let you have it after the first payment. You'd have to pay everything. Until you could take it away. Yeah, oh, we, we just offer it to our customers. Yeah, take it away. Just pay us back, basically. That's more, that's that's basically wow. what's going on right now for the rarity of Canary Diamonds. Richard in Dorset. Hello to London. Hello to Linda in Idaho. Are these easy to work with, Mark? Well, looking at them, I think you're probably going to need maybe 0.25 or 0.4 wire. So, you're, as you said, your, um, your very fine head pins you'd be able to do your wrap loops with. But Brillé wrapping would just be beautiful. I'd have to do separate pieces, five separate pieces. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah, just use them mm. as solitaires. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing else at all. Because it's so, so simple. Look at... Oh. Once you're out in the sunlight, I mean, you won't need to add anything else with them. No. Them, no, it it's would be beautiful. ultra simple, like a little petite... And somebody says, oh, what, what's that on your neck? And you say, oh, just a yellow diamond. Ah, yellow diamond. You know. Oh, hang on a minute. Was a yellow diamond? Uh, wasn't yellow diamond the, the same colour that Lady Gaga wore? Yes, yeah. In the Tiffany's piece, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm wearing right now. And you could make that piece of jewellery say five times over. Yeah. That, these are big diamonds. Some of the biggest that we've ever actually brought you individually, and so so workable. Michelle Hazel, hello to you. Uh, Idaho, you've got yours. London, we've got multi buyers getting involved. I'm going to leave this with you because we only had a handful of them, and again, lots to squeeze in. Don't forget your mystery box. <gasps> Just here. Oh yes, actually, I think that would be. Paula's clock that you the box has oh. moved. No, 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 well, I've been, I've been sneaky peeking. Don't turn it. There would be just one in the centre. Oh. That's all you'd need. Mm, that would be amazing. Right, I'm excited about this next... Oh, they've gone. Where have they gone? Um, I'm excited about this next showcase because it's something I've been pitching for, uh, for, for, for a long time. I absolutely love it. Um, a gemstone, which actually uh, was discovered, actually, in... New York City, and it's just cool. It's really, really, really cool. We rarely ever get it when we do, it always sells out. Herkimer Quartz or Herkimer Diamonds, as some of you know it, up next. Love, love, love Herkimer Quartz. Um, it is, oh yeah, pass me that. Oh, no. It's a cool gemstone and it's what we call doubly terminated. So what that basically means is that it naturally forms with uh, like a double point, if you like. No faceting at all. No wow. faceting, it no faceting. It does. <laughs> Did you also know that Herkimer Quartz is not mined underground, it's found on the Earth's surface? Is it? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So many people will actually pre will prefer a Herkimer, um, some people call it a Herkimer diamond because yeah. of its similarities, yeah. of course. Many people prefer Herkimer quartz um, or Herkimer diamonds to a real diamond because um, it's not so dis uh, disruptional, no, if you no, like, to, uh, to the environment. Well, here you go. Here is one of those, uh, one of those mines. So as you can see, these are large, large Herkimer, uh, Herkimer diamonds literally lay on the surface. It's a fascinating stone and let's talk about it because I, I look I love this gemstone and I actually asked Wayne some months ago please can we get some Herkimer diamonds because I, I, they're everywhere at the moment in the high-end jewelers anyway um, but so let's read about this what are they? Well, Herkimer diamonds are not actually diamonds. Um, I think most of us know that. Uh, they are a form of double terminated quartz crystals that began forming 500 million years ago uh, in a dolomite uh, outcrop throughout Herkimer County, uh, uh, New, I think that's meant to say New York, New York yeah, uh, and the Mohawk River Valley. Uh, these crystals were discovered in the 18th oh. century and given the diamond nickname because of their exceptional clarity and natural faceting which is obviously wow, what you've just said 17th century yeah it's over 300 years that's 
three wow. years. And yet still, to this day, yeah. many people don't know no. about Herkimer no. diamonds. No. Um, so amazing. Formed over 500 million years ago, around about the same time as Tanzanite, in actual fact. Um, Herkimers can be uh, exceptionally clear and colourless. Uh, or they, ca they may be included with little air bubbles or flecks of black carbon, which consequently, what is carbon? It equates to a diamond. Um, if you are lucky, you will come across a stone uh, with uh, well, a hydro inclusion, which is basically a bubble of water that was trapped in the crystal during its formation. Now, we see this from time to time, very rarely, and that's what you see what, that creates that lovely um, spectrum. Mm, yes. Those beautiful spectrums, and I'm seeing spectrums uh, within your strands. But look at those beautiful cuts and shapes. So yes, doubly terminated, which they all are, um, but just it's not sort of the classic prism that you see on the first photograph. Um, you can see across them that actually has quite dynamic, quite quirky and unusual shapes as well. Some of the natural shapes and facet passet patterns that you see within Herkimer diamonds. Here they are. Um, you can see in the palm of the hand, they're absolutely beautiful, don't you think? And all totally and utterly natural. And that's what we're going to offer you. We're going to offer you parcels of Herkimer diamonds in a few moments' time. Is there a little bit more? Because I want to show it uh, sort of in jewellery, high-end jewellery, shards of Herkimer uh, diamonds that's in the cluster ring there, uh, which is a type of clear quartz are clustered together in this large uh, linear visible ring to create a bohemian opulence. The stones are set in a warm-toned 18-carat gold oh. yellow gold so it is yeah. a, it is a variety of gemstone which the biggest jewelry uh sort of shops or the most expensive jewelry shops will actually um, include along with more affordable as well one silver um herkimer diamond set uh ring is what 34 pounds and 80 pence it's not bad that's one, one stone, stone. Some silver one yeah. stone these are lovely and i thought oh, our viewers can make that it's a wrap loop isn't it 65 pounds mm -hmm. And I'm finished, sure we've done those components. Or something like this. I love that. I couldn't get it all onto the screen, but it actually says, a millionaire, question mark, indulgence of Herkimer Diamond Quartz for only 60 pounds. Um, or something like this, Netta Porter, 380 pounds in this beautiful bracelet. Now, I've got three strands. I'm obsessed with Herkimer Quartz. It has been found in a few other locations, not just in the USA, but it is still very, very, very rare. There are those beautiful carbon flecks that we spoke about a few moments ago that occur completely and utterly naturally. Now, I've got three strands in the showcase. Always rough tumbles. They should, I don't know, that's almost a bit unjust because they are naturally faceted. Naturally faceted. That's what Mother Nature does, that she naturally facets this gemstone. <laughs> Nothing rough about them at all. No. no, I love them. I mean, literally, just feed that onto something, create a, a, a front style necklace. Super simple. It's just beautiful. I've always been a fan of, of her Herkimer because it reminds me of Rutile quartz, and again, I'm a massive fan. Yeah. Of Rutile, so it's just. It's, it's just exciting, beautiful. isn't it? But it's the fact that it does it all itself. Man isn't inter intervening at all. Yeah. In, in its faceting, it's very beautiful. Shall we take this too? Your launch price. The biggest carrot weight, we've got 100 carrots, then we've got sort of ascending sizes. And that bracelet's only 14 carrots. Yeah. We've got 100 carrots. And when we say 14 carrots, no, no, that's the, that's the gold. Oh, sorry. But still. Uh, oh, yes. It's a bracelet, it's not that much. Uh, isn't no, Mother Nature's no. uh, fasting just stunning? I agree, Margot. I prefer it when Mother Nature cuts it herself. Mm. It's absolutely beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, no. <laughs> £19.99. pence. Not even our sister channel have got a huge amount of Herkimer, uh, Herkimer quartz. Um, I absolutely love it. And it's always a firm favourite with our fabulous viewers here at Jewelry Maker. Because look, even if you just did this. What a talking point this would be. You know, whether you refer to it as Herkimer Quartz or Herkimer Diamonds, oh. that's literally personal preference. Hello, Miss Janet saying, just received mine today. Fantastic. I love Herkimer Quartz. Me too. It's striking, isn't it? It's one of those striking gemstones which li ri literally um, people will go, oh, and they'll think it's maybe rough diamonds. Who? Oh, those of you that have already checked out. That wasn't your price. 
Never was, actually. No, I'm... Uh, is that the quantity I have? 133? Oh, we're going lower. Oh, it was never your price, but so many of you did, did, did check out straight away. At this kind of saving, I'd be indulging in your Herkimer Courts. Oh, my goodness me. Do you know what? It's from the original location of Discovery. You pay a premium for USA Herkimer. Now I can call it Herkimer Diamonds. Because there is an article that actually said that Herkimer uh, Diamonds can only be called Herkimer Diamonds if they're from USA. I don't know how true that is. I was like, okay, so that's why maybe why we call it Herkimer Courts. But now I can, in accordance to that article, refer to it as Herkimer Diamonds. £12.99 pence only. This is the largest carat weight. Again, faceted by Mother Nature, literally forms along the Earth's, uh, the Earth's surface. It's not a gemstone that we dig down great big shafts or anything like that. Um, literally found on the surface. And it's beautiful. I just love it. And it's, it's a great one for the gents as well. I think bridal. Oh, like a winter bride. Yeah. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Like an ice queen. Yeah. How beautiful is that? The final few, we had 133, Yvette, Tricia, hello to you, hello, uh, Olivia, Gabrielle, Richard, Theresa, new customer, London, uh, Jax, Belinda, hello to you, Lincolnshire, Chantel, Staffordshire, Emma, you're here as well. Wayne, can we just do a little tot up? All three strands. What are we taking them to? Oops. Meant not to be buying today, but I love her, Kimmer, so I couldn't say no. Thank you, Wayne. Love Chantal in Suffolk. He's just chuckling away to himself, Chantal. Don't you worry, darling. Um, I, might, I, might, I might be tempting you because we've got two more strands to bring you. How about if I said... What? You can buy all three strands of natural Herkimer diamonds for under 30. I would use the mystery box strand with this. <gasps> I mean, how decadent. Just alternating. Oh, that would be unbelievable. And you could ombre this as well because you've got darker stones, you've got mid, and then you've got the pale. Oh, That'd yeah. That'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? I would take, take some of the darker ones out and, my, like, my husband would probably like yes, those. Yes, yes. And then the paler ones, I agree, would be perfect with the mystery box. That would be absolutely amazing, wouldn't it? You can get all three strands for under £30 today. There you go. There you go, you know what's happening. Well done. Two more strands to bring you. I'll put them alongside one another so you can actually get an idea of scale. Uh, Carrie Bradshaw from Sarah Jessica Parker, uh, character in Sex and the City. When she was dating um, a Russian artist, Oh. He gifted her with some rough diamonds, and it was like an inch or two inch section across the front of the neckline. Really beautiful. And he was very wealthy. I have to say, <laughs> this would absolutely blow that piece of jewelry out the water. Natural Herkimer diamonds from the USA, the original location of Discovery. Um, this is that middle strand if you like that in between so if you wanted to create a most fabulous graduation that would work as well 12 pounds 99 but obviously we're not stopping there we brought you this carrot weight for 12.99 which means that this has got to go down a bit lower which means that that one has to what's he doing how many do we have oh no 139 of these available oh ready i hope you're ready call center gosh I hope you're ready. Do you notice how we see it and then it's gone as yeah, well? Yeah, absolutely. So I launched this the day that Carol left on maternity with Hattie, her oldest. Oh, really? So that was that eight or seven or eight nine yeah, years ago. Yeah, must be about even. that. And, um, and this is the first time I've seen it back since then, personally. Seven pounds ninety-nine. It is one of those. Yeah. It's it's it, it's a guaranteed seller on our screens. Yeah, Whenever we get it, it's gone. Yeah. Um, is that right, Wayne? In terms of this, yeah. In terms of the actual uh, history of Herkimer diamonds, it lands and it's gone probably within uh, just a couple of weeks. Wow. We have one other strand of Herkimer diamonds to bring you as well. Um, yeah, from the USA, the original location of Discovery. In fact, we can go back to the first page and read about that. 
It's not actually embedded in the rock, it's just on the ground. No, it's on the ground, yeah. Herkimer wow. diamonds are not actually diamonds at all. They are a form of doubly terminated quartz crystals that began forming 500 million years ago in a dolomite outcrop uh, throughout Herkimer County, hence the name. Uh, that's meant to say New York, by the way. Uh, New York uh, and the Mohawk River Valley. These crystals were discovered in the 18th century and given the diamond nickname because of their exceptional clarity and natural faceting. You are getting them from the original location. Yes, many people actually consider this to be one of the uh, most um, environmentally friendly gemstones because, right. again, it's not mining down into shafts. It's actually literally on the surface, as you saw in that photograph yeah, a few moments ago. Seven ninety nine only. Check out, check out those baskets. There was 130 of these, but lots of multi-buyers getting involved. Well done. And now on to... I don't want to say the smallest... Because 20 carats is not small. No. Most petite, maybe. Same thing, but you know what I mean. Do you know what, Mark? Gorgeous, aren't they? Center, split that in half. Yeah. Split that in half. Can you imagine? Over the top of the head. With something like black spinel. Oh, there's black spinels oh, we had oh, earlier right on. at the beginning of the show, yes. Oh. See, the, this particular shape shows the full crystal structure. It does, really doesn't it? well, doesn't it? The natural Amazing. formation. That's very, uh, very popular amongst crystal healers as well. For those of you that uh, um, are into your crystal healing, you'll probably already know about this gemstone. I didn't want to go too much down that route um, because, like I said, it's a very exciting collector's gemstone in its own individual right. But yes, quartz, of course, is is is. Um, is, is believed to be a super uh, gemstone, but the fact that you've got those natural uh, double terminations within six pounds and 99 pence only to get uh, hold of this beautiful strand. Make sure you do check out your baskets again, something that would go dreamily with a multitude of your gemstones that you have within your stash. I mean, whether, yeah, have a little think. What, what yeah, have you got knocking yeah. around in your stash that you've been looking for the f perfect um, uh, accompaniment? Hello, Maria, my Aww. darling. Uh, hi, Elle. You are amazing with all the information. Oh, bless you. Um, I learned so much about stones just watching when you're on TV. Thank you so much for all your research. It's my absolute pleasure, Aww. and thank you so much for messaging. You really enjoy doing it. I do. Yeah. I, it's yeah. my, it is. Mm. I, even if I wasn't here, I would still do it. Mm. I do. Re I'm fascinated by gemstones, and I think. And also, I've got a terrible memory, Maria. So I always think of PowerPoints much easier <laughs> um, to share with you too. Well done, Anne, Olivia, Vivian, Sharon, Staffordshire, Devon, Nora, Sarah, Gabrielle, Irene, Jas uh, Janice, Yvette, Richard, Belinda. You're there. Uh, Posty has just delivered mine. Yippee! Well, isn't it magical? That's a perfect word, isn't it? absolutely magical certain gems are much easier to research than others by the way mm. this is not an easy one to research because obviously you need to make sure that yeah, they are uh, reliably sourced uh, hi Chantal. i bought the undrilled selection a few months ago uh, i just have to uh what's that just have i love them all yeah they are absolutely beautiful absolutely stunning and rare to see i bet you those of you that have the herkimer quartz or herkimer diamonds which are the way you, you word it um, at home, if you were to show them to your circle of friends or your loved ones, or you were to have them maybe on your artisanal markets, I bet they get a lot of attention. Yeah, asking what they were, right? they're fascinating. These, they're absolutely beautiful. Never had Herkimer yeah. quartz before. Um, well, believe me, you're not going to be disappointed. They're absolutely amazing. Well done, well done, well wow. done, well done. Still, so much to bring you. We have lots of sterling silver um, to bring you. Um, should we do the bales? They've been on pre-order. Oh, they've gone. Okay, these have been on pre-order and they've flown out already. Um, they're absolute essentials. Absolute essentials. How many, how many times have we all been caught swept up in the romance of maybe half-drilled pearls? Oh, gosh, I need these. You know, I said a couple of days ago that I was sorting through my deflecto storage, which yeah, yeah, yeah. is getting bursting it? now. It's oh. bursting at the seams. And I was like, right, I need to get out my pearls. and Because um, I've, been, I've been quite vocal mm. about the fact yeah, that I'm going to yeah. start selling some pearls. Yeah, Listen, yeah. times are hard at the moment, aren't they? We've all got electricity bills and petrol oh. to pay for and things like that. Anyway, so uh, this is the kind of thing I need because I've got loads of half-drilled pearls with no bales to put them on. Well, they've been available since 8 o'clock this morning and 40 have already been snapped up. How many do we have then, Wayno? 
256 but i can't be the only person that wants to get at least a, at least i don't know five packs they are 925 sterling silver and it takes what a bit of super glue or the um epoxy cement yeah here we go oh yes you do need these uh, mm. i'm desperate for these oh they're lovely aren't they uber simple now if you were to pop along to one of our close competitors They're what, how much each? Three pounds each. So that means this would be six pounds. Mm -hmm. 925 sterling silver, classic, okay. beautiful, tapered bale, really simplistic. You've got that lovely little, love that. Lovely little detail at the top there. Who would like these for buy one and you get one free? Oh no. <laughs> there's 200 i can't be the only person that is desperate for for for, for these they're not bale well they are bales and a peg aren't they this it's more than just a bale yeah, yeah, yeah. all you need to do is glue it in place a half drill pearl or well, not half oh, drill not. no you can do any any bead really i've got some yeah. whopping keshi pearls that i bought years ago that i've never made into a piece of jewelry i'm kind of glad you don't have these. i didn't have these you got you waited I am glad I waited, yeah. although I'm probably going to miss out now, aren't I? Two ninety nine. Oh wow! The quantity. Anne's got Anne's some upstairs. Got <coughs> You're feeling the magic box next, okay, Wayne? Let's do the magic box next. It is really exciting. I don't think we can keep you uh, keep you hanging on for much longer. Um, I mean, London's got ten. Oh, look at this. Cumbria's got four, Aberdeenshire's got four, I can see Maker's got six, Maria's got five, Richard's got five, Heather's got five, Essex has got five. I would be getting exactly those quantities I would at as well. Absolutely. Have we got any more of these in our vault, Wayne? Oh. Oh, no. Well, I need them before October. I, confession time. Well done, everybody. Well done. Confession, Confession time. time. I'm going to have to go to our competitors, aren't I? Oh, I see. I'm going to have to... Oh. My hands are tight. <laughs> uh, see, it always works if I say that. If yeah. I had a thousand of these, they would have sold. Yeah, absolutely. See, that worked a treat, didn't it? If I actually said it. So, oh, I'll see what I've got. He'll sort you out. Two ninety nine only. Amazing. If we'd have had, if we'd have had a thousand, they'd have still sold out. Still, well done, gone, well done, well done, well gone. done, well done. Where do we, are we doing this? Oh my goodness me! Be Star prepared. Buys it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, can I get um, a white bust, please, Dan? Be prepared to literally fall in love because I have to tell you, what we're about to show you is probably one of the most beautiful things that you could possibly see. Um, it's it's stunning it's absolutely stunning and visualize yourself in one of those places where you see the very high expensive price tags the ones which are really intimidating and i don't know about you but i don't like being in those kind of environments the ones that if they if i have to ring a button to get inside i can't afford anything inside that kind of place that's what we have here but you don't have to press the button and we are opening those doors of that level of luxury to the masses today, purely because we have sales manager Wayne in the hot seat. Let's just get the housekeeping out of the way because I want you to, before we, 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 we introduce this, uh, this opportunity, how many Wayne? Oh, I'm hoping that we get make many of our wonderful collectors extremely happy the mystery box is next. I gave you a couple of little teasers earlier on in the show. Do you, do, do you agree with what I said? Completely and utterly, without a doubt. Of its type, yeah, yeah. considered to be the best in the world. They're beautiful. They really Absolutely are. Absolutely beautiful. 
back in the day, this was something I never, in my wildest dreams, imagined that I would own. Um, this was the type that you would only see on the red carpet. I think the time has come for me to reveal what's in the box, and then I'm going to tell you exactly what they are. Imagine, oh, no. imagine yourself, I don't know, nose pressed against a, an expensive jewellery house. Imagine the POA on the, uh, in front of it. And then imagine looking at this quality of pearl. Look at this. Look at them. I've got my phone next to me and I'm so glad I have. Because <laughs> they are, they were t do you know what? I'm going to say this to our, uh, to our viewers, to Mark, to, 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 to the team. I've bought pearls recently, Wayne. I bought those purple pink pearls and I'm not going to lie they were expensive they were expensive and it was a considered purchase for me anyway um, and the reason why I, I couldn't stop thinking about them I was like you know what that they are the most beautiful natural color pearls I'd ever seen in terms of white pearls it's these Incredible, that is they? these they are bright I mean you have to pure white yeah. so what is it about an Akoya pearl Let's read about your Akoya pearls before I introduce this close-out deal that makes no sense whatsoever. Harvested only in the calm waters of Japan, the history of Akoya pearls is, uh, I can't even say that, inextricably linked to Mikimoto, the founder of Mikimoto and the creator of the first cultured pearl. Look at those earrings. Very that cool. pure white mirror-like luster. So they must be tiny little seed pearls. Yeah. They're well, amazing. It's, it's interesting that you've said that, actually. Yeah. Let's read on. Wow. However, just as in nature, not all cultured Akoya pearls produce perfect rounds, uh, uh, lustrous gems. The cultured pearl takes around 10 to 18 months to form, and it is estimated that less than half of all Akoya oysters survive the nucleation process. Even then, less than 5% of the pearls produced by the remaining oysters are deemed to be high enough wow. quality for use in jewellery industry. 5%? By less than. That's amazing. Less than 5%. Gosh. So understand why. Listen, some pearls, some mollusks are very robust. Mm. Very robust. The acquire is not one of them. Not one of them. Uh, but what is an Akoya pearl and what makes Akoya so special? With the fashion world embracing pearls like never before, there is quite a buzz about pearls these days, prom uh, prompting Vogue to ask uh, earlier this year, are pearls the new diamonds? With the pristine white wonders of Mother Nature showing up on runways, red carpets and IG feeds, everyone is talking pearls. And we do mean everyone, not just the ladies. This gender fluid gem has captured the limelight for both males and female celebrities as fashion houses turn to pearls as a powerful symbol of status and sophistication. Often, this exciting pearl fashion revolution features the beautiful and classic Akoya pearl. What is it and what are the elements to look for when buying a cultured pearl? Uh, sorry, an, an Akoya cultured pearl. Um, well, here's the science. Here is that location where they form the calm waters. Can you see that? Yeah. Beautiful calm waters. Uh, that's where these are actually harvested. Remember, less than 5% will actually um, produce this quality of pearl. Um, so you can see them there uh, and just how, uh, just how, how, how intense the actual harvest process is. And uh, you can see them sorting as well, sorting through the pills to make sure that they are all graded. Well, this is one of the five virtues that you absolutely should look for in all varieties of culture pills, but it's the one, uh, it's the one virtue, Charlie Barron says, yes, is the yeah, leading yeah. Um, and most important, um, but it's the one virtue that Akoya has in abundance. The Akoya is a truly classic pill. It is known for its incredibly high luster. The higher the luster, the more valuable the pill, 
So when shopping for Akoya pills, be sure to try the pills on. See how they look on your skin. Uh, the beautiful glow of Akoya pills will reflect that shine onto your skin and bring a beautiful radiance to your face. I love it. I absolutely love it. It is all about luster when it comes to Akoya pearls. Here we go. Why are Akoya pearls so special? This is the thing. Every article, and that's literally just a headline I wanted yeah. to show you. Every article talks about what? Akoya pearls. Why are they so special? Why are they the ones getting the limelight? Well, it is all uh, in this box right now. You get amazing, amazing, incredible, incredible luster. Moving on. This is the oyster that produces it. It's called the uh, uh, pink, pink, pink tar. I can never say it. Pink. Pink tarda fucata. There we go. Thank you. You say that. Uh, is the smallest of the pearl producing oysters, measuring oh. three to five inches. When you think the black lip oyster is yeah, about this I was big, say. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like almost like a dinner plate, three to five inches. So they're very delicate little. Oh. Yeah. Um, in diameter, it therefore produces small pearls, and the oysters that produce South Sea and Tahitian pearls, um, Okoya, Okoya pearls generally range in size between three and nine millimeters, with the occasional rare 10 to 10.5. Just remember that for a bit. The Akoya pearl is known for its superb luster and its perfectly round shape. Akoyas also have beautiful color consistency, making them often the pearl of choice for, for a woman's first class uh, strand of pearls. Size, luster, spherical. Oh, look at this. These are, these are absolutely beautiful. It's the vividness of the white. Yeah, pure. If, if white can be vivid. Yes, it can, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, a it's pure. just, it's gorgeous. And the mirror-like luster. Be prepared for this closeout deal. That article said you must put it against your skin, up to the face. Should we do that? Because you see the colors of your skin tone reflect in the pearls. You're such a martyr, the things you do for jewellery makeup. Uh. <laughs> oh, look. Look at, oh how, look. look at how breathtaking they are, Mark. Absolutely. How can we, how, how can we yeah. say that we're going to be closing these out? Please know, that's almost insulting closeout deals on Akoya pearls. And back in the jewellers that I used to work at, which stocked Akoya pearls, I tell you what, I would have absolutely been dragged over hot coals if I was seen holding them without white gloves. Oh, really? Yeah. You didn't pick up a coil of pearls with your right. hand. Your Which is silly, really, because they do like the oils in your skin. Yes, yes. But, oh, gosh, no, I'd have been absolutely drawn over hot coals if, it was, if I ever did this. Look at how beautiful they are. I want, I'm going to join you. I have my mobile phone right next to me. I am going to join you on this opportunity. Get this home. Not it. Put it with your 18 karat gold class. You know I've been shouting about it. And I know they cost money. I know they do. But an Akoya Pearl absolutely justifies it. Absolutely deserves it. That is ridiculous. It's actually, no, not enough. No, no, these need to go. And I don't think you're fully prepared for just how low we're taking these. Um, get, get me the uh, oxygen chunk. My, uh, my breath has been taken by those beautiful acquires. Liz, they are insane. Absolutely, insanely beautiful. I saw Harry Styles wearing pearls and it took me back uh, a moment. Then I thought, why should men not wear them? So gorgeous. Just go for it. Totally agree with you, Beverly. Totally agree with you. And he rocks pearls as well, I think, Harry Styles. Absolutely rocks them. Here's a little thing for you. Imagine being able to gift Harry Styles a coy of pearls. Yeah. He can buy his own. He's fairly wealthy. I'm going to show you the price that they should be and that they've oh. always been. Let's go through uh, your virtues. Now we're getting serious, right? 
We're closing out, we're doing a close out deal on that price tag. And I don't just mean by a little cheeky 10, 20%, we're gonna take a big chunk off that price tag, a massive chunk off that price tag. And I'm gonna, no apologies, I'll probably get told off for this after. In fact, my boss is producing me right now. Wayne, <laughs> Wayne, I'm just gonna tell you this. I've got my phone here. <coughs> there's, one, there's one strike, one negative. I shouldn't yeah. have my phone in the studio. Secondly, I'm buying. I'm buying these, okay, Wayne? Okay, cool. Thank you. Clock sticking away. The end price apparently depends on how many of us, how many of us are joining this auction opportunity. Because I'm knotting those, and all I'm going to do is put it on a on a gold clasp um, and probably sell them at a, a profit. Times are hard. Profit, I would imagine. Yeah. Well, I'll give it a whirl anyway. Yeah. Give it a whirl. Oh, goodness me. There it is. Add to basket. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see? Yeah, there I am. There I am. Uh, check out. How do I check out? There we are. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Heather. And Heather says, I have two strands of these from you. I'm waiting to knot them. I could make a very long strand with three. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. You certainly could. Hang on. So, so Wayne, would, would Heather have paid what you're going to now for her other two strands? Or is this a brand new price you're bringing in? It's a brand oh, new price. Well, Heather, there we go. There we go, Heather. It's a brand new price. Sorry, I'm massively distracted. We want to do it in one big price crash. There are 160 of these opportunities. Oh, now is not the time to lose it. Oh, processing. There we go. Thank you. Yes. There you are. There I am. There you go. Look at how perfect they are. Go through the yeah, five yeah. virtues. Whilst that clock is ticking, use that time wisely. We won't be able to honour a Koya Pearl prices like what you're about to see. Again, 160, that is basically what kind of has initiated this deal for you. And secondly, the fact that we've got Wayne in the hot seat, he's given the, the nod of approval. This is the type of pearls that I absolutely would have sold in the jewellers 20 odd year, years ago. And they would have been, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, Nine thousand pounds as a oh, knotted wow. as a knotted necklace. Yeah. They would have been that price tag. I don't think we've. I don't. We've definitely not got a coins in Whitney. I don't even think we'd have them in Oxford. I mean, you, you'd have to go to. That would be London, wasn't it? Maybe. Coins, yeah. One of the biggest closeout deals. Here I am. There you are. <laughs> I'm not. Le I'm let, not letting this opportunity pass through my my fingers. I I, I thought it might be being a bit cheeky. Yeah, you can. Oh, really? Do I say that, though? You're joking. Uh-uh. What? We've just found out what they're going to. Yeah. So now you're talking about ropes. You could possibly buy... Oh, my word. Higher Heather. Yes, please. The lower, the better. Uh, these were the black jade I, I have from you. It oh, gets better. Right. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Heather, that sounds amazing. And if you love black jade eye, and uh, uh, those of you thinking, what? There's black jade eye on tomorrow's show. That would look absolutely incredible. Oh, my word. One more minute. There's not enough of you on the phone lines to justify as low. You, you will actually influence um, our lovely Wayne now. How many have gone? 60. We've got 100 left. This is where we influence Wayne. Oh, the oh, more oh, of oh. us... Look, look, look. On the left-hand side, above Beverly. Beverly In, in purple. Guest designer Susie getting involved. Yeah. Susie. She's with you tomorrow, isn't she? She is, yeah. yeah. Um, and I won't forget Susie. I've got to bring my money in from a red jadeite as well. Um, I won't forget if I win Susie money too. Imagine red jadeite with these. I like your idea though, Heather. Yeah. Black jadeite would be incredible. Very Coco Chanel-esque. Yeah. You what? Honey jadeite. Oh, Ooh, some of your oh. dove blues. Oh, yeah. What about what about your uh, Blanca onyx? Oh my goodness! Do you know what? Let's not over overcomplicate it. Just knot these. I would just knot these. Oh gosh! I'd put an 18 karat gold clasp. <coughs> and be brave. Go and get them valued. Expect them for a four figures. 
the biggest closeout deal uh, that I've ever seen on Akoya Pearls. And oh my goodness me, please know, please understand that we cannot bring you a coir pearls of this quality um, for anywhere near this price tag ordinarily. You know that, don't you? Now, article that we were just talking about, these are big pearls. Four, what is it? Four, to, uh, six to eight millimetres. They're, They're talking, about, yeah, yeah, between three and nine mil. These are absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. You can get this home today at £24.99 on your split pay. Brian, uh, Susan and Brian, well done getting three. Neil, well done getting two. Lorna getting two. I'm kicking myself now with all the twos. Uh, hello to you, Yvette. Uh, Lynette, you've got two as well. Helen, congratulations. Denise, Carol, Karen, Alison, Gabrielle, Linda, Michelle, Tracy, Catherine, Sarah, Jane. They're going to sell out. They, yeah. they are absolutely going to sell That's out. That's ridiculous. They're beautiful, aren't they? That's perfection right there. Absolute perfection. So they are graduated, aren't they? Ever so slightly graduated. Ever so slightly so graduated, so beautifully yeah. Beautifully done, though. Absolutely stunning. When it comes to pearls, um, obviously it's not the same as the four Cs. So you have uh, the five, what we call the five virtues, which is absolutely beautiful. I love that. So yeah. it's lovely, isn't yeah. it? So um, you've got the shape obviously round uh, then you start talking about the color well this is natural completely and utterly Perfectly natural white. pure yeah. white not dyed or bleached then you start talking about the shape oh sorry i've said shape haven't i no sorry size shape color so there's three yeah. of your virtues yeah. then we start talking about uh uh your nacre so how basically smooth the surface of your pearls are um it's a bit like our skin effectively as an organic uh gemstone you know how flawless that uh, uh the nacre surface is and then you start talking about the luster which is what akoya pearls are absolutely synonymous for they have amazing almost mirror-like luster that article spoke about it literally reflecting um, your natural skin tones. It shouldn't be 99.99. Absolutely not. And this is definitely something that I think you should uh, look to get maybe um, insured. A hundred of these have gone. I've got the uh, 42 of you with it still in your baskets and I've got people still on the phone lines. 199 was an amazing deal. Yeah, absolutely. I only That's choked when you said 25 pounds split pay. I know. What? It's, it, it doesn't make sense. I bet you wish you'd got two now. Yeah, I do. I didn't want to be cheeky though, because I didn't want people mm. to. I'm probably already going to have the. So not <laughs> only did you buy one, Elle, you <laughs> went back in again and bought two. Right, Wayne? They're amazing. He's got. He's. <laughs> I'd love to. I'd love to. I would, uh, and then all of a sudden there'd be no class, but it'd just be knotted as a complete yeah, yeah, 360 imagine. necklace. Ah, oh, and I'd sell it probably for about 1,500 pounds, and that's a good price. Yeah. Uh, wonderful for my granddaughter's wedding. <laughs> Mind you, she's only nine. Might be jumping the gun a bit. Yeah, yeah, but you know what, Liz? When are we ever going to get the opportunity to buy a coir pearls yeah, at, at under hundred yeah. pounds? Um, oh, hello, Angela. Bought as a wedding gift for my daughter. Oh. oh. Oh, imagine. Whose birthday is it? Yours, seemingly. Seemingly, yeah. Uh, hi, Richard. I may have just mm. found yes. the partner for the Tanzanite from earlier. Yeah, this is what Amazing. we were saying. It would be beautiful yeah. with the Tanzanite. Hello, Mary Ann. Black Spinel with these beautiful pearls would be exquisite, wouldn't they? Absolutely stunning. Oh, my goodness. It's a tough call, isn't it? What to choose? Uh, Heather, yes. Uh, got the red as well. <laughs> uh, bank manager has fainted. Ah, he'd be all right. He'll get over it. <laughs> It'd be all right. Just pick him up, dust him off, send him on his way. He'd be fine. Oh, wow. um, there's nine of these left. Well done, everybody. Um, 48 of you still have it in your baskets. Weirdly, I'm still showing it as having it in my basket, but I have had the confirmation. No, I've checked out. No, I... I, and you can see me, Mark, can't yeah, you? Yeah, I've yeah. I've checked out, don't you worry. Don't you worry about that, Wayne. I checked out straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne says he's rung the call centre to, to get it kicked out of my basket. <laughs> you can always wish, lit by the, wish list it by... Wish lit? 
<laughs> What's wish list? <laughs> you can wish list it. So if you are um, told that you've missed out on this opportunity and you've been unsuccessful, wish list it. And if any ha do happen to fall back into uh, stock, then our call centre can get in touch with you and, and give you that opportunity again. We will repeat the closeout deal price tag um, on any item that is uh, purchased right. through wish list. So seven left. London's just snapped up two. Yeah. Well done. Karen's just snapped up two. Stay where you are on those phone lines. We'll leave those graphics on your screens uh, throughout the course of the break until stocks last but up next mark wow. amazing masterclass coming Can't up wait. it's been a long time coming is it coming here yeah coming here, with my first ever chart i've had my arm twisted oh <laughs> how have i forgotten this so tell us quickly before the break so as you know um lovely monica and alison and lots of other guest designers they bring booklets to air now, I, I'm not, I can't do technology or anything, so all of these years I've said, no, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. So we've done a bit of a compromise, yeah. and I've worked with the lovely Hannah Osborne. Yeah. So on pen and paper, I've drawn the chart, and then I've passed it over to Hannah, who's kindly electrified it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in your school, yeah, by the yeah, way, so I, totally. So it's been a compromise, but I've done my first ever chart, and when you buy any of the kits, you get the chart alongside to make all three of the necklace varieties that I've made pieces of. Oh, my goodness me, and they're absolutely beautiful. Don't go anywhere. Mark's first after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, I'm just giving you a sneaky peek of what I've got coming up on Friday's show. I have just spent an hour threading on 800 beads and I'm going to be making the most beautiful Kumihimo necklace of which during Friday's show I'm going to be launching my first PDF where you can actually make this necklace along with me. So that's this Friday, the Masterclass Hour at 12. I can't wait to show you the outcome of this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help.
easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Welcome back, everybody. Um, what a morning it has been. What a morning. And we've still got so much more to squeeze in between now and the top of the show. There are four left of that of that Akoya uh, opportunity. It's, it's breathtaking. It really is. So don't leave those to chance. Um, and I might be tempted to get another one come the end of the show, just saying. Oh. Mark, this is a first for you. Yes, I know. This is um. exciting. Look at the jewellery, though. I mean, Mark, most people, certainly somebody that was new to jewellery making, mm. would look at these and go, oh, I can't do that. I couldn't do it's that. It's one of the most therapeutic, one of the most easiest uh, techniques to pick up. So what, what is the technique? So the technique is called kumahimo. Uh -huh. And I, th I believe we've got discs on the show as well. Have we? Yeah. Back in stock. So we've got the discs, and we've <gasps> also got some bell caps as well. So it's all. Wait, it's wait, all, wait, wait, wait. All. What? These haven't been in stock for ages. They've not been in stock forever. No. Like the macrame board. Like the macrame. So that's board. big news. No. Yeah. So we've got them back in stock. Not part of the kit. So if you've got them already, you don't need to buy replacements. But we've got them coming. They're going on pre-order. Apparently, Wayne has Wayne has suggested. How many do we have, Wayne? Oh, good. They're going to oh, still sell out. They'll all go. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, so this Sorry, is one yes. of my ultimate favourite techniques because once you set it up, which will take you about 10 minutes to mm -hmm. set the disc up, the longest part of Kumahimo is threading the beads on. Because as you saw on that little VT that, that came up in the break there, it took me over an hour to thread on 800 beads yeah. for one of the necklace and bracelet sets. Okay. So, so, but that's, that's quite nice as well. Yeah, it's enjoyable. So you just shut yourself that's away for an hour. You will need to concentrate and count. Yes. But, but that's not a hardship, is it? Disconnect, no, um, disconnect any of the, the stresses. Yeah, absolutely. And as you can see on the disc here, there are 32 numbered slots. Mm -hmm. So you can, if you wanted to, use 32 cords. Wow. Okay, whether you bead them or whether you, you don't bead them. The maximum I've ever used is 12. Okay, does it get confusing? It gets very confusing, and you need to follow a pattern quite strictly. So for me, the eight warp, which is what is your sort of your basic yeah. pattern um, selection, this is the one that I use all the time now. You can do six, you can do seven, but bizarrely, that's really complicated. Is it because it's odd numbers? Yeah, and okay. it's just, it's, it's, and you have to do a faffy move. And if I, you manage to get moves. Kumahimo to sink into my brain, you'll be the first person yet, because I can't, I can't, I don't get it. Right. I don't okay. get Kimahima. Okay. If I was to watch... Willow could pick it up in minutes. Oh. Well. Honestly, it's it's really, really good. And we've had loads of emails <laughs> and messages from parents who their kids have picked this, this disc up and she just... probably would, to be yeah. fair. You were talking about friendship bracelets on our last yeah. show, weren't we? She, I mean, you can make those on the Kumahimo <laughs> board. So I use eight cords. Okay. So in the kits, you get... Now, I've, I've not got these bobbins, so I've, I've used ones that I had, but you get bobbins mm -hmm. with the little slots that you can, you can um, put your cords on. Which work onto. in the same way, don't exactly they? Exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. I think we've also got the weight. Yes, we've got the weight as well. So that's all good. It's on pre-order yep. as well. And there's the disc. And we've also got the, um, the bell cap. Lovely. So there's the weight, there's the disc, and there's the bell cap that you can also pre-order. Yep. Already yeah. they're going on pre-order. Yeah. So we so we bought these as, as single. Obviously for a necklace or a bracelet you need to pick up two, but I think they're an amazing price. Yeah. 
Um, or you can actually do a Kumihimo tassel and use those as your tassel topper nice. on your mask. That's probably why they're single. And all, yeah, and all that sort of thing. So, yeah, so we've got everything you need. So I think the only thing you need is a pair of scissors. Yeah. Really, it couldn't, it couldn't be easier. Honestly, it's ridiculous. Okay. Also, there's an announcement to this kit. Now, if, you, if any of our mm. customers buy these kits, yes. any of these kits, mm -hmm. what happens? So when you place your order and you'll get your order delivered, on your order sheet will be a code and instructions of how to go online and either watch the look at the, the chart on the screen or print it off. I know a lot of our, our, um, I'm old our viewers print them off. Yeah, I would too. So obviously we're not, we're not going to show you on screen, but I have got, I'll give you a quick flip. This is, I'll show L. This, okay. is, this is my handwritten... Okay, yeah, sheet, yeah, yeah. Which then Hannah took and she computerized Digi it. Digitalized. Digitalized it. it, yeah. So okay. I'll, give, I'll give, give a quick look. That's all you're going to see. There you go. Because <laughs> you need to buy the kit to get that. Okay, so, so on any this, one so, of yeah. them. So on this chart, there are three different designs. Right. Um, each of them are using the eight warp, but just in a different number of beads oh. and different sizes of beads, okay. different patterns of beads. So everything you need is on that sheet that you will get a little download code for to either look on the computer or, or, or print it off. Okay. okay, lovely. So the three designs that we are going to show you is, if we start, if I show They're you these beautiful, two Mark. So on the bracelets here, the, this is the first one, which is your, your simple spiral, in effect, on the yeah. bottom there. And then we've got this one here, which is using four different beads to get an extended spiral on the top there. So that's the second one. And then the third one, if I show you this necklace here on the end you can see it you can see so we've got two sizes of beads but you get a sort of a, a you get a, a chunky spiral which you can see on the back there so you get all three designs they look a bit yeah. uh Cellini spiral they do but it's so much easier honestly so this is this is the third design here the second design is this one here mm -hmm. which is the four now you see my little vt we mentioned earlier of my um setting up my disc this is the necklace that you can make from one of the kits oh, that's gorgeous and with that 800 beads that i threaded on you also can make the matching bracelet as well so you you can make both of those with and if you follow the numbers on my charts you'll be able to um to make the whole set so on the charts you will get the length of cords and the number of beads needed for the bracelet and then the length of cords and the beads needed to make a necklace in the same design. So Amazing. So we've covered all... Yeah. All bases. Yeah, well, we're going to, just before yeah. we dive into the Masterclass demo, yes. we're actually yeah. going to start with that colourway, I believe. Okay, this is beautiful. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, my goodness me. There's less than wow. 100 of each of these kits, by the way, so you will need to be uh, quite quick. And again, it comes with Mark's instructions that you will come uh, on the order yeah. form. And we've also, you get a little Magatama. Which I wondered, I, yeah, I thought so that might have been the, in there no, by no, mistake. No, each of the kits has a little Magatama. Oh, can you see that um, there? So if you want to add it as a pendant or as a charm. What's a little, what, what, what's a little Magatama? Well, Magatama is the shape. It's like a paisley shape. And these come in various different types of gemstones. Yeah. So there's a different gemstone in each of the, each of the four kits. So in this one, uh, three carats. Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. I think it's... It is clearly a gemstone. I'm going to go with quartz, like yeah. a lemon quartz. Yeah. yeah. Uh, lemon quartz. Uh, um, yeah, is that right? Then you have all of your beautiful turquoise faceted glass bicones, 200 of those in your four millimetres, 20 of this co uh, kit have gone already. Uh, and you're getting those really beautiful gold uh, coloured uh, four mils in your yeah. shell pearl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. Uh, then you've got eight of your bobbins and uh, two of your beautiful Mayuki. So the gold six O's. Yep, yep. And you've also got that lovely uh, eight yeah. O's too. Well, we went for eight O's and six O's, uh, if there are lots of people just starting in Kumihimo, they're large enough, so you, they're quite easy to thread, and yeah. then you, you build up the designs quite quickly. Okay, so it's, uh, yeah, not too yeah. fiddly. And then we've got two sizes of, of seed beads, and then also a bicone and uh, a shell pearl mm -hmm. um, to get the four different, when we, do, when we come to do project two, which is the four-way spiral, you have four different, if I bring one over, uh, if I bring this ice cream one, because I love this. That's lovely. I thought ice I think cream it's ice as cream well. Parlors. Yeah. So can you see we've got we've got the turquoise and the gold. Um, sorry, the silver eight O's. Amazing. And then, and then we've got the shell pearl. So you have four 
spiral. That's beautiful. That's um, half it's the so stock's beautiful. gone off this kit already. Oh, already. Should we get the price point onto your screen? Okay. Let's do it. Really? With the chart as well? With the chart. Bargain. <laughs> Everything included. So all the bobbins, your sea beads, your thread, your nylon thread, <coughs> 200 of your aqua four mil bicones and your beautiful gold shell. Uh, glass pearls, I should say. Sorry, glass pearls. £24.99. And, and it's going to make a full suite. Plus. Plus. Yeah. So that's, and you've always got the instructions. And you've, you've got the instructions as well, so you can use seed beads or any beads that you've got at home in your stash as well. So once you've got the design, then you can, you can uh, alter it to... The only thing I need to add, if you've never done, uh, never done the adventure of Kumahimo, it's quite an ancient it's, it's technique, a, it's isn't it? It's a Japanese it? technique. It's, it's been around thousands of years. The only and thing... It, and it was to make... Um, it was to, for the warriors or, or, or the people in the, in the temples. <laughs> they make... Um, waistbands with tassels and do you remember there's a little ornament called net skis you see them on antiques roadshow quite often made with amber okay and, uh, it's just a good luck talisman they used to wear that around around their waist around on the sashes waist. yeah wow. it's, it's derived from there so that's where kumi he yeah. was you need one of these and you'll need the weight that's about that's it, it really that's all scissors, you need a bit of glue and a pair yeah. of scissors yeah. Yeah. yeah um stay where you are on this one phone lines keep dialing through we had less than 100 of each of these kits you these are back in stock and they have been like gold dust literally so many people messaging ahead um asking for those ah oh! Okay, Wayne, out of curiosity, how much is the Kumihi mobile going to be? I'm just, th I'm just thinking, there will be people watching, new jewellery makers will go, ah, oh, fancy this, it's so portable, yeah, do it in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, minimum of tools, the most simply, of t simply, I'm going to show you how to do it, the most simple of techniques, it's, it's just lovely. We're going to go lower than what's on your screens right now. But I'm just thinking about those people that I think, oh, I, I want to get into it, but I don't know how much the Kuma Hemo board's going to be. It's just so, let's just say it's minimal amounts. Minimal, because, and you only need one, that, that will do multiple Kuma absolutely. Hemo braids, absolutely. won't it? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just one board per braid. No, no, no absolutely. That so will you make, last. So you, make, you make your piece, and then take it off, and then set up for the next disc. We're going even lower. The Kumihimo board literally is, is not a huge amount of money. I can promise you of that. Nineteen ninety nine. Wow. And you get the Esalon as well, which is the, the 0.5. Any questions that you have for Mark, mm, you're going to obviously yeah, do yeah. your masterclass in yeah, a second, but yeah. I wanted to bring some graphics onto your screen for your kits as well. Can we pre-order ahead, Wayne? Can I shop ahead on the other kit colours? Oh, no, he said. No. <gasps> Too limited. Right, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I've got a favourite colourway of you, Mark. Oh, I don't know, actually. Mm. I've got a favourite. Okay. Have you got a favourite? I like the turquoise one. It I is lovely. turquoise and gold. Yeah, Very and that pop of yellow. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Lots of multi-buyers on this. I'm going to leave this one with you and then we're going to move on. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. We know you are there. Um, yeah, I th I'm expecting each of these kits to be full on sellout. Again, don't forget uh, that, what is 2 99 The disc. That is? Yeah. Oh gosh, it's even less than I thought. <laughs> Amazing. I might as well keep those there, haven't I? Nan? Amazing. A lot. Which one next? Oh, you would say that, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would go for the one that's the furthest away. Okay. Da, da, da. There are only 70. Blue is always a big, uh, a very popular colour. Um, am I meant to have an extra one? Um, so we've got silver seed beads in the A toe. And then we've yeah, got... There. Um, ba, 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 bum, opaque glass rainbow in the A toes, yes. And then also silver line crystal. Yeah, three tubes. Three tubes, three tubes in this one. kit. Yeah. He's, do, he's done it anyway. <laughs> it should be more money. Plus you've got your Magatama and you've and also got your, uh, your, your, your silver glass pearls. And you've still got all of those lovely aqua blues. And you've got your Eslon and all the bobbins. 19.99. Wayne, we should have been higher oh. considering the fact that this is actually three tubes. But you the boss. <laughs> He's the boss. More limited. Richard, Josephine, Lynn, Devon, Susan, Shirley. 
don't forget those of you that have never done Kumihimo before. With mark, Mark's instruction, you'll get it. And you'll have it there written in yep. front of you. In front of you, yeah. It is, it, is, it is one of those uh, techniques which I love that. You see, you know, like I was sat in uh, the school um, car park the other day waiting to pick up mm. Willow and there's a, there was a lady sat next to me just happily knitting, knitting away. Knitting away, yeah, yeah. Knitting yeah. away. I thought, oh, isn't that nice? I couldn't take my eyes off when watching her knitting away. But this is the kind of thing that you could do. You could always have yeah, it in your bag. That's it. Absolutely. And you like, can take this on an aeroplane, you see. Yeah. Because there's no, um, no metal or anything. No, nothing pointy and sharp. No, no. Um, love this next one. This next one's absolutely gorgeous. Right, hang on a second. Purple and orange. It's beautiful. Mm. I expect this to be very popular. Um, Okay, hang on a minute. Excuse me, leaning across the table. Look at that. that pastel. Oh, there's your magatama. What do we do with the magatama? You pop a jump ring on and suspend it from your necklace as a pendant. Oh! You pop it on your clasp as a charm. Yeah, it was just a little added bonus we popped in with the kits. Beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that. Oh, and, and the choice of your Mayuki. You've got your gold, silver lined Atos. And you also have, what am I missing? You've got the orange bicones, and then you've got your. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm missing something on there, aren't I? Glass pearls. Oh, your glass pearls. We've got the glass, glass pearls, pearls. Magatama. I'm missing, what's this one here? Yeah, you, you get those. They might be the pearls, actually. They're, they're the glass. You do, you, you do get them in the kit. Yeah, there we go. Brass, brass, brass. Brass coloured oh. Baroque pearls yeah. in your Mayuki. Yeah. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Eight bobbins as well. Um, again, you can pre order and shop ahead on your Kumihimo des uh, disc. That's available likewise for the Kumihimo weight. Um, every order, every purchase of a kit will come with some uh, um, on your order form a link that you can uh, download yeah. uh, for Mark's amazing instructions. So. Well, Ever. Don't be frightened, first time ever, yeah. Don't be frightened if you've never done Kumihima before. Again, uh, with Mark's, Mark's uh, tuition, you'll get there for sure. Um, very mindful, very, mm. very mindful. It is like picking up a good book, isn't it? Yeah. It's my favourite. It's beautiful. I didn't get this one, so I've, this is the first time I've seen this one. It's so pretty. Gorgeous, isn't it? Is that a rose quartz magatama? Yeah, yeah. Oh, please tell me we've got quantity of these, Wayne. This is apps. 73, um, it's so pretty. Yeah. Look at how pretty that is. Ah, oh, gorgeous. What a, what a photograph as well. Flying out already. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. Yeah, you've got that lovely rose quartz colour in your Magatama. Um, look at those beautiful glass you get, you get the uh, You get the Baroque pearl seed beads as well in the little tube. Gorgeous, yeah, love those. Eight bobbins. You might be thinking right now, why on earth have I got eight empty spools? They're actually bobbins and you need those for your kumihimo, yes, don't you? absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's a really bizarre thing. At first I remember like going, what on earth? Why have, I, <laughs> why have I got these that are empty? There is a reason behind it and you'll see that as part of Mark's uh, masterclass. Again, shop ahead to get hold of your kum uh, kumihimo disc and of yes, course disc, uh, right? your weight. Yeah. Should we do it now? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it now. So you've got the kits, 19.99. How amazing is that? You've got the instructions. You're going to get further instructions with Mark right now. But you need one thing you can't avoid is uh, is the actual Kumihimo yes. disc. Now yep. we do do this, don't we? Something so satisfactory uh, about going popping out your middle. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Um, now, as far as I know, oh, this is our Kumihimo disc. This is ours, this is ours, yes. Have we finally new, new made our own? At last. Uh, yes. it's, only taken us, it's only taken us 12 years. So we've finally yeah. produced our own uh, Kumihimo disc. The letters, the numbers are nice and big around the outside as well, which is nice. What's that north, uh, south, east, They're and west? Just a compass points. I'll, I'll, um, it'll become clear when I do my demo. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'd stock up on these. I would stock up on these. Because whilst they will do lots of, uh, of Kumihimo... So I, would, I would buy three. Okay. The first one is for your Eslon cords. The next one for your, if you're using wax cord or satin cord. And then your third one, because you can do the same technique with wire. Oh, like, Kumihimo like Chippehimo, wire. You see? Because, because as you use the cords, the slots will slightly part. 
So if you if you use your disc for a thick cord, mm. and then you then use the same disc for a thin cord, yeah. it won't hold it won't hold so tight in the little slots. Okay. So you need you need. Uh, I'd go for three at, at, at two ninety nine. Why not? I'm also yeah. thinking about Willow. She's going to need entertaining during the school or school holidays. Oh, yeah. She'll love this. She probably would. She loves creating. So I might two ninety nine. It's not breaking the bag. And no. um, we've got three hundred of these just over back in stock. That being said, one hundred and twenty of these have already gone. So yeah, don't don't leave them too late. The wait will come in a few moments' time. But Mark, how okay. do we kumihimo? So we'll go right back to. The basic. So, as I said, I didn't have these bobbins. So, these are the bobbins that I had at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the first thing you need to do, exactly the same way. So, with the bobbins that we have on here, you used to you attach, you tie your cord around the, the waist, yeah. the middle of the um, of the inside, and then they, can you see there's a little slot yep, at the top? Yeah, I can show you, that. Yeah. So, you wrap your cord around the bobbins, pop it into the slot. Can you see that there? There we go. Can we, can, there's a slot in here, so that, that that little slot will take your cord. So okay. these eight, once you've threaded them, will hang. They'll be suspended below your disc. Okay. It makes an amazing noise. It sounds like rain falling. It's lovely. Oh, nice. <laughs> so on your sheet that you'll get with your download, it will, it will um, show you approximate. It will show you the lengths of the cords and the approximate number of beads that you'll need to do each of your designs. What I'd probably recommend doing is thread. If you have not done it before, is do it without beads. Just use the cord just to have a practice and, and find your tension and that sort of thing. So before you attach it to your disc, so you're going to have eight of these bobbins with the cord exposed, okay? So then you need to thread your beads, which, as I said, is the time-consuming part. So for, for demoing, I've just put on, on each of the bobbins, a number of beads, okay? So with that necklace before, there was 100 beads on each, on the little VT section, okay? So once you've then attached all of your beads, you will then have eight cords you will gather up the eight cords and you will tie a simple overhand knot which will capture all of your cords, okay? Mm -hmm. You will take your weight, which we'll bring in a second, and you want weight to go down through the slot at the top. And then you, the four compass points on your disc will correspond with the compass points <coughs> on your chart. And you start, so you see you, the organisation of the chords and the beads will be on your chart. But ideally, you want two chords, one each side of north, one each side of south, east and west. So you've got two, 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 two. Okay, so imagine that I've just started with my disc. So what I'm going to do, I'll explain in a second why we've got three and one in a second. So it don't... So don't look at that, because I just needed to find out where I was. Okay, so you have your eight chords in two sets of two. So this is your basic eight warp kumihimo braid, which is the one that I do more times than none. So you've got our eight chords, and one thing you need to remember, you need to choose a direction, whether you're going to go clockwise or anti-clockwise. I always go clockwise, but if, you, if you're left, you tend to find if you're left-handed, you go anti-clockwise, and if you're right-handed, you go clockwise, but it's, it's just personal preference. So I'll show you how we do the, the braiding first, and then I'll show you how we incorporate the bees. But all the other information you need will be on your chart. So you can start at the top, or you can start at the bottom. I always start at the bottom, and we've got two chords. Are you watching? Yes. Okay, you, honestly, you'll be able to get this. I wasn't just getting some more pearls, no, carry on. <laughs> I wear you. <laughs> so, this is how you do your eight warp. You start at the bottom, you've got two chords, okay? You take the left chord, you pick it out of the slot, and you take it across to the left of the two chords that's already there. So at the moment, you've got two at north, two at south. Mm -hmm. You pick up the left, you go across your disc into left. So now you have three at the top yep. and one at the bottom, okay? So we've gone left to left, and now we go right to right, Yep. And we turn the disc 90 degrees. Does it matter which degrees? It has to be 90. No, I mean, I mean which way, sorry? Yeah, so if you can either go clockwise or anti-clockwise, but you have to stick to that direction. Okay. okay? So we're back to two again, two. So we take bottom left, we go across the disc to top left. Mm -hmm. So we have three. We can't have one and three, we need to replace it. So we take the right-hand cord, bring it across into the slot. So again, we're back to two. 90 degrees, bottom left, top left, top right, 
bottom right. By Jove, she's got Turn it. Turn the disc. Bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right. Turn the disc. And you're just going to keep doing this. Now, on your bracelet, I'll give you a little bit of info that's on the chart. With your bracelet, you will do 100 moves before you incorporate beads. And with your necklace, it'll either be 300 or 500. And the move being, so that would be one. This would be two. Oh, OK. Move. This would be three. And this would be four. And then you turn your disc. And then you just keep doing this all the time. Do you think you could... I think so we'll all get this. Yeah, bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right turn the disc. As long as you remember to turn the disc. If you do accidentally go the other direction, you'll soon know because it'll unpick all of your work. Oh, OK. Yeah. So, yeah. Because you're, you're, you're reversing it, you see. So I'm just going to continue. Now, the way I've got my two chords, my two colour chords laid out in the disc, if I flip it over, you can see... Uh, let me just quickly show you this. If the telephone rings or somebody comes to the door, what you need to do... Because if you came back, you wouldn't know what your last move no. was. And if you do the wrong one, it will stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pick up your next move, flip it across, then you lay your board down. Ah. And when you come back, you know which is the next one in line to If do. you so don't that, do that, you're going to be... You'll be confused. And if you do happen to do the wrong one, when you come to look at your braid, it will, you'll see the mistake straight mm. away. So I'll just take this across so it's nice in line. OK, so if I flip it over, you can see now that that's the braid. You get that spiral braid from the two colours. So this is, this is on your chart, the layout of the colours, OK? So as I said, for the bracelet, you do 100 moves and then incorporate the beads. For a necklace, three, four or 500, because I always think if you're doing a necklace, it's a bit of a waste going through all the beading if it's going behind the neck. Yeah. It's going to be covered with hair. Mm. So you tend to have a bit of braid and then you have your beading. OK, so yeah. next, next I will show you how we incorporate the beads. Now, if um, we've, we've got the weight graphics on your screens, can I kumahimo without a weight or is it not even worth trying? I wouldn't bother because, because the weight is pulling down, it's keeping everything tight. If you didn't yeah. have the weight, there'd be nothing pulling it again, apart from gravity. And it would all, it, you just wouldn't get that. So if, if I show you my weight is pulling down, it's keeping so you everything want the tension. tight, you need the tension, yeah. Um, well, let's bring the, that, this onto yeah. your screens, because yeah. again, we haven't had these in ages. Before, Mark, you go any further yeah. with your masterclass. Yeah. March was the last time oh. we actually had the Kumihimo uh, weight. 50 grams, that's enough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, mine's, mine's 50 grams. So you wouldn't yeah. want much more than that, would you? No. So what you do with this one is, is as you remember I said, you, you gather up your eight threads. Yeah. You tie a knot before yeah. you close the knot. You pop it on one of the hooks. Oh, so you, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, isn't because it? So because we couldn't there. find the um, the crocodile clip weights. Maybe they've so, revamped it. Yeah, so we've got this. So all you do is you just pop the hook in your weight. Ah, oh, perfect. Um, back in stock <coughs> by very popular demand. So you can get weight both. I can start kumahimoing. Yeah, can yeah. we just do a tot up? Yeah, yeah. Nineteen ninety nine. Yep. Two ninety nine. Yep. Three ninety nine. Twenty-seven pounds. I can start Kumihimo for twenty-seven pounds a new yeah, hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with that, each kit, I, I think if you were making bracelets, you could probably make seven or eight bracelets out of each kit. And obviously awesome. Necklaces will be slightly less. Absolutely know, so. awesome, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh wow! I love it. I love it. Um, oh, the, the person that's asking about how you actually get Mark's template with a purchase of the kit—it comes literally on yes. your order form yep. that you can then uh, link, download yeah, and print link. off. The link that yep. you follow. Back to you. My first ever. And a massive thank you to Hannah, because I wouldn't have been able to do this without Hannah. So, No, yes, me either. So I'm not yes. technical either. No, I can't. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm just in awe of Monica and Alison's kits and, and charts and things. It's just... No, you're bra you know, listen, it's your, your amazing charts and things. It's just you went about it differently. Yeah. yeah. You did it old school, like with I a pen and paper. I would do exactly <laughs> the same. I did it very old school. So we're at that stage now. So we'll, we'll assume that I've done my 100 moves to get your little bit of braid. And so if you wanted to do just a braid, you just keep going. Bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right, turn, blah, 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 turn. So it's really, really, really but Look simple. how gorgeous it is, it just beautiful. as a simple braid. As a braid. No, it's gorgeous. Love that. Okay, so okay. to add B, so as I said, I've already got my beads attached to my 
bobbins which are hanging underneath. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same as we've just done, but we're going to drop a bead in place. Okay. okay? So we're going to lift, so again, bottom left, we're always going to start bottom left to top left. So we're going to pick up bottom left, we're going to slide a bead down. Now can you see, um, my bead is on a blue cord and we've got the two purple sets going horizontally across. Can you see? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop the bead underneath the horizontal cord so it's caught under there now. Okay, if I just show you, it's caught under there, it's mm. hooked, and then we pop top left. We bring up top right, we bring it down, we pop it underneath the cords. So it's always the horizontal cords that the beads hook under. And because we've got seed beads, they hook under beautifully. Okay, so that's two blues hooked under the horizontal. So we turn the disc exactly the same way, so it's bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right, but this time we're just dropping a bead in the horizontal. So when I come to pick up the purple cord, these are the six O's, we're going to go across. Now the blue is on the horizontal, yeah. so we drop the bead underneath the horizontal and we go across to top left. Oh. Top right, we pick up a bead, we come down, we drop it underneath. So this is using one of the little glass pearls. So all of the beads we've chosen sit beautifully underneath your threads. Sometimes if you used an 11 o, it might pop out. If you were using a bigger round bead, it might pop out as is well. The, is, there, is there a size that maybe doesn't work or a shape well, that doesn't I probably wouldn't go work. any bigger than a six mil round. Yeah, I guess it would look quite clumpy then, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, you can do that. But, but can you use things like tubes and stuff? You can use tubes. That'd be quite nice, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could do. Yep. So we'll do another couple of rows. So you pick up bottom left, hook the bead under the horizontal, top left, pick up the top right, drop a bead down, so it hooks underneath the horizontal, pull it nice and tight, and remember, as long as you remember to keep turning your, your, you your bead all the, the time. Way then, didn't you? <laughs> I was looking at the screen to make sure I was in shock. <laughs> so again, we're going to pick up bottom left to top left, hooking a bead in place, top right, drop the bead down, so it sits under the horizontal, bottom right, and then you turn your disc. So it's left, right, turn, left, right, turn, but all you're doing is incorporating a bead inside. So once you've used up all of your beads, um, all of the numbers are on the chart that okay. you'll receive. So once you've come to the end, so you don't need to count when you're incorporating beads because you'll run out eventually. Okay. You're, all you will need to count is the, the stitches at the beginning and at the end for your little bit of braid right at the beginning, that's yeah. what you'll need to count, unless you do two inches of braid and then two inches at the other end. Yeah. Just, just measuring, you can do that as well, okay? And then what you'd do then is you'd finish all your beads and then you would just go back to the bare cords. So top left, bottom right, turn. Top left, bottom right, turn. And after about 10 moves, it will cinch everything up again and you'll return back to doing your ordinary braid. Okay, so top to bottom, all the way around. It does sound like rain. It's lovely. <laughs> so bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right, turn. Um, as Emma's asking a question, Mark, will I need one or two, two. bell caps? Two, one either end. We've put them yeah. individually, yeah. Emma, just so that if, for those of you yeah. that did, yeah. Yeah. they've almost sold out actually, okay. so let's bring them to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, just in case people did want to use them for things like tassels, that's why they're individual. Yes, that's why we did that, yeah. Um, so you'll need two, I, I guess you could. You're one either end. One yeah. either end. One either end, yeah. Of your bell caps. They're Silver plated. Cute. They are cute. Why, you know, why, um, why a bell cap? Because you, you can need, just knot them, can't you? Because you need to put all the gubbins up inside the bell cap. Have you got a piece I, I can show? I will show you. Yep, yeah, so... Are you getting to the end of your kumahima and I'm interrupting no, you? No, 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 no. I just want to get to a place so I can show you how to finish off. Let me do one more purple section. There we go. Like so. So if I bring across... Um, let's use this silver one here, look. There we go. One ninety nine. There we go. Oh look, it looks so neat, doesn't it? Neat and tidy. So all the gubbins are up inside the end. Perfect. So these I've used from my stash, just to pop on the end there. There you and go. There's, so there's the able jump ring that we mentioned earlier. Oh, we had those and in. The, and there's the bolt ring clasp as well. So, if you, so if you bought the the smaller of the 
the um, oval jump rings would be absolutely perfect. Um, lovely and decorative these as well. Yeah. If I can show you, yep. you've got this wonderful uh, sort of patterning across the surface. They're great for tassel tops as well as yep. uh, your kumihimo and macrame. <coughs> and macrame. And you can also, I mentioned earlier, you can do 12, 16. So this one will fit 16 strands. Or all you'll do with your, the, with your eight is just double up before you glue it inside and keep it all nice and secure. What glue do I need to use? Am I asking? Am I, yeah, you ought to say to me, are you seriously asking now? Well, I have to recommend the epoxy glue with a little fine um, nozzle, but it's a glue that's super for me every time. Because I want a quick fix. I want to, if you, if you use the epoxy, you have to leave it overnight to set properly. Yeah. With the, with the glue that's super, you, I'll, I'll quickly show you in a second, you know, it, it's, it's seconds. Okay. And, and you're ready to move on to the next, next piece, so. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, it depends how patient you are, I suppose. One ninety nine. How many did we have of these then? Oh, we had three hundred and ninety. That's oh, a good fantastic. job, isn't it? Two hundred and fifty have already gone. Um, so silver plated again. It's one bell cap, but for a kumi we're braid, you're obviously going to need two. But we kept yep. them individually because of your tassels and things like oh, that. They are lovely. They're gorgeous. Back to you. Okay, so you get to this point now. So imagine that I've I've replicated the number of of um, braided sections that I've done at the bottom. And this is how I finished the other end off, is I just put the weight to one side. So can you see now we've got eight cords. What I do is I pick up top left, and I pick up bottom right, and I tie, let me take the, um, and I take the cords off, the bobbins off, because we finished with those now. And I tie them in a simple double knot. Okay, so going to do one and two and tie and I'm going to do the blue cords so I pick up top left on the blue side cut the bobbin off and bottom right on the blue side and there we go so I cut that off bring the two across diagonally and then again I tie a double knot it's almost like they're pair yeah you tie absolutely off with pair. yeah so you do that with the remaining set, then you take your weight off and you're left with this. Okay, so this is, again, this is, this is on, the, on the chart that you get. So these are the knot that I made right at the beginning to, to attach my cords to my, to my disc. And then this is how it looks at the end that I've, all the knots I've just tied. Okay, mm -hmm. there, are, there are so many different ways of finishing off your Kumihimo, but I, I always, I've always done the quick way. What you should do, is you wrap you wrap cotton around and then you cut your threads off, but life's too short. Yeah. You know, life's too Yolo. short. Yeah. So what I do, so first of all, is you take your bobbin. Now you'll find this easier to do before you attach it. So this is one of the oval jump rings. Okay. So I'm going to pop on my bobbin. On we my, had the um, oval jump rings this morning. We did. Yeah. In the eight o'clock hour. And then I'm going to pop my first half of my class one, like so, because what might happen is you'll find it easier to do this little setup before you attach it to your kumihimo. If you've popped the bell cap on, it's, it's quite sometimes what happens is you're, you're faffing around trying to get your jump ring and your clasp on, and this will come off oh. the kumihimo. Okay, so it's so much easier, you'll find, to set it up before. And then what I do then is, using the aforementioned glue that's super, is can you see we've got our our braid section and then we've got our knot mm -hmm. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my glue and I'm just simply going to not right up to the knot you want to leave about three millimeters gap because I'm just going to go in and just you don't need very much just this tiny amount of the glue let me just get it down there we go tiny amount of the glue I'm just going to roll it round like so and then using I found it much easier using your flat nose pliers, not your um, wire cutters, is I'm just going to go right up to the knot and I'm going to slice through. So you've got these bare ends that aren't glued, but you've got your glue just after it, which is stopping it all from unraveling. Yeah. Okay. And then, while that's just starting to set, you take your bell cap and you take your glue and all you're going to do is just pop one drop, that's all you need, just one drop inside your bell cap and then you're going to take your end and you're simply going to push it into 
your cap. And then what I do is I flip it upside down so the cap is being pushed down on top of your cord. Okay, and as I said, within probably about a minute, that would have set rock hard. Pop that down, and then you do exactly the same with the other end. So you would, uh, you would put a piece of glue, a couple of yeah, you put your, your so a couple of millimeters before your knot at the end. You'd glue, and then you'd cut it off with your, your with your pliers, so it's nice and nice and secure. And yeah, that's 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 set already. So you're ready to go. So you do that the same with the other end, and then you have your... So if I show you this one here, which I've done in gold, we've, I've used a gold bell cap. And oh, the lovely. On the end. So it just, it just finishes it off really nicely. It does. I mean, Kumahima is lovely also just knotted, but it's, yes. it's, it's a totally different look when you have the Absolutely. bell caps on yeah. there. If you don't want to do a bell cap, what you would do is right at the beginning, where I've left... Um, here we go, if I show you this one. Where I've left cords of about eight inches mm -hmm. if you make them about 18 inches okay when you come to do the end all you would do then is put them into two sets of three and a set of two and you can plait oh yeah so you can actually plait which i've done if i show you i had one on here that i plaited um where is it is it on here yeah here we go there we go so again, this is this is a design. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's the design that you, one of the designs on the on the chart. So you'll learn how to make this. So as you can see, all I've done there is at the end I've taken the cords and I've plaited, so you can make a friendship band if you didn't want to go down the the bell cap route. That's cool. But you just need to leave extra long cords at the beginning before you start doing your kumahimo. Again, it's just a really different look. Yeah, absolutely. Looks so different. Yeah. So you've got sort of nighttime and and day wear pieces. Amazing. Mark, absolutely amazing. Don't forget, first time ever Mark has done one of your downloads, basically. Please let me know what you think when you receive Oh, it's it. going to be yeah. wicked, isn't it? It's, it's you, Mark. It's going to be absolutely amazing. How do you get hold of yours? Basically, purchase any one of the kits um, and you'll get sent a link on your order number. Yes, and that's yeah. how you, you print it off. Uh, what I would mm. do... I'm old school. I'm a quite, uh, I, I use the printer a lot. So print yeah. it off and maybe then laminate it. And you know it's not gonna. Yes, that's right. It's gonna. It's gonna last. It's gonna be around then. So, uh, yeah, get hold of yours. Check out your baskets on your kits. Likewise with your Kumahimo disc. That's a must. Yeah, um, and nice also. To see that again. Yes, it is. It's only taken us twelve years to commission our own jewelry maker Kumahimo. Uh, did you champion that? No, no. Can I, it's one of those things I can imagine certain designers would have really pushed for. Debbie is another one. Um, so grab that whilst you get the chance. There was 350 of those in stock um, flying. Well done, well done. Okay. Between now and the top of the hour, I've got time to squeeze in just a few. Oh, this is first time I've ever seen this, Wayne. It's beautiful. Uh, who launched this? Carol? Oh my goodness me! It's rather with all the history that we we know about Jada, isn't it pretty? It's, it's just beautiful. I love that little bale going down in front of it. Me too. All the history that goes with jadeite, all the sentiment that goes with jadeite. Susie, if you're still watch, watching, you're going to be all over this one. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You have a hand carved type A. Natural jadeite, you've got that ribbon of sterling silver, which is parve set. Um, can I just, does it come with the chain? What's, what's, what's that with then? With bale, righto. Okay, so it's with the bale. So all you need to do is feed this on a chain. That's it. That's all you need to do. And you've just made amazing fine jewellery. It's that ribbon of luster. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It so seems to be pretty. floating at the top, doesn't it? It well. does. Oh, that's gorgeous. Do you know... Well, 49 pounds and 99 pence. Shall we do... Shall we end this amazing Friday afternoon? Okay. With a close-out deal. Pardon? Oh my word. 282 of these available. I, I can almost, right, isn't it funny how it's shifted his, in, his, in his voice? He stood up, isn't he? 
I knew it. Wayne, I knew you were on your feet and I knew you were pacing. I just, it's been, it's been a long time since we've worked together, but could you get that vibe as well? Absolutely. He's I mean, like, he, right. was, he, was quite, he was quite sedate when the, when the demos and the kits were being played. And quiet, then as soon as he? it's something that he's bringing to air. Bang, like, right, come on then. Let's go out with a bang in his London accent, even though he's not from London. Oh my goodness, a close out deal. Right then, we're already at 29.99 now. Um, uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, I, I think we're going significantly lower than you're expecting us to. Now stop in there. It's up to you. If you want to, there is going to be a queue on the phone lines. So this is where App Web absolutely is your friend. If you like to speak to our call centre, fabulous. I do too. They are lovely. I would dial sooner rather than later. That is genuine sterling silver. Um, you've got lovely cubic zirconia set within that ribbon. It is the pendant, so you would need to feed this onto a chain. But that's natural Taipei Burmese jadeite. <laughs> 18 99 for genuine jadeite. Remember this, I say it every, uh, probably every time that I see jadeite and have it before me, from 4,000 different minerals that exist on a planet, this is one of the top 10 rarest. 4,000 different minerals, one of the top 10 rarest. This, for me, I'd give this to Willow. Well, she'd love that. It's the yeah. first, it's a, it's a wonderful introduction into high-end gemstones. Mm. That's a nice idea. Little heart. A teacher present. Oh, nice yeah. idea. That's a lovely idea. I don't know when that became a thing, but honestly, it's stressful. It's really stressful because it's not just teachers, it's teachers' assistants. And then Willow was trying to pitch to me about the lunch teacher. I was like, I draw the line. I draw the line there, Willow. Yeah, basically. Like, it's never going to end otherwise, Willow, is it? In 16 seconds, we're going even lower. Pam, Gordon, hello to Jalanta, Richard, sorry, Christine. Um, Christine. And we're going to do it. It's a clearance deal. It's bowing out in style. Oh, my word. Really? You know, we said it earlier on, there are certain gemstones which are more fruitful. Your jaspers, certain quartzes. You do them at 12 99 not Taipei natural Burmese jadeite. It's not even coming from the ground. 12 99 Wayne, Honestly. we love you, but frankly, that's just irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> frankly. And it's a finished piece of jewellery at the end of the day, you know. I know, but we've got, we've got channels that will... I can absolutely show the back for you. Yes, no problem. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Beautiful. So it literally goes through the uh, through a hole within the heart, and then you actually have, and then you have the the ribbon actually sort of wrap around. Nine two five precious metal. Look at that beautiful amount of sterling silver. Make sure you check out your baskets. We had just over three hundred of these, and they're absolutely flying out the door. A little bow out deal, as they say. Amazing. Now, Mark, yeah. you've got something very beautiful to show us. Well, I don't know if, it, if it's been made common knowledge yet, but from the twentieth of July, it's Christmas at Jewelry Maker. Yes. Everyone else has done Christmas, but and we're going to be doing ours a bit later. And I saw these on Caroline's desk this morning, mm -hmm. and I said, can I quickly show these? And she said, no. And I said, I'm off for a week. I'm not going to be back until the, until the Christmas week. So I've stolen them anyway. She doesn't know I've got them. So these, so put oh, date in your diary. We're not launching them today. These have been launched on the 23rd during the morning show. I've already nabbed this one for gardening. I know it's for, it's for crafts and for jewellery. I and use it for lots of different it's, hobbies. But look, look at this. This is amazing. Is it a bucket bag? It's, a, it's called a bucket bag. Yes, so. I love bucket bags. So this is your bucket bag. Can you see inside? It's got all these little slots for your tools, for your garden tools. And then on the outside, amazing, amazing. So Literally, this, all the way so around. I would use this one for gardening. This would be for outside. And then it also comes in a blue as well as the green. And this would be from my for hobbies. So oh. all, of, all of your tools inside, all of any, every, oh, I have so much inside there. Ah, uh, I need these for holiday because I'm just yes. thinking that oh, all amazing. my wine in there. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Good idea, yeah. And then the kids pops on the outside. Yeah, yeah. And, and Wayne's told me the price, and it's amazing. When are we doing these? 23rd. 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 Of July. Yes. I'm working. Oh. It's me. Oh, you'll see these. Yes! You'll see these. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. They're awesome, aren't they? I, I like the fact that yeah. they are very unisex too. Yeah. They're not no, too they're ace. Yeah, no. not too frilly. No, they're gorgeous. Um, loving those. Have we got big quantity? Yes. Huge. And they're, as I said, the most ridiculous price. Really? Yeah, That's really, awesome. Really um, I'm going to be getting some of the bucket yeah, bags. Lovely. What a morning it has been. Uh, time is absolutely uh, flown by. Mark, thank you so thank much, you. my lovely. Pleasure. When are Pleasure. you back? I am now back on the 20th. Yes. So a week, week next Wednesday. You go and enjoy. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, a nice rest. You really do deserve it, darling. So put Thank your you. feet up um, and chill. I'm back with you bright and early tomorrow morning with Wayne. With Wayne again. With the Bashasaurus. He's going to do it all over again. He's a glutton for punishment, isn't he? Putting up with me twice in a, one, uh, in a weekend. Have a lovely weekend. We'll see you soon. <laughs>